There, oh, there it was. I hit the button. What's going on, buddy? We're uh, back. We're back. We're, we're back. back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're getting ready to start. They look like you guys are all set. So whenever they're ready, they're <laughs> gonna break. They uh, they already did the flip. We're gonna be watching <laughs> Sam and Trent. They're gonna play nine ball first, race to ten, uh, <clears throat> alternate breaks. Yep, we're gonna do alternate break, race to ten, and we're gonna start nine ball, and then we're gonna be going to ten ball, and then they're going to finish our eight ball. I'm sorry, second round will be eight ball, and then the third round will be the ten ball. Yep, race to ten in each one, alternate break. Here we go. Here comes Sam's gonna. We're gonna watch this from all the top. Ooh. He comes up dry. The two ball down here on the left hand side is a little locked up. Uh, Trent's going to have to deal with that. He may elect to play a safety here. It's hard telling. But we're off and running here at the Pigeon Cube. We are absolutely off and running. You do your thing. I'm going to share real quick. I'll be right back. You do. Uh, yeah. For those of you out there listening, uh, click the like button on the TNT page or wherever you're listening at. Uh, hit share this thing like crazy. We'd like to get a lot of viewers for this tonight. Friday night here at the Coop. Pretty good shot there. I don't know if he has a clean shot at the two ball or not here. He's going to play it down on the corner if so. He's looking at it. He might elect to play that in the side pocket, which might be actually a better, <clears throat> better angle to get uh, shape on a three ball, which is on the opposite side of the table there. Yep, that's what he does. Touches the five ball, gets good shape on a three. I'll play the three down here in the corner. He's going to have to, uh, might have to come back two rounds to get shape on that four ball. We'll just have to see what he what he elects to do here. Might try to get behind the four ball even. We'll see. Oh, he elected to go around the, elected to go around three rails and. Comes up empty, leaves a three ball, leaves Sam with a shot. Here comes Sam. For those of you who don't know Sam, Sam the Rhino Henderson out of the, where is Sam from? Uh, Bettendorf. Bettendorf, Iowa. 13 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Taking on the old wily veteran of Trent Burtlow. It's good shape on the floor. Uh, I don't see any problems here. Uh, Trent's very capable. Or, I mean, uh, Sam's very capable of running out from right here. Let's see if he, uh, how his nerves are doing right now. Looks good. Straight to the side pocket. Six will go down in the lower corner. Seven down there on the same rail. In the pocket that it's on, that the rail that it's on. Looks pretty good. Good shape. Really nice shape there. Hi there, Tracy. How are you doing? Hope you're feeling better. No, she didn't make the trip, so she ain't feeling the greatest. <laughs> Sam leaves a little bit of an angle here. This is a little bit of a tricky angle here. I don't know if he either needed more of an angle or less to draw straight back. He's going to have to take a good look at it here. Yeah, put a good stroke on this. He can get it over there, though. There's one thing I just realized that we didn't do was we didn't get a prediction out of you already. You want my prediction? I do. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me what my prediction was. <clears throat> well, can I wait till after the nine ball sets over and I make the prediction? <laughs> <laughs> that confident, huh? No. Oh. Well, Sam's looking good to take a one zero lead. Well, if you if you want my prediction right here, here, here here's my take on this. And this isn't this isn't this is not on, this this is not because I've been friends with Trent my whole life or for the last 20 years anyways. Uh, Sam's never been put in a position where he's put on a stream, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Trent's got nerves of steel, and I know that he does because I, you know, he's played darts and pool and bags his whole life, and he's used to a little bit of the pressure. I don't know how Sam's going to handle it, but Sam just showed that, uh, you know, he can handle some pressure too. He just ran out on him. So, uh, but I still like, I, I still think, uh, I think Sam takes the nine ball. I think Trent takes the eight ball, and I think Trent will win the overall with the at the end playing ten ball. I think that's what's going to happen. I think I think all games will be fairly close, but I think when you if you if you do see a blowout, I think you'll see a blowout in the eight ball. I think, I think Trenton plays a really solid eight ball, and he he 
even though he is an open player, he can play the game of eight ball at a very, very highly skilled level. I mean, he can he can certainly put some racks together. He can run three or four of them at times. I've seen him do it. <clears throat> you know, I haven't seen I haven't seen much of Sam's eight ball game. I can tell you that. Mostly, all I've ever seen him play is rotation. I'm not saying that he can't play eight ball because I know he does play. Right. But I've also seen Sam play, and it can get pretty frustrating playing him in eight ball sometimes. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> Sam kicks the one ball down the table. Plays a safety on Trenton. Trenton's got a really tough look here at the ball. He might have to jump, get the jump cue out. I'm not sure. Sam's looking like he's got quite the cheering squad in the in the in the comments. Hi there, Bree. How you doing? And they're all going to want to kick my ass now, right? <laughs> Tammy, how are you doing? David? David said he's predicting, but he hasn't predicted yet. That was a nice hit with uh, Trent. You know, one ball's not easy. Sam can elect to you know, play safety here. He can play it down into the six ball. He can play just the cue ball, try to play shape just, just to get the cue ball. Just By the way, he's looking at that too, though. He's pretty confident he's going to cut this one ball in. <clears throat> Let's see what he does here. Yeah. Nice shot. Like it had eyeballs. Yeah. Like it Sam's had got, eyeballs. He's got really good cue ball control. I would give him that. <laughs> he's also got really good eyesight. He's thirteen. Yes. He can he can definitely probably see a lot better than most of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be thirteen again. Right. Well, he's a nice combination of six ball, but unfortunately yeah. locks himself up behind the three, and that was gonna be the problem there because the, the eight ball was in play and just probably didn't take that into account enough. Now he's going to try to kick it off the rail, try to kick the two ball in. I myself would uh, try to mass air around a three and try to try to do it that way. But he's going to go all the way down the table and try to kick it in. How unnerving is it got to be for? Oh, look at this. Oh, that was a nice try though. How uh, how unnerving has got to be? You think for Sam? I mean, right now he's he obviously. I mean he. It's probably not that unnerving, I guess, now that I think about it. But he's like, he's the youngest person in the room. Yeah, he was surrounded by a bunch of old people. He was surrounded by a bunch <laughs> of old people. That he, and he's got to be thinking, man, they're all just watching what I'm doing. And... Well, you know, Sam's been playing, you know, pool for quite quite a while now. So, I mean, he's used to having people around watching him. So I don't think that's going to be a, a huge issue to him. My, my biggest concern is, you know, he's, everybody's looking at them. Right. You know, and I don't know if he's used to, you know, being on the stream and everything, just focused on him and him only. So we'll just see how he reacts. Uh, Trenton ain't going to care. No. <laughs> and Trenton can have a trumpet band playing behind him and everybody's, <laughs> I mean, he could play in the Philippines. He's, he, he's got a pretty, he's got nerves of steel, Trent does. You know, and with Sam, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to see how he, how he reacts here. You Trent. know, being, being young and yeah. Yeah, being, being young can, can, can be a disadvantage at times where you you know you've never experienced something before, and this might be the first time he's ever experienced being on a stream all by him, all by his lonesome. I'm not sure. Right, which is ooh, what a great shot that was. Unfortunately, if Trenton figures out a way to get to the two ball here, he can use that four as a stopper, kind of help help hold the cue ball up on this end of the table towards the center. He'll play the two ball down here in the corner. I'm sure. Or he could play. He could try to play another save. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna elect to shoot at it though. It does look like Trent's it. a go getter. Uh oh, hits it right dead oh. into the pocket. He tree topped himself on the eight ball, but I mean he's he still looked good. Trent's really good. Trent's got a real steady stroke, so he he'll be he should. I I I find I, I say he makes this shot here. I don't know mm. if the uh, four ball passes the five or not here. It does. If it does, it's going to be a tight fit. It is. It's going to be real. I mean, he's going to be playing the jaws. He's probably. Gonna he's be, already looking at the combination, so it must it. not. It must not go past the five ball. The only thing that he's got going for him, if he hits it at a good speed, it'll leave the four down here by the corner pocket. Oh. And if and if he, he I believe he got safe here. I mean, I know that Sam can hit the four ball. I know he can see it, but I don't think he can make it unless he cross banks it over there by the seven ball to that corner. Right. He's looking down to see if he can. Oh, I that's called missing good right there. Yeah. If you're gonna miss him, miss him good, folks. You heard it here live from the pigeon coop. If you're gonna miss, miss good. Hollywood's 
That's my advice for gospel. the day. Speaking that's my of gospel. That's my advice for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find my button here. We got some new toys we're gonna try to play with here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we got the uh the telestrator or whatever yeah. they call that. So yeah. we can we can John Madden we stuff. Get, get a little Madden with you. Yeah, we get a little Madden going. Where's Boom, where? baby. Oh Boom. That, that ball did go. It, it did, did go. Wow. It did go. I nice. didn't think it went. Well the, the that that's showing you the angle we have. Yeah. Where I mean, I guess I could have turned around and looked at the table, but that seems like an awful lot of work, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to spin around. This around. should be pretty elementary here. Uh, a, B, C, we have seven ball in the corner, eight ball in the up top top left-hand corner, or right, depending on how you're looking at your phone. <laughs> right. Well, there's only one way to look at it, isn't there? I mean, well, you could flip it around. I don't well, know. Well, but it's still going to be the same thing. Right here, you just got to make sure you goes. keep. You just got to make sure you keep your nerves about. See, the only right person here. you're going to make mad is going to be Sam's mom. She's going to come here and kick your butt. Well, I'm definitely afraid of her. I can tell you that much. <laughs> That's Sam taking a two to zero lead. You're going to jump over here real quick and show some love as I update stuff. You you go ahead and tell them about Bill for a ah, second. Ah, Mr. Bill Lilly, 815-716-6727. We've got uh, CBM Construction. We offer all your construction needs as well as heating and cooling services and installations. Licensed, shirt, and bonded. Bill builds it best, ladies and gentlemen. If you need anything done around the house, from your heating and cooling needs to be a wall built, need some floors put in, need some sheetrock done, painting. I, the, the guy does a little bit of everything. So <clears throat> make sure you go see Bill Lilly at CBM Constructions. We got to thank Bill. He's been a been a great sponsor of oh, ours for quite some time now. And absolutely. I hear we helped him out a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah. That's see, that's when you when you see when you when you you come here to T and T tournaments, you know, and you and you we we you help you. You, you 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 sponsor us, you know, you know, become a become one of our sponsors. Uh, we get out, we reach a lot of people. Oh well, yes, yes we do. Not uncommon for us to reach anywhere between four and ten thousand people people per per uh, episode here so we get it done Trent's at the table here I just <clears throat> just had to confirm uh oh are I'm you going to terrorize I'm taking, tomorrow? I'm taking my talents to Peoria tomorrow and playing a nine ball going tournament to Peoria. so if you're down in Peoria you better be shaking in your boots boys and girls because I'm you're playing I'm for a second huh? I'm coming to win you're going to Fiori, you're playing for a second. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Although I did, you know, I did say that. Uh, a couple times. I mean, I've said that a couple times. <laughs> I haven't successfully gotten there. I'm good at predicting other people's stuff. I'm just not good at predicting my own. <laughs> yeah, it's yours. Like, you know, so Trent, Trent's got himself a nice little run going here. Yeah, he could play the nine ball here, but I don't think he's going to elect to do that. Well, as as many wise pool players have always said, it's it that's a. That, I've never accused of it. I've never been accused of being wise. Well. Right, but in, in the shooting a nine is like going early nine is usually never a great idea unless it's hundred percent or you're way down. Mm -hmm. Even a hundred percent is still only ninety, right? Right. <laughs> hey, if we're gonna talk percentages, we should probably get uh, Will Thompson on here. Right. He knows. Oh, yeah. He knows all about he percentages, does. doesn't Will, he? Will Thompson is our percentage man. He's our percentage guy. We'll have to give him a call. He, uh, he and he's also the president of the <laughs> Iowa chapter Pigeon Coop. Oh, I, I, yeah, he's look at Trent's putting some stuff together. Yeah, this here. is a this is a break and run, I do believe. Yeah, he does. He's not enjoying the. Uh... No, Sam broke that. Oh, did he? Yeah, no, he broke dry then. Yeah, apparently. he broke dry. Sam. All right, we got a run out there. Trent, bringing it back to two to one. I'm gonna do some more sponsor love here, real quick. Yeah, a and a flooring, and uh, you know you get a hold of Al and Angie over there at eight one five six three two zero six seven five. And they got that, that, that app that you can clip. You can put that on your phone, and you can walk around, ladies and gentlemen, any part of your house, and you can check out your flooring, walls, or, or all, the, all the different flooring options that they have. And, I mean, you don't even don't even have to leave the house to do it. It's, it's, it's quite the ordeal. I actually put it on my phone, and so I need some stuff done in the front room here. It's, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun to check out, to be right. perfectly honest with you. So here comes Trent now, rack number four of this race to ten. <laughs> Mr. Stein hanging in the house, causing trouble. 
big break on the Brent. Trent puts a nine in the now, bottom. I know the I know the people seen the nine ball go in, but they've already agreed nine ball does not count. Even even if they do make it in the top two or top four, uh, this is going to be a spot no matter what. Oh, so they're not. It's not. It's just not counting at all. It's not going to count at all on okay. a break at all. No. Nope. All right. So Trent calls Sam over to spot it. Sam will spot it, and you see he's going to try to get it as close to the spot as he can without. Uh, without messing things up or getting too far behind it. Trent, Trent trusted him pretty well there, didn't even go look at it. Yep. Trent's a good guy. Place a safety there, nice safety right behind uh, the five ball there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He locked him up tight as a drum there. Yeah. You know what they call that right there? Statesville. <laughs> That's jail, bro. Have fun. Have fun trying to hit that. Yeah, Sam does have a line on it, though. He can go. The Wait. eight ball over there by the corner pocket is bog it's kind of blocking the two rail kick shot, which is how I would want to try to go at this. Where, but he's going to go. You're saying what are you saying here? You want him to? Well, he could go three two rails and try to kick it, you know, there. But that's not what he's going to do. But yeah. But what he's going to do here is he's going to go down to the bottom rail and just try to hit it with maybe a little inside right hand English here. So when it hits the rail, it kind of grabs straight in the ball out. And that's what he's looking at right there. But that's a tough shot. Right? If, the, if the eight ball wasn't there, that's what I'd try to do. That's how I'd try to go after it. But then again, but then so again, you, I'm the commentator. So you think he's trying to. You here, think he goes, he's, here he goes. Right here. Here's what he's going to try to do. Okay, oh, that's, see, that's, he that was, was trying the to get behind yeah. the eight ball. Yeah, he was, he was. Eight ball was just in play there. There was not much he could do. I would have I would have probably chose to elect to go to the bottom round, just try to straighten it out. Still, it's not an easy shot. So No. You go over there and sit down. Jared. <laughs> Creating quite the crowd. Don't forget if you're watching yeah, us on we Facebook. People, yeah, we got people sure you, wandering yeah, in. Yeah. Make sure you're on Facebook. Make sure you hit the like and follow on the TNT page. Share the video. Start a watch party if you want. That'd be awesome. Yeah. If you're watching us on YouTube, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need to put uh, we need to boost our uh, viewership over there on the someday we'd like to start getting paid from that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my leg don't go up that high. Yeah, we're getting old, brother. We're getting old. Criminy. Couple of old dudes. <laughs> so Trent got himself a nice shot there with that ball in hand. Now his biggest key is here is you know, he's got to get shape on the four ball here, which he kind of he kind of screwed up here. I would have left an angle on that two ball, come out to play that four in that bottom right hand pocket there, but you know it is what it is. <clears throat> he's got a little work to do, but the seven ball, the seven, you know, being that that, I don't know, you know, if the seven ball clears and goes down to the corner, it's, it looks like it does with no problems, but we'll see. Big draw. Bumps the four. You got a good roll there. Yeah. I usually do that and then I, you know, screw myself. <laughs> I, David, I'm, I promise we'll get a little better with the illustrator. I'm just trying to work with, I, I forgot part of my tools for it. So I'm trying to get Hollywood to show me what he wants me to draw, but We'll, we'll make some I know stuff. how to run a mouse, you goofball. Hey, I, I that never reminds me. It's right there. I know, but I didn't get... Where's your uh, it's right over doodad? There. I mean, I'd have to go get your hey, doodad. Hey. Would you pull that uh, thing out the side of the computer for me? The little black... Dongle. Button? Say dongle. Dongle. Whatever. Dongle. Just, yep, there you go. I think <clears> it'll work. <throat> Hopefully it won't mess anything up bugging in right now. Well, we're going to find out. We'll find out. If we go off the air, folks, uh, blame the uh, producer. Yeah, blame the producer. So, uh... I tried to talk Stu into coming, but, you know, he's got he's got family stuff to do, and I understand. But I, I look forward to working with Stu here in the future. And yeah, oh, yeah. And talk a little, a little pool and let you kind of do your own thing. And... This might make a loud noise. Don't freak out. Okay. <laughs> did you hear that, boys and girls? <laughs> no, no. I don't think anybody else heard. I hope nobody else heard that. If you did, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> I told you it was going to be loud, though. I think I might have peed myself a little. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, partner. It's all good. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Look, it does work. Okay. <clears throat> Great. So you take you take that. Okay. And when you want to, you let me know. Okay. And we'll, I'll bring it up, and then you can do it. Uh, that's fine. Sam, I'm looking for the bank shot there. You're going to get. Not well, a very good attempt. I you know, thought maybe he was going to get a little safety there. And he has left Trenton with a pretty easy out here. And I will say that uh, Trenton is very capable from getting out from anywhere. 
he is, you know, he's definitely an open player, but uh, I, you know, no, it won't be long, and he might have to move up someday. He, but he hasn't played in any tournaments or anything. Well, he, he actually he did come over and play in Clinton with us, I think. I don't think he even plays. To be honest with you, I, I can't remember. Uh oh, uh oh, nah, he's okay. So, yeah. So, uh, <coughs> so you said he took a break. He was, but, but did he play pretty regularly before he did? Oh, yeah. Back in the day when uh, leisure time was still open, he played every day. I mean, he played pool every day. <coughs> whether it be a ring game, whether an action, or just banging balls around, or tournament play, whatever. And you know, like a, you know, like I said, I mean, he. Some people, you know, get married and have kids, and you have a life, and you got other things going on, and. For those of you who don't know, I mean, Trent, uh, big dart player, big dart player, big, big bags player, and he's, and he's very good at both of those, really good. So if you, you know, you want to do some gambling playing darts or bags, you know, you can, <laughs> you can look Trent up, he'll probably take you out on that too. So Trent ties it up now, it's 2-2, race to 10. You're watching TNT Fights, Henderson versus Burt Lowe, live from the Pigeon Coop. I'm Bud, that's Hollywood. Hi boys and girls. How you doing? We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Make sure you're sharing it out to all your friends to check this out and see how this is going. It's been a great match so far. Oh, I got to get this off of here. Hold on, don't mess with that. Stop. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to move it out of the way. Yeah. Same with a big break. Squats the cue ball right in the center of the table, but does he have a shot at the one? He does not. He does He's not. He's going to have to push out here. Yeah. <clears throat> For those of you out there that don't uh, may not be familiar, with a game of nine ball Here. after the break, the after the break, as long as you pocket a ball, you have the option of what they do call in rolling out. And what rolling out is is you try to roll the ball in a position to where well, you feel it'd be very difficult for your opponent to run out. Let's see how this you. works. Grab your mouse and see if you can show us where you would where you'd push out. There you go. And then you can just watch over here what you're doing. Well, if, and you just hold the button and if draw it was line. Me, I mean, you could shove the ball. You could you could shove the ball like right in here. But then that gives your opponent a pretty good option to, you know, play it, play an easy safety on you. I think you're going to see him elect to put it down here. I think you're going to see him elect to put it down here on the rail or something like that, make it tough, create some distance. Let's see what let's see what Sam decides to do. He did call the push, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, I see that. What I don't like about that push, though, it's just. It's, it gets Trent the option to just play such an easy safety. If you put the ball all the way down here on the rail, I mean, it makes it so much tougher. Because all, all he has to do here is just bump this, get behind the two ball. And that's what he's going to do. And Ooh. it leaked out on him. You can see the one a little bit, but now Sam's going to have to figure out how he's going to play a safety. Yeah, I think you definitely can get through there. Well, he might be able to play it aside. It might go in. It's hard to tell from our angle if that ball goes in the side pocket or not, but if it did, I think he'd be down on it making it already. Right. Well, he could be too be looking at where he's going afterwards. So, And let's see what he elects to do here. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat today for some Something, reason. Something, yeah. Oh, he's just trying to. Yeah, he kind of bumps that ball. I... He could, he... Well, the problem is, is, his push shot is what got him to where he was at, where he's at right now. And right. I but still think if he would have left the cue ball down on the bottom rail, distance made it a lot tougher for him, for Trenton to play a safety, because you're going to see a safety here. He's going to try to play the one, put it right back on the rail. Right? Just like so. Yeah. Sit boo-boo, and there you go. Right. You might see him pull out the short stick here. I don't know if he can reach it from that angle, but we'll see what he does. <clears throat> I love that shirt. You know, he's got a great shirt. I don't know who makes that shirt, but whoever made that one came out nice. Uh, I, you know, I can't remember. The... Oh, did he get? Oh, I don't think there's no rail. I don't think that two ball made the rail. Nope. That'll give uh, Trent ball in hand there. Now, see, this is where we're going to start to find out where Sam's mentality is here. You know, he's a young kid. He's only 13 right. years old. And, and um, you know, I've I've heard some people give give him some slack because, you know, he does kind of wear his emotions on his sleeve a little bit. And there's, mm -hmm. nothing, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that no, at all. And we all do it. You know, you gotta, but in the game of pool, one thing that you're going to have to learn in the future at this game is you got to keep your emotions in check, which right now, I mean, he's, he's under control right now, and it's, it seems he seems to be fine. Right. And nobody's running away right now. No. If he can 
keep them in keep them in contact, so to speak. You should be fine. But uh, that's going to be the biggest, you know, the biggest thing here with, with Sam is just see how he see how he controls his emotions. Trenton looking to get over on the four ball. He should go bottom rail and come back out to the center of the table. See if that's what he does. No, he elects to go short side. Going to play the four all the way down the corner. That's a good shot. Shouldn't be too hard to get decent shape on the five. Well, the, the eight ball is right there in the way, so we're going to see how he's going to deal with that. I would play it to hit the eight ball and knock the eight ball out of my way, just like I saw. Thank you, Tracy. I knew she, I knew Sam's mom would be there for it. Flashpoint Designs custom dye sublimation Boy. shirts. So if you need you need some t-shirts made up, go go see them guys because they obviously make a nice shirt. Tell them tell them TNT and the and the you got action boys sent you over there because yeah they take care of all the you got action boys. That's good. I mean they make they make a fantastic t-shirt. Yeah, there. that thing's gorgeous. Oh, well, not a horrible. The thing about it is, once again, it's a it's a fairly decent miss. I mean, right. it, it does go in the side pocket, but it's not an easy shot. Sam putting the glove on. I went, was he wearing it before? I couldn't. I, I don't can't. Re I don't remember. We'd have to go back and look. I'm not sure. My my lovely birthday girl wife has showed up and hanging out. Is she what? Uh, 22 today? Uh, yes. 22. Yes. Yeah. Now you know why. I I have survived 20 plus years of marriage. Right. Because she's 22. Right. Absolutely. She doesn't look a day older, I can tell you that. No. She I she actually I believe nice shot. She actually gets younger, looking younger and younger every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. And she's like a fine wine, right? Oh, absolutely. It's better yes. with age? Yes. Absolutely. And you know all the right things to say. Yeah, I do. No I, wonder why I, you, I you don't you don't live this long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, all I can tell you is is uh the marriage didn't work out real good for me. I, mean, I just did because I didn't know the right things to say, apparently. But, you know, such such is life. It's kind of how it goes sometimes. I don't know what <laughs> Sam, if, if I was Sam here, all I would do is I would just hit the cue ball or hit the seven ball and try to get it over behind the nine. Just leave a, leave a kick shot at it. It's going to be tough to play a nut safety here. Trent's mom is watching, but she's commenting on the oh on the off the rail video, so we're not seeing him. We just saw that she's uh, wishing him good luck. Yeah, he's he might be going for this. He looks like he's winding up to try to cut it all the way down in the corner. And that's exactly oh. what he just did. Oh, and he scratched. Oh. That was a really good try, though. Yeah, I don't. I just think that was a bad decision and on on Sam's part. But yeah. <clears throat> that's that's the. Uh, the youth in him, <clears throat> he's like, damn it, I'll just make it. Right, I'll just, I'm done with this. This rack's over. Trent's looking to take the lead here for the first time yep. in the match. You know, some people have said, you know, hey, you know, what's it going to be like playing a kid, Trent? And Trent says, he goes, I don't care if I'm, well, like he said in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, 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 the interview, you know, he, he said, you know, if I got a chance to take this kid out, he goes, I'm going to, I'm going to beat his brains in. Right. Well, an opponent's opponent. And that's how, I mean, and, and, and and for Sam and everything. You well, know. it's the beautiful it's the beautiful thing about pool. I mean, it doesn't ma matter if you're man, woman, or whatever you identify as these days. <laughs> I mean, child. I mean, it don't make no difference. You know, if you can play this game, you can play this game. Well, and the, and, the, and another beautiful thing about the game of pool is is, I mean, you got you got people out there eighty five, ninety years of age that can still play this game at a mm -hmm. high high level. Oh yeah. You know, a lot of a lot of professional sports. Once you get to a certain age, you're—I mean, and even in pool, I mean, your eyesight starts to fail you, like <clears throat> mine, uh, along with a lot of other things. <laughs> but I mean, if you can if you can stay in relatively good shape and you're relatively healthy, you can play the. Oh, Ooh. and he made the nine ball too. And wow, not that that mattered. He's got a monster break on him, dude. Oh yeah, I'm trying to trying to hit some about as hard as anybody, but sometimes that can be a detriment because he hits it. The cue ball doesn't have the greatest cue ball control, as you can see. He's right. scratched, and that should be telling you that you're either hitting it too hard, too soft. And in this case, I guarantee he's hitting it too hard. Yeah, he's putting a lot in it, trying to muscle up, so to speak. That's going to be the next little tool I want to get—a little radar gun. See how fast you're hitting. Break speeds. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, if they if they register my break, it's about eight miles an hour because I don't <laughs> hit them very hard. <laughs> I try to hit with control and, and squat the cue ball right in the center of the table, and you know that's kind of my game. But uh, every once in a while, I'll start to break them hard. Like if I'm on a slow table, I just give them hell. 
Sam takes advantage of the ball in hand and puts the one away and moves the eight out a little bit. And this is where the this is where, you know, when you break them like Trent just did, this is where it can it can really bite you in the butt because right. You know, Sam's Sam's good enough. He'll run out. Now he's got a bad angle on this four ball. Yeah, you leave you leave Sam a wide open table like that. You, you know, you started you started house cleaning there a little bit for him. He didn't leave the greatest angle, but he's I mean he's going to get there. Yeah. But uh, this should shouldn't be an issue for him. But you never know. You know, they are open players. They are going to you're you're going to see some mistakes. There's no question about that. Right. To a, to a highly skilled. To a highly skilled player, this would be, you know, it's easy about an easy as out as possible. But mm -hmm. you know, uh, and like we've always said, this is this is a slightly different environment for everybody. You know, it, sure, absolutely. You know, no matter how much you say it's not going to bother you, it's it's still going to be in the back of your head that you know, hey, you know, everybody's watching me. You know, and uh, so it, you, it's. There's no, little... it's no different. Just just like the shot Sam took right there, he hit the right he hit the right shot. He just. <laughs> kind of, he kind of muscled up a little bit. I'm, I'm working on Dave. Dave really wants me to play with the illustrator. I'm, I'm working on. Hey, what's going on, Eric? Eric's, Eric's looking for some action. He, he's got faith in Sam. <laughs> well, this set's already started, so I guess you're going to have to. Uh -oh. Can he get there? Can he get it there? Can he get it there? No. Mm. Uh, he can bank it. He can play safe. So let's see what he elects to do. Let's see what. Let's see what the youth in him tells him to do. Oh. I know what I'd do. What what would you do? Well, I'm chicken. I'd pooch it over there and put it on the on the uh, just right. You hit it nice and easy and put it right over here by the second diamond. Right around here. Leave the cue ball over to the left. Leave him. Try to leave him a bank shot. And if he makes it, he makes it. Cue ball about there. Yeah. Eight yep. ball here. Yep. There, there we go, Dave. We're we're slowly working on it. But I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going to go for the bank. We'll see what he does. He did. And it cost him. Oof. Now, I just think I think you leave him the bank shot, and if he makes it, he makes it. Congratulations. If he doesn't, then you know you got a chance to get out. Right. But you know, but, and, and that's the thing with uh, Trent gets bad shape on a nine, but he still makes this. Center of the hole, no problem. Trent takes the lead, four to two. Don't forget to check out all of TNT's social media accounts. You can follow us and see all kinds of stuff we got going on, announcements of our live videos, uh, announcements of our tournaments, results of our tournaments, pictures from our tournaments. We just, just started with everything opening back up, just finally got to go back out and hang out and do some more tournaments. We were, uh, we were at, that was the other thing we were going to talk about. Uh, we were at Wise Guys Sunday for a 10-ball tournament. Had a ton of fun. Uh, it, was a, it was a blast. I, I absolutely yeah, enjoyed it. I predicted myself. I was going to win that one, too. Guess how that went for me? Yeah, yeah. I laid a big, I, I laid a big colossal egg. Yeah, it was it was brutal. Sam breaks up the seventh rack of the set here. He's oh, down two. Big break there. Big monster break. <clears throat> okay, now what he's got to do here? He's got to play that one in the side pocket. He's got to go down. He's going to hit the side rail, go to the bottom rail, try to come all the way back up table for the two ball. That's he gets there. He should be able to get out without much of an issue. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we're live here from the Pigeon Coop. The legendary Pigeon Coop. Or at least that's what I say anyways. Oh, he got an unlucky bounce, hit the nine ball there. And now he's, now he's got another decision to make here. He's got the two ball. It is a bank shot. It's a makeable bank shot. He can leave the cue ball you know, approximately about where the, the two ball is if he banks it. Four goes in the side, and that's a problem. But you got to make the bank shot here. If he makes oh. it, he's out. Oh! Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that one hurt me a little bit, though. <laughs> that was another. Well, I guarantee you that's not where he wanted to leave that cue ball. No. I hate reacting, but sometimes they're just hard. Those big bangs, that was so close. I thought he had it. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, and he scratches. I think Trent will just give it to him, yep. and he does. He does. So Sam gets one back on the board. Well, that, we'll right, there, that there right there just goes to show you why you need to, you know, you got to need to concentrate on every shot and get good shape on it. Right. I, can't, I messed something up somewhere here. I was going to switch over. Um, But we were talking about the wise guys thing. It was that we had 16 players. Yeah, 16 right. players. It was a great time. A lot of, lot, of, lot of faces I haven't seen in a long time showed up to the tournament. Yeah. 
Uh, hope, you know, I hope we get to do it again, maybe on a Saturday or something. Sometime. Yeah. Oh, and I, I, we did it on a Sunday because basically the well, the Scotch doubles are the doubles. I should the say the doubles was, league was, was took a week off, but I did it basically for the. I was doing it originally for the Dixon people because the Dixon league got canceled and the Rock Falls people were playing. Right. So I was just trying to give the Dixon people get them on the table a little bit. And a lot of Dixon people showed up. Yeah, we did. We got a lot. Uh, of them. You gotta, you gotta give the the people out of the Dixon, Dixon Illinois area a lot of credit. I mean, they they showed up. Uh, they supported the tournament, and, yeah. and it was nice to see. I mean, there was a couple of us that came from out of town. Most yeah. of them right by there from Dixon. Yeah, we had a lot of a lot of good local players. It was it was a ton of fun. Oh, it was a great time. A lot of good people we had a lot of a lot of fun. And I got to see a lot of people I've seen. Like like Amber was there. Uh, we got to see her. She, <coughs> she doesn't you know doesn't play a lot of pool, but she 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 comes out and has fun at the tournament. And then yep. Mr. Baxter, one of my favorite yep. people, Andy Baxter was out there playing. Uh, Got to see uh, who else was out there playing that I hadn't seen in a while. Hmm. What you played? I played, ladies I did. and gentlemen. I, I did I, play. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> my my performance was so memorable. <laughs> oh, believe it or not, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but Bud and Ooh. Jim Fridley split for first place. Okay, yeah. congratulations, by the way. I, I was I I reached up somewhere deep for that gay. I don't know exactly what I did. Uh, I. Don't know what you did either. I've seen you play. <laughs> Trent Trent's got himself in a rough spot here. He, yeah, he's got to play safe here. He came he's, up the table. I and... don't know about that shot. Right? That's uh, oh no, my I goodness. I don't know about that shot. Yeah. Uh, Sam's not saying anything. We can't say anything. Nah. But it looked like a push to me. Yeah, but that's not our place to be doing. You no, know, we're not. If the only if they needed a a referee, they were supposed to call Bud over, which they do know. But uh, oh. Sam didn't say anything, so I don't know. It was very questionable in my eyes, but I'm looking through it through the television. I'm not looking right at the table, so I don't know. Right. But it looked like the ball moved forward when he hit that. We don't have the best angle on it for the re for a replay, but we will take a look at it here in a second. Trent's looking like he's going to spread the gap here a little more. Yep, Trent's going to take a 5-3 to three lead. So let's, let's take a quick look here. Now, if you watch this, I don't know if the ball's, it could be, if it's frozen, I, you know, if, I guess. It was interesting. He goes up five to, five to three now. Sam's racking. Remember, they're racing to ten. Playing but nine. Yeah, if you look at that replay, though, I mean, I you know, I don't know if it was locked up. I don't know if there was a gap there. I'm not sure. What? What's he? Ask him what he wants. Ask him what he wants. That was a nice break. We got the uh, four ball. Well, the shot here is is to play the carom off the one end of the six, unless you're going to play safety. So let's see what Sam lets do. He's been pretty aggressive, and if there's one if there's one criticism I might have, he might be a little too aggressive. I, I sometimes you got to remember you can play safeties in this game. That's what that's what that's what right. it's about. Too many people, I think, too many people look down on safeties. Oh, see, and easily. the thing about it is, is in all reality. He rushed that one a little bit, I think. Yeah, he kind of one, kind of one stroked it. I mean, he's starting to show a little frustration. Mm -hmm. It's only a race to 10, you know, and he's halfway there. So, it's, and Trent's not going to show him any mercy. He's going to, no. he's already told us that if he had a chance to, to lay it to him, he's going to. So, nice that's a very nice shot. The bad part about it is you don't have any shape on the three ball. Yeah, no, he he's... either has to go. Cut the cut the two ball on the side and try to go for around three rails and avoid all that stuff. So we'll see what he does. That's what he's going to try to do. Yeah, nope, he went for the bank shot. Oh, nice shot! Now he's got to go. He, now either, what though? Well, it's either another bank shot or he's. It's a real tough cut. So we'll see what he likes to do here. I would cut this ball, and I'm pretty sure that we're playing as much as I've played with him. He'll he'll try to cut it. Oh, and he did try to cut it. And I think he's going to get nope. hit it. Hit it. Hit it as we call fat. So chunked it, so to speak. We got the three balls here. Just kind of letting everybody know we got. Then we get the five. Yep. Six down here on the other Six, side of the three. Seven, eight, and nine. You have to hit the balls in order. And for those of you that haven't played nine ball at any time, 
let's just say, for example, right now, you know, Sam's on the three ball. If he was to hit the three ball there and it was to go 19 rails and hit the nine ball and the nine ball goes in, it would be game set. Or just winner of the game, I should say. So what is it that he's looking at? Can you tell? Well, it's it doesn't. I don't know if it goes by the six ball. Oh, yeah, and if it does, he's trying to figure out no, how many rails does he got it. See, he's going to cut it in the uh, opposite corner. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to figure out how, how what speed he's got to hit it to get the cue ball back down here because he needs it down here where he's at. Just like so. Ooh, nice shot. Though. And he did get it there. He did. And I think he might get lucky. Yeah, he, but he got really lucky. So now what you're going to see here is here's what's going to happen. I think what you're going to see here is you're going to see Trenton. I don't know if I can get my if I can here, get some color on. here. Hold on, I'm getting slide yourself over here. Not you. Where'd you go? Where am I? It's too late now. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, he was going to kick at the ball there. <laughs> we probably should just wait till we get the pencil and I can draw it. Right. Well, I say it, I'm trying to figure out a process for you because we got to keep you. We got to keep your your mouse over here. And then once it comes on there, you can see uh, it. It's it's fun. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it's it out. a fun toy, though. It is a fun toy. Sam, uh, I, we looked away and messing around with our toy, and somehow Sam got the ball in hand. Yeah, he Trenton kicked at the three ball. He missed it completely. So Sam's got ball in hand here. He's got the five down there on the rail. And, I mean, it's not the easiest out in the world. You just got to make sure that you do not get bad on the five. See, and I don't like where he's at in the five here. Because you know, like you now he has to come. Off the five and come up here. You might have to go all the way up, to, all the way up to the hit it, hit it. Come all the way up here. Go up and down. Yeah, go up and down. He might be able to put some English on it, get it two short rails and cut it off here. But he, I think he's going to go two rails here. Oh, he's queuing down on it, so he's mm -hmm. not doing that either. Let's see what he does. Oh, he got uh, he see, got a nice little bump. Yeah, he got a bump. Got a rub off I think ball. he was going to be okay. No, bumper, that, no. That, I don't think so. That ball would have been. I think it was scratching. Probably, well, no, it wasn't scratching, but it was certainly going to hit the side rail and get, get. Uh, you know, you think it was going to end he up. Was, up he was going to end up with a bank shot on the six. Yeah, you think he, he was going to end up he, up here. He hit that with a lot of speed. Yeah, but that's why you play the game, right? Luck. Oh, goodness gracious! <laughs> that was a. Well, now he's got a choice to make. Miscue. <laughs> He's got a choice to make here now because if he goes to try to cut the seven and down in there in the corner, he could possibly scratch. Yeah, he's got his. He's looking and, to try to yeah. come off the bottom rail. Hit this with low and try to draw it into the oh, rail. There you go. All right, nice good shot. shot. And he's at a pretty good angle for the eight ball, so he should be able to hit this with just well, basically almost just straight low English, and the ball will all automatically just draw out to the other side of the nine ball, play the nine ball in the same pocket. He'll hit this with a little conviction. There you go, just like there so. Go. Sam's fun in his business. And, the, and what you got to in that in that particular shot there, you just don't want to leave the cue ball on the rail. All right, by four, Trenton's still with the lead. Yep. Shouting out again to our awesome sponsors, help us bring these streams to you free. A uh, and A four in Sterling, Illinois. Give Al a call eight one five six three two zero six seven five. Check out all the flooring options right there on the site with his app. You can check out different options, flooring-wise, carpet and final flooring and, and uh, laminates and things like that. You can look at it right in your house without even – you can probably do it in your boxer shorts, I think. If you I really told want. you, you sit around Fruit of Looms, and you can just use that app and yeah. check out all sorts of different flooring options. You don't even have to leave the house. It's amazing. Check them out, A&A &A Flooring, Sterling, Illinois. Here comes Trent now breaking up the uh, tenth rack of the set. Race for the those ten. of you just wondering, uh, most of the time I'm wandering around with no pants on. Right. Trent. It's a good thing we're not playing nine ball counts in the bottom. I was going to say he's made third time he's made it. He's made every. I think he's made it almost every break except for one. Yeah, three out of four or whatever it's been. Yeah. Three out of five. So they'll spot that up again. Oh my Christmas! My amazing, beautiful birthday girl just brought me a beverage. She's so nice. All right. Did you already go and see our grandson? Oh, are you going to go and try to see him again? Okay. So many pictures. Yeah, he kind of overcooked that ball just a little bit. He still may elect to try to cut it in the corner, but doesn't look like it. Two ball looks like it passes the seven, but I don't know if it does or not. But now he's got to, he's going to need the six ball to help him here. He might, he might just. 
he might make the six ball here. I'm not sure by trying to cut the two into the corner. Kind of a two-way shot. I get it now. <laughs> oh, he went for the he went he tried to bank it back. Let's see if he gets a little lucky. All right, well. Once again he's left Sam with the decision to make here. He can play the carom shot and try to play the three ball and get aggressive. He can also try to thin off the two ball, get behind it, put the two ball on the other side of the three. I don't know if he's got a good angle for that or not. It doesn't look like it. He's looking at the bank. I don't think the bank is on there. I think the three ball is too much in the way. I think he'd clip the three on the way by. Let's see what he elects to do here. Oops. Wait. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm It not worked out for him. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. If, I, that's what I'm saying. That was one of those shots. I'm not sure if he meant to do it or not. Yeah, Sam might know something I don't know. Right. But it, it did work out for him, and then Ooh. he's going to pay the price here. Yeah. So now what he's going to try to do, he'll kick to the short rail where the two balls at and try to just try to kick into it. And, and this is where the, kind of where nine ball, you know, you don't have to call your pocket here. It's kind of, it's, it's a game. Some people say, oh, it's a game of slop. Well, come on over and try to play something. I'll warm you up a little bit, and you can slop well, all the balls I, you want I, to, I was and then say, I'll, I'll still win. I was going to say, yeah. I mean, and you, I'll call every single one of them, too. It, it, it hey, you works. Them out, it, do. Yeah, it works your favor. <laughs> He's going to try to kick in a two. If he gets lucky, it'll go right in the side pocket, which it does not do. And he's going to leave. Yeah, he's left Trenton a shot here. And, 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 and the thing about it is, yeah, Trenton, nine times out of ten, eight times out of ten, will probably get out from her. Slow roll the two in, or he might elect to go all the way to the bottom round with the cue ball. It just all depends on what his, he's comfy with. He goes down to the bottom round, gets shape on the three ball. Four and five are down here on what I would consider to be the right side of the table. And as we're looking at it anyways. And he's going to play the three. Try to get good shape on the four to leave him shape to the five. Six will go on the side. He'll play this. He'll shoot the four ball in the corner, come up off the bottom rail, and just play the five right in the corner too. Same pocket. Good shot. Uh, I don't like that angle that he left himself there. Yeah. I'm going to hit that a little different. He's going to have to slow roll this. Gonna have to hit this really well, easy. Luckily that uh, yeah, he might be able to spin it. Yeah, he could spin it. Never mind. And he backed this straight up. Plays seven down there in the left hand corner pocket. Eight goes in the pocket where he was just going. To just played the five. No, he wouldn't have done that, but it still worked out. He he sent it around there, didn't he? But once again, that's why I'm behind the mic. Right. That's what I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. We're we're untouchable from over here. All right. <laughs> Leave a little bit of an angle. You know, he can. Well, there's a couple ways you can play this. You can play it with some speed, or just make it it'd give you a natural shape to the side pocket. Now he elected to come around it, and play down here in the corner, which is fine. A lot of people like to let their stroke out a little bit. It helps them. All right, good shot. Six to four. Trent Bertlow still in the lead. CBM Construction. Bill Lilly. Bill builds at best. 815-716-6727. Give Bill a call for all your construction needs. It's new builds, remodeling, heating and cooling services and installation. Bill's licensed, bonded, and insured, and ready to take care of anything you might need. Give him a call. Check out his Facebook page. Tell him TNT sent you. If you want a good job done right, fair, not get towed around and yeah, Bill's a no-nonsense guy. Yeah. I mean, he's he's kind of guy that's going to show up. He's going to tell you what it's going to take to do the job. He's going to tell you what the price is to be the do, do, do the job. And that's what it's going to cost you. Yep. He's, you don't get any square shooter than that guy right there. Right. Bill's a good guy. Nice break. Oh, big. Another big break by Ooh. Sam. Oh. Okay. You know, I was watching Sam, you know, practice uh, before even you guys got here, and he was just crushing that break. I mean, just crushing it with shape, squat, the cue ball towards the center. And I mean, that's a pretty good break here. I mean, the, the key is is one to the two ball. You get you get to the two ball, you're supposed to be out here. Mm -hmm. well, let's see what he does. Like I said, he's elected to be pretty aggressive. There's, you know, you don't you don't play safety here. You play for the out here. Right. There you go. Nice shot. He, he's he's kind of seeming like he's calmed down a little bit now. He seemed a little. Hey, you know it's. 
a lot of people don't realize, you know, when you get on a string and it, it puts pressure on you, oh, you know, yeah. it's, it's not the easiest thing to, it's not the easiest thing to do. And people are like, oh yeah, I'll play, I'll play, I'll play. I'm like, hey, get your stuff, get your money, bring it on over here. Mm -hmm. We'll put you on the string, put some heat on you and see how you react. But like like I was saying, it, I've it, seen grown men crumble in this situation. Right. Like I said, it, it, it you you think you you think it's all that you know. You watch these guys play, and you're like, oh, there ain't nothing there. There ain't nothing there. Yeah. And and you and oh, I'll play that guy. Well, right. Man. And you can get up. Buck on up, this young man. Right. You get on this table right now, and and you may not and and with no fear at all about it. About you know one or two sets in the game or a couple games in, and. You start to realize, man, that, that's kind of in the back of my head. People are oh, yeah. people, people just saw me make that mistake. Yeah, oh, yeah, it'll start. And, and sometimes, it, you know, depending on your personality, sometimes it'll compound on you. Mm -hmm. And that was nice. a great shot by Sam. Very nice. I mean, he couldn't have hit that any better. Uh, we got the Simonis Claus on this valley table, so it runs really nice and smooth. I know that I had seen a lot of people complaining before. Ah, oh, that table looks slow, looks slow. <laughs> I, I promise you, boys and girls, it ain't slow now. <laughs> no. It probably this one's still not as fast as a diamond, but uh, we got the other table sitting over here now, which a lot of people have, can't see because of what we got going on. But uh, we got another table in here. It's also got that Simonis 860 HR on it, and it's got the Ridgeback rails on it, and that thing runs like a lightning. <laughs> and I mean lightning. Uh, Sam looking to pull in the, with him one game here. Trent says that's good. Yep. And on to uh, the 11th rack, 12th rack, I should say. Yep, 12th rack, 12th rack, 5 to 6. Check out all of our social media, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Twitter. We share all kinds of stuff over there. Like I said, we're just finally getting back to things here in, in Illinois, so we're uh, able to share some pictures with you. Uh, my lovely wife took a bunch of great pictures over at the Wise Guys Tournament, so there's some really cool pictures of all the people that came out and hung out with us over there. It was a ton of fun. You know what you should give your wife for her birthday? Tell me. Me. I'll go spend the night at your house and you can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> she she deserves a real man in her life for once. <laughs> just one night, she needs a real it's, man in her know, life. It, it's hard to argue with that, except for I'm. I mean, give, I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna it, do anything with you. I'm just gonna go for, sit in the recliner and drink beer like it, you do. It, except for I'm. But why does everybody think that's what I do? I don't know. You know what? You know what? A I've typical never been night. Your, I've never been to your house. You know what a typical night in my house is? What? Sitting What's on my great? computer working on. What? My my. Uh, I don't want to talk about. I don't even. Talking, he's talking something about drinking. I don't know. All right, another big, another big break here. Let's see if he gets shape on the one ball. He did not make the nine ball this time. No, oh, didn't go in. He's got a uh, does have a shot on the one ball. He can play it in the pocket. He's standing right there by and or he can cut it over to the uh, left hand side of the table. We'll see what he likes to do. But the, the question is, is the shape on the two ball. So he's going to elect the back cut it. Got to hit this easy. Try to hold shape. Shot. Very nice. Now see what he'll do here is he has the <laughs> there's a chance that the nine ball could go in here. He's gonna cut this two in the bottom bottom corner. Use the five to help stop the cue ball. Uh -oh. And he hooked himself. Hooked himself. Ah, I don't know hooked. if he's hooked or not. That four ball is tough. I heard a big whistle, so he knows it's close. <laughs> he we heard a big wow on him, yeah, so he, I don't yeah, know what's going to happen here. He's he's definitely taking a look at it. You can see he's he's not real pleased with it. No, he sure isn't. And the problem is, is you, if you you got to get you got to make sure you get a hit here. Got to right. try to get the hit, and he does. That's and a good shot. Ooh. Unfortunately, he's left Sam straight in almost. He he left Sam a shot. I don't think we even have to. I don't think we really have to justify straight in or that. All right, Sam's got two choices here. He can play the four, or let it just cut the cue ball, just kind of roll down the table, and play the five in the side, or he can let it roll up, play it in the same, go to the bottom rail, let it roll all the way back up towards the center of the table, and play it in the same pocket. So let's see what he elects to do. A lot of people are probably looking at this thinking, well, why wouldn't he just play to play the nine? Because it's just that's a that's a high risk shot there. He played this for the side pocket, I believe, but I I think he overhit that a little bit. I mean, he still got a shot at it. Yeah, he's, because the seven ball's blocking the corner pocket down there, so he mm -hmm. doesn't have, you know, he just doesn't have that. That that shot's not available to him, I don't think. He, he, you know, he, and another thing he's probably not thinking of, once again, because he's aggressive, young and aggressive. Right. He could elect to slow roll the five ball up to the rail and just put the cue ball right behind the seven. Mm. It's definitely a shot. 
he, he, he doesn't see it, but that's what he could do. Oh, it, it did, did go by there. Okay, never mind. So then. obviously he saw something we did Like I not. said, he's got better eyes than I do. He's 13, for Christ's sake. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood, we allow Hollywood to be want, wrong every once in a great while. I can be wrong once every 12 games. Every 12 games. All right, so you used yours up now. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Very nice. We're going to see a tie game here. Yeah. yeah, this is this is I you know this is every bit of a match I when thought they were when they were looking for a game for Trent and I, or for Sam I said Trent's your guy, and uh, I said I think it's a really good match and it's turning out to be that way. It is. Sam plays in Trent nice probably give him this ball. We'll see if he does or not. No, nope, he's gonna make him shoot it. I, I, that's one of the things I think we we don't spend enough time talking about. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I think I saved a replay of this break. Bam. He crushed that ball, too. Yeah. And it hit it really nice. And he went down there and got shaped on the two ball, and he, he you know, he got the, the, the fantastic shot about that whole thing was when he got to, when he got to the four. That was that was the shot. Right. Um, I forgot. I was start talking about something before I played that, and I can't remember what it was. About giving ball. Probably about, giving up about shots. Giving, uh, giving the, yeah, giving the, the end of the game. I mean, how... <laughs> Well, that's you know, it's, it's, it all it's, depends on who you ask. I play people that will make you shoot every shot, and I got other guys. I mean, I'll have three balls left on the table, and they'll give them to me, you know. Well, and but some, well, I guess my question is, is how do you decide when you start giving that to people? In all, in all reality, you should never, you should never Ooh. give anybody a shot. One ball. You was got going. a little unlucky bump there for the two ball because the one ball was going to be right in front of the side pocket. That was going to be like a dream break. Well, and the, well, the, and the one ball was going to go, and then the eight ball went bump. The two ball came down, bumped that one right on yeah. out of the way. But, you know, hey, it happens. Yeah, he'll figure something out, I'm sure. Well, his shot here is to thin the one ball, just let it roll kind of down to the rail, put the cue ball back about about where it is, really. Let the two, uh, you got the two, nine, and the six over there to be blockers. and put the, I'm going to put the cue ball back on the rail right where it's standing. Here, mm -hmm. bring the cue ball back over here, mm -hmm. run this one ball. No, I'd thin it down towards the pocket. Down here? I'd just use the two six as a block, or the two ball as a blocker. Or, yeah, I mean, he could he could send the cue ball down to the bottom rail. I mean, it, it, you just got to make sure you don't scratch in the side pocket. I don't know. It doesn't look like he can scratch there, but it's tough. It's not the easiest shot. You, I'm wondering if he hits too much of the – he can't see it. Oh, he's going to push. He's going to elect to push here, boys and girls. And then Trent's going to have the option of giving it back to him or not. And I was trying to go through that rule a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. After the break, you were, you were allowed as the shooter, as long as you have pocketed a ball, you have the option to push. And that's what he's done. And now, he's once again, you know, I think this is part of Sam's game that he might, he's going to need to work on because Trent is going to put him in jail right here, I think. He might even try to bank it back at him. He looks like he's, that looks like what he was trying. Yeah. Right? Two way and, and and the thing about it is it's kind of a two way shot because he you hit it with such a speed that if you do miss it you hope that the two nine or the six blocks the shot two ball down in the in the corner Ooh. there perfect shape on the three yeah. ball what a shot by Trent I Burrow. kind of thought he might have hit it a little too hard at first he'll he'll probably follow this three go two rails and come out for the five or he can elect to back it back up right at him see what he does here Trent likes to draw the ball. So there he goes. He draws it as predicted. <laughs> I'm not saying Hollywood seen I've a seen, lot of people shoot. I've seen Trent Perlow <laughs> play about 2,000 games of pool in the last week. <laughs> Slow roll this down, just trying to leave it right there. Oh, he's going to elect to go all the way around the table. Ooh. A little risky shot, but well, he, he had he a got plan, there, obviously. He's going to go up 7-6, I believe, as long as he doesn't uh, do something crazy here. All right. Now see Sam, he's gonna make Sam. Sam's gonna he Sam's doing the right thing. Just shoot the damn ball, old man. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I, uh, see, I, and that and like you said, I'm, that's when the, that's where I'm at. I'm kind of, I kind of think, I think you gotta earn. I think you gotta earn them all. I'll buy rights. I mean, you know, it, it goes back and forth. I mean, I was always really bad at giving guys balls, and I quit doing it. You know, if I'm gambling with somebody, you know, if I'm if if we're gambling for reasonable money, you know, five, ten bucks a game or something like that, you know, if I'm playing with one of the boys, I give it to him. Right. Well, and I'm, and but if it's some I'm, Joe Schmo from Albuquerque that I don't know, he's shooting the ball. It's just the way it is. Oh, it's the 14th <laughs> racket set. Here comes Trent. Watch this big bang. He's going to hit it hard. I can tell by the way he's winding up. 
He's going to smash him. Bam. Oh, Sounds he, like a grenade going he off. He clobbered that. And, and I guarantee you, say, uh, you're going to see a very aggressive move here. He's either he's either he's got two choices here. He either pushes, knocks the nine ball in, or gets aggressive, tries to take an eight to six lead here. Because if he makes the one ball, if he makes the one ball in, it's this game's over. Ooh. Oh, he banked it in and hooked himself. Now now was that what you thought so he was? So now he had to bank. Now he's got to jump. You're going to see the short stick come out here, boys and girls. First time of the match. Trent's going to go to the short stick, and he's really good with it. Now, he, there is another option here. He could just slow roll, just knock the nine ball in, give sand ball in hand, and make him run out. But More. Trent's not going to do that. Right. <laughs> Trent's well, got game. Oh, see, we've, we've been talking a lot about Sam being aggressive, but. Yeah, but you've seen more safeties out of Trent. Right, in this match. exactly. You've seen three. Of, you've seen. Oh, you've seen three or four, and that's where aggressiveness will cost you a game. He could have went yes. down there, made the nine ball, yep. gave Sam ball in hand, and made him run out. Now, I'm not saying that Sam would run out. I'm not saying that Sam wouldn't run out in that situation because nine times out of ten, he probably will. But there's that always that one that he doesn't. You know, he's gonna he's gonna play the two ball in here, and he's gonna play the three nine combo. He's just 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 don't do anything crazy. So I don't. Yeah, I don't like you that think angle. He's gonna I, I mean, he... I guess you can put it at that angle. I would put a little less angle, and I just put the cue ball over towards the rail or whatever. Or he can bring it out here past the six and cut the three in you there. You really but... think he's shooting for the three nine? Oh yeah, absolutely. Is that what? Does that you think? Is that your play? Yeah. You don't. Yeah, you, yeah that's you, pretty you, dead. You, it's right, in the pocket. You, yeah, yeah, the nine ball's laying right in the pocket. You shoot. You shoot the combo. And you are down. I mean, you're down a game, I guess. So. It's like he's... Threw the heck out of that. Yeah, see, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just no. played it over on the rail because I'm lazy. But right, he just. Yep. So Sam ties it up. Seven, seven. We got a barn burner here at the coop. Trent says I need to go outside and check the weather for a minute. <laughs> they did talk about taking five minute breaks in between they each, sets. Each in each set, they got a five minute break. Uh, nobody's really elected to take it yet, so we've been just moving right along. Right. I mean, this set hasn't taken long at all. No. I don't know how long we've been online, but it's a little over an hour. A little over an hour. And the eight ball will take a little bit longer so, than that. I, I, hey, Sean, how you doing, buddy? Have we officially changed Sean's name to Chainsaw yet? Chainsaw Saw. That's not Sean. <laughs> Sean the Chainsaw N. Yep, N. <laughs> N. Sean N. Sean N. <laughs> so Sam's going to break up the 15th rack of the set here. Gets him. Oh, there goes the one ball. He got the one, the two. And the problem with the problem with Sam's break is is versus what I watched him doing in practice. I mean, he he's he's hitting him with a little more conviction here in the uh, in the in the in the game, and it's not it's not it's not doing him any favors. I don't think he's broken around one out yet. Absolutely right, Tracy. Yes, if Sam didn't, then then. Trent was going to. I mean, you had to. It was sitting there. Was oh, yeah, absolutely. You, you ride the nine ball there every time. I mean, Shane Van Boney would have right. rode the nine ball there. So if Shane does it, everybody would have done it. Right. Does I mean, sometimes they do play this game where you can't ride the nine. You know, you got to play everything in order. But right. Oh, nice job. He didn't, leave, him see, as, he didn't leave anything for the four ball. Yeah, but, but I mean, at least he broke, he broke it out of there. He might try to play the nine ball here. He did look at it. That's for I, sure. I... I went back, cut it in the corner pocket. I, I prefer the run out here versus the the ride because if you miss the ride, it could be over. You could potentially leave the ball right in the pocket, but he's, he's game aggressive again. He's, let's see what happens. Or he's trying to put the four in a corner past the nine. Let's see if that's I think he, it goes past the nine. Yeah, line. okay, that's what he's doing. All right. Yeah. Very nice shot. Nice shot. And this could be his first break and run out to take the lead. We know Sam can. Uh, you just got to make sure you don't follow this too much. Well, that's a good shot. We know we know Sam can put together some big runs. We oh absolutely. We we saw him in those isolation tournaments. He played those that one isolation tournament, and he uh he ran the rack on every single one except for one. I think I, I think if I remember correctly, it was like out of sixty points, he got fifty six or fifty seven or something like that. That's pretty strong. Better than I can do. Yeah, I have, my luck hasn't been the greatest with the ghost. So, and Sam's looking to take a lead now. Yeah, he didn't leave that in the best spot. I mean, the problem is, is <laughs> he got a little, 
you got to just make sure you don't hit this with too much speed because you turn the cue ball loose here, bad things can happen. Yeah, you want to be careful there for sure. Nice job. Uh, that shot there, you got to worry about. Sometimes you hit that and you hit it with a little, a little too much goofy English, and it goes right in the side pocket on you. So Sam jumps up eight to seven, race to ten. We're live here at the Pigeon Coop. We appreciate you guys all hanging out. The legendary us. Pigeon Coop. Legendary Pigeon Coop, home of two tables now. Yeah, we got two. We got two tables in here. Both of them valleys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, live from the Pigeon Coop. Uh, you're watching. Sam Henderson, Sam the Rhino Henderson, and Trent the Bagger. The Bagger Burtlow. I'm liking that. Well, I think we need to say a little more to really make it stick. I'm liking that. <laughs> I like There you go, David. That's good. Big, big monster break. Get and nothing's going to fall for him. He got lucky, though. The six is trapping the one. Yep. So Sam's going <sighs> to. Sam can, can elect to push here, or he can elect to kick at the one or do something. He's going to probably push it, leave it long, lay on table maybe. There you go, Dave, David, since Sam Van Boning. Sam Van Boning. <laughs> Sam Van Boning Henderson. <laughs> well, Sam looks like he is going to push out. Brings it down to the bottom rail. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind that too much there. Uh, the problem is, I'm going to tell you right now, Trent can... Chunk can cut a ball real good. If that one goes in the corner pocket, that's exactly where he's going to play it because it, the cue ball is going to automatically come down and give him shape on the two. You looked at it. Well, it, the key is is not to scratch in the in the corner pocket down there. Boom. Hey, he played safety. Very good. Yeah. I, I don't think know so. if he got safe. No, I won. I, he didn't leave him a, a great shot. I think he can hit it. But I don't think he left him. Well, maybe not. He might have to kick at it. He's going to go ahead and kick at it one rail. I kick at it two rails, but he looks like he's going for one rail. And the reason that I would kick at it two rails here is because once it hits the one, it'll create more distance between the one and the cue ball. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he did elect to, uh, and Ooh. there I go saying that it would, it would create more distance. <laughs> he hits it real thin and, and, and leaves, yeah. him, leaves him really good. Yeah. The thing about it is, is this is not the easiest out. You got the four, seven, five kind of clumped up there. The six is on around. This is not the easiest out in the world. I think what you'll probably see out of Trenton here, you'll probably see him. You know, he's going to make the one, obviously, right there in that corner pocket that's that he's standing at. But uh, if the two ball clears past the eight, he's got a chance for the out. But if it doesn't clear, you'll see a safety out of him right here. I can't tell. The, I think the two might go by there. He's going to have to hit the very. He's going to have to hit the very corner. Yeah, sometimes you got to do what's called cheat in the pocket yeah. here, folks. He's going to have to hit the very corner there. So, yeah, let's see how he hits it. Oh, oh that went right, right in there. straight in there. Yeah, the problem is, is his angle on the three ball now. He's yeah. The, the cue ball or the four he's ball is just right across from his right, right there. Yeah. Four ball. And that's where he's trying to get to next. He's gonna. He's probably gonna have to try to get behind that ball if he wants to make it. No. Uh -oh. See if he can get it there. Oh, he got lucky. That's called luck, right there, boys and girls. Yeah. Now he, he he can try to get aggressive and cut it down here into the, uh, you know, into that bottom pocket where he's lining it up. Now I wouldn't do that. I'd play safe. I'd hit can the four you... ball, leave it behind the four, the the seven ball, and just. Let the four ball float back up. I don't the know table. if it's just the angle that we're looking at, but it almost looks like he's going to end up over here with the four. Oh, no, it cuts. It'll go in the corner pocket, guaranteed. The thing about it is with this shot, he could possibly make the nine on top of it all if he hits right. it with low English, which is what he's going to do. He's going for it, it looks like. Ooh. Let's and there, try. let's see, there lies the problem. And he left Sam. And see if he if 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 what he does there if he just hits the ball stops it right behind the seven lets the cue ball float up about halfway up the table three quarter or even a quarter up the table and he's he's got him locked up in a safe he's got to jump at it or something but you know uh, Sam ain't gonna like this no because he's not gonna be able to get he's got he's got to ride on the on the nine ball here but uh, he once again I I mean I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen Sam play enough that I, I don't think that his objective there was to get the five nine. No, but that's what he's, that's what he's, that's what he's left with here, I believe. 
See, I I thought maybe he was. Well, he might try to thin it, thin cut it, it use the seven ball to help hold the cue ball up. Right, but isn't that going to pose a problem? Because this six is on the rail. Well, if he hits it with a little left hand draw, the cue ball will go over there because the seven will help it get there. Mm. But he did not. He elected to play safe, which is a smart shot. That Very nice shot. shot. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Trent will go ahead and kick at this, try to create some distance between the five and the one. Might try to get real slick and try to try to run it off the five into the nine and see if he can get lucky here because the eight ball is down here by the corner pocket. If he gets into that eight and even hits it or gets into the nine ball, if hits it into the eight ball, it could carry him it into the pocket. We'll see. Oh, oh he kicks it in. That was a beautiful shot. Now watch this, boys and girls. I now I've seen him hit this shot probably a hundred thousand times. I I say he's seventy thirty to make this shot. <laughs> <laughs> I I do. I think seventy percent of the time he he cuts this right in there. At least he will. And I'm not doing that to make fun of Will either. No, but it did work out pretty nice that he got to. Yeah, yeah, it came up perfect. It did. Got to put a nice stroke on this. Nice follow through stroke. Yeah, nice shot. It. Yeah, I told you. I watched him practice that shot the other night. Hit it probably about. He probably hit it literally twenty times and. And he made it probably 17, 16, 17 times. Obviously, Trent did not like being down a game. And you'll see him go two rails and play the eight ball inside pocket. Same same pocket, I should say. Oh, he's going to go one rail. Looks like he's going to use a little inside English, come back out, good shot. And the thing about it is when you get to this part of the game, you just got to make sure that you do not... Do anything crazy. Make sure you bear down. Let's, make the money ball. Let's let's look at that shot on that five real quick. Yeah, he he's really good at kicking the ball. I mean, it's pretty hard to lock this guy up because trust me, I've tried a million times. And he's usually a really really good safety player. A lot of times he'll he'll side on the edge of caution and he'll take the safety. Look at this kick, just right in like it's got eyeballs. Bam. Beautiful. And you notice how now another thing that a lot of people don't notice. He also hit that ball with English, so when he did kick it, it did come back up off the rail and give him a shot at the six ball. That was that was the impressive part of the whole shot. Making the five is one thing. Getting shape on the six is a whole other ball game. Right. 17th rack. Sam steps up. We are playing alternate break. Race to 10. It's now a race to two, boys and girls. Yeah, it's same and you know what they say when it's a race to two. It's anybody's game. Yeah. This is proving, especially to be, in an alternate alternate break format. I I, I got to hand it to you, bud. This is proving to be every bit of the match that hey, you I promised. Hey, I set this one up. I was gonna say you. This is proving to be every bit of the match you promised us. Yeah, I knew it would be a good one. And they, you know, I could have set Sam up with a potato, so to speak, and. Right. Let him knock one out of the park here at the Pacoop. But uh, I think this is good for both know, of I, them. I, I mean, hey, they, they wanted a good match for him, and this is the match that I came up with. I'm, I'm not saying that the next two won't, rounds might not be blowouts. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, he kind of handcuffed himself there. I mean, Trent's going to have to kind of jack up on, the, on this, make the two ball down in the bottom left-hand corner. Or top corner pocket. Let's go with the top corner pocket. <laughs> Let's call it the top corner pocket. <laughs> you just can't decide what you're doing, huh? I don't know my le right from my left. Well, we know that. I'm the worst pool commentator in the history of pool. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh, now he's now you got to hope for luck here. Well, well, we'll clarify things here, okay? So this top is up there. Uh, this Keep is going. no. This is the bottom. This oh, is, that's the middle. You goofball. This is the middle. Yeah. This is the. That's the middle of the pool table. This right here. Move it up, you goofball. Right here. That's the middle. The on the on the rail. That's the rail, right? This that's is the middle of the table. This is the middle of the table. Yeah. You just said this was the middle of the table. It is the middle of the bottom of the table. Oh my lord! The that's what I was talking about. This the, this. Hey, you want to fight? This is the bottom. That's that, the. That's bean. a horrible bean. Look at that bean. Eric, he's shooting at the top end of the table right yeah, now. Yeah, he's shooting at the top end. So then you have the top corner pocket and the top right-hand pocket. <laughs> I mean, what do you, what, what do you, 
you want me to hold your hand while we're doing this? I was just clarifying it for people because you were starting to confuse me a little bit. Plus, Ooh, I wanted to. That was that. That could that spell trouble. That's not the best side on the five, though. No, Trent will play safety here. You'll see Trent. He'll he'll play. What he what I I've played with him enough. I believe what you're going to see is he's going to knock the five ball up table and try to leave the cue ball behind the nine ball. See that that's what he does. Uh -oh. yeah, he didn't get it behind the nine, but he left him tough. Because the problem is here is not it's not so much the the, the eight is block and the the bank shot probably. Mm -hmm. But then again, once again, I don't have right. thirteen year old eyes, so I don't know. He's lining it up. He might be able to cut it in. Oh, he hit that thin. Boy, did he hit that thin. But he might so get lucky. So now you got to get lucky. Ooh, that rolled a little. Oh, that rolled out. That rolled that out. That ball rolled out. Somebody better level that end of the Jeez, table. He takes care of these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's Welker's fault, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we can blame Jason. <laughs> that table's always had a little bit of an end of a roll. Damn valley tables. Trent right, takes that. Did he get it down there, though, is the question. Yep, he did get it there. <laughs> Trent's looking to go on the hill here, take an early lead. Get this with a little right-hand side English, try to kill it, come all the way down the table off the top rail. The top rail, yes. The top. Now, the key is here is just to make sure you make, you pocket the seven ball, and put a little bit of draw on it, get it back out at least to center table. You want to pass center, but we'll see what he does here. Yep, good shot, very nice. Yeah, he put some on that. Trent's going to be on the hill. Unless something drastic happens here. All right, going to be 9 8, Trent. Give us a commercial there, boss. I'm going to. We're going to take a momentary break and uh, we're going to watch an actual commercial. We'll be right back. Build your dreams. Call CBM Construction 815 716 6727. Offering all your construction needs from remodeling to new builds as well as heating and cooling services and installation. If it needs done, CBM is ready to serve you with their professional service. Inside and out, Bill builds it best. Licensed, bonded, and insured, CBM Construction has you covered. Check them out on Facebook and give them a call to get your estimate today. CBM Construction. Uh, hill, hill. Uh, Trent's on the hill, 9 yeah. to 8. It's a race to 10. Now, the, the key is for Trent here is not to get too overly excited and hit this ball too hard because when he hits it too hard, he scratches right. or knocks it off the table. So let's see what he does here. No, he uh, hit it hard. Yeah, you see, and he almost scratched. Does he got a shot at the one? He, I think the, I believe he can hit the one. He can't he can make it. it. He can yeah, he it. could. he could play the combo. He could kick it, too, if he wanted to. He's just showed us that he could kick a ball in. Yeah. He might He might try it. Trent's tricky like that. Well, that's what we could have called him, Tricky Trent Erlo. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Man. The Tricky Bagger. <laughs> that kind of sounds weird. Yeah, he weird. got aggressive there and tried yeah. it. He, but he I wanted, think he's going to. He wanted nope. to end the game right there. Ouch. Well, I was over here making strange noises. I can't even describe some of them. Sam's going to power that guy in there. They get the... Yeah. Well, the problem is, is his angle on the three ball here to get back up to the four. The four is up there in the top right-hand pocket. So somehow he's got to get himself shaped yeah, there. Yep, the, there it is right there. There's a four ball yep. right here. So he's got to somehow get it out past the side pocket. Ooh. Yeah. Now he's got a bank shot. Yeah. I'd play a safe. He bound up. Right the, here is his opportunity can, to play a safe. If you're ever going to play a safe, Sam, play it right here, right. buddy. This is what caused him his frustration that you saw that little yeah, bit of yeah. frustration in him. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. And that'll cost him the set right there, probably. Yeah. See a little frustration slap on my table. I'm gonna have to charge him for that. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't know the rules. He slapped the table. It cost you twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, he's he's visibly angry with himself on that one. Yeah, it happens. I mean, he doesn't. Uh, he's over there on his cell phone, which I wouldn't suggest. But I wouldn't do that. 
I think you should need to have full concentration on your match. But, uh, I, you know, I'm not 13 years old either. I can only usually concentrate at one thing at a time. And you're not really great at that either. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I, I admit it. Uh, I don't like I don't like the angle he got on the eight here, but I mean he's mm -hmm. going to be okay. Well, we've seen he he can really move that thing around. So oh yeah. All right, Trent takes set number one. Right on. So let's take a second here, real quick, to uh, meet our players, see what we're dealing with. Little tail of the tape, folks. Little tail of the tape. TNT's meet the players. We got Sam. Rhino Henderson, and I didn't get his nickname on there, Trent Burtlow. Sam's 13 from Bettendorf, Iowa. He's pool home pool hall Sharkies. He's a 7 and 8 ball in APA and 9 and 9 ball. And he's playing with McDermott H851 with a Defy shaft. And he just recently got a new sponsor, too. And we got Trent Burtlow, 36, right here uh, across the river, Sterling, Illinois. He plays out of the legendary Pigeon Coop. He's an open player. He shoots with a Nova. And he's been shooting with that Nova since I can ever, ever remember. And he, you know, he just, well, he just showed you, you know, he, he can play. He can play. He, yeah, he, he's made some really great shots. So the kick shot on the five ball was real nice. Well, that, kick, that kick shot was uh, was really the key, into my, in my opinion, the key to the set. I mean, he went ahead and made that ball and then he got out from there. And what? I mean, you know, sometimes you can, you know, you put your heat on, put the heat on your opponent and they see you make a shot like that and it kind of, you know, it's a little demoralizing at times, but, uh, you know, they're going to go to eight ball. Now, uh, if everybody asked, I mean, I told you that I thought if, you know, I told you I thought Trent would win the eight ball and the 10 ball to come out ahead at the end by one set, but he has a chance to sweep now. And he's going into what I feel is his best game. Eight ball is his better game of the three, but he also plays 10 ball real well, which you're going to see boys and girls. On. I don't know if I'm going to step on my own tongue here by saying this, but Trent Burtlow has one of the best 10 ball breaks I've ever seen. And that even goes by watching pros. Now, mind you, it's on a bar box, so it makes a difference. But uh, I mean, Trent Burtlow never plays on a nine footer. So I've never seen him break on a nine footer, but he, he actually breaks very unconventional for that 10 ball break because he breaks it from the side. And I ain't never figured out how he does it, but he always makes two or three balls every single time he, when break he breaks that 10 ball. He breaks, he breaks from the side, but he's still hitting the one head ball. Yeah, he he does. He he's got a very unconventional ten ball break, and in, in the in the sense that uh, most ten ball breaks will come from more of the center of the table, just because of the way the balls are racked up. But uh, you know, trying to some, figure something out that a lot of people don't know, and he's figured it out fairly quickly because, like you said, you know, he hasn't played pool a lot of pool for the last four or five years. And he started coming over here doing this 10 ball break and he started practicing it. And a 10 ball wasn't something that he played a lot of. And I mean, I, I promise you, he hasn't, you know, he, he only recently started playing 10 ball, but somehow he figured out a break that none of us else has figured out yet. <laughs> Cause I've tried it. Can't do it. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely a frustrating one. Hans, uh, you're welcome very much. We love bringing this stuff to you. Checking in on some of our comments here. Uh, Teresa, how you doing? Yeah, give us a shout out on the uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or uh, YouTube. YouTube, you know, give us a shout out, say hello. Uh, you know, got any questions for myself or Bud? Uh, just let us know. We'll try to answer them the best we can. I mean, if it's if 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 you have to add or subtract or <laughs> right or if spell something or anything yeah. like that, uh, just Google that. We'll, uh, we'll we'll have to call in our expert, uh, David. Thank you very much. We try our best to bring you the best uh, the best uh, show we can and. Uh, we love we love spotlighting these guys and stuff like that, and so we we try our best. And I promise I will get better at this telestrator. It will it may not be tonight, but it will get better. Yeah, we're like on. we're like third graders at it right now. <laughs> we're we're gonna but we're so gonna become professionals. They're flipping for the next set for the break. They will be playing eight ball. So it looks like Sam got that. So they're gonna. They're, of course, obviously you've noticed they're racking their own and they're going with the with the uh, alternate break all the way through. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, what are they doing with the eight ball on the break? If the eight ball goes in, it'll be the breaker's option, unless, of course, he scratches. If they scratch, it's a loss. Oh, okay. If they make the eight, the, the person breaking the balls will have the option to re-rack and break again or spot the eight and keep shooting. And they are playing uh, ball in hand anywhere off that break. Okay. If they, if the, if like, for example, if Sam was to scratch here, Trenton would be able to pick it up, put it anywhere on the table. Sam wanted it to be in the kitchen, 
but uh, they they compromised on a couple rules on a couple other games, so Trent won that battle on this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it a good game when you can come together and agree on some stuff. So let's uh, let's see how these breaks change up now that we're over in eight ball. Yeah, and the thing about it is, is, is the whole time Sam was here earlier, he never practiced one game of eight ball that I see. He was just out here hitting practice in his nine ball break and his in his nine ball game. He didn't he didn't hit anything. I, no eight I, ball, actually, no nothing. I think just as we started the off the rail right before we talked to him, I think he actually did. Oh, he might have. If yeah, he did, he, I didn't I yeah, didn't see it. I think he might have thrown I, I one. I was up busy there. I was busy eating tacos. Yeah, you were well see I was gonna be nice and say you were busy helping put on a great show, but No, I was just no, eating, you were you were eating tacos. I was just so eating at tacos. At least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hadn't had dinner yet. And somebody delivered me tacos, so I, I couldn't say no. Oh. I mean, it's Taco Tuesday somewhere, it is, right? It is. It's Taco Tuesday all over the place. So when you see Sam wandering around trying to figure out where to begin this, agree, we will pass the message along. We thank you for watching. Again, uh, don't forget to hit the like and follow button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you turn on your live notifications so you don't miss anything when TNT goes live. Remember, every Friday night, we bring you off the rail live from the Pigeon Coop at 730. You know, we should also remind everybody, you know, we we are putting on this Tuesday or this Friday night fight nights for TNT tournaments. Uh, don't forget, we're we're willing to take the show on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's somewhere local and stuff like that, uh, you know, a very, you know, if you're going to have it at a bar or another pool hall or something like that, hey, try to get, try to pick us up a sponsor or have the pool hall, you know, sponsor the event, throw us in 50 bucks or something to cover mm -hmm. our food and gas and all that jazz, and we'll come out and see you. We'll, we'll come and stream this match live from your home pool hall oh, mm -hmm. or your backyard or your basement yeah. or wherever. Yeah. We we like putting pool tables and pool players on the Internet. Yes, absolutely. We, I, I we, like, you know, it's, it's you know, it's like I've, like I've said before, it's a different animal when you get on the stream. A lot of people react differently to – you know, it puts a little heat on you, so you you kind of kind of see where you're at. Uh, well, that actually worked out pretty good for him. But uh, I think what you're going to see Trent do here is play the 15 into the two, knock the two ball in the pocket, and that'll be his safety. Trent's a pretty savvy eight ball player. That's exactly uh, what he does. Yeah. And see the reason that he did that there, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, in case some of you are new to the game, he just he took that two ball out of play so that Sam couldn't use it to use it for shape for on another ball somewhere. Right. Uh, Eric He's, Trent did. Sorry, Hal. Eric was asking who won the nine ball. Trent, nah, did, Trent 10 did 10 to 8. And since we do have Eric on the on the page there, it's making some comments. Don't forget, tomorrow, Legends at the eight ball tournament over there in Clinton. It's going to be a very nice matchup, and he just opened up the table wide open mm -hmm. for a player that loves this loves this eight yeah, ball game. He, he, if well, anybody's going to get out, it'll be Trenton. The, the eight, he's just got to make sure that he plays this out so that he can, you know, seven ball is right now is blocking the, the corner pocket down there, which is if he was going to use the 15 ball as his last ball. That would be his shape to get eight down there. Let's see if he knocks a seven out of the way. See if that's what he does. Nope, he did. He elected not to, so he hmm. must have a different idea for the eight ball. So his last ball you're going to see him shoot is the nine ball here. If all goes well, let's put it that way. His nine ball will be a shape shape to the eight. Well, he kind of overstroke that just a little bit, but he's going to be fine. He'll come out, play the other stripe in the same pocket. I think that's the 13 ball, but I can't tell from my side. Uh, yes. He should play this in the same pocket. Yep. Very nice. And he'll play the nine ball in the top left-hand pocket, or top, top corner pocket, and that'll give him his shape for the eight that he's going to play in the pocket that he's going to shoot this ball in right now. Which would be the top. Top top corner pocket. There he goes. Did he leave good shape on a nine is the question. I think he wanted a little bit better angle on that. I don't yeah. think he's out as quite as far as he wanted. He's still okay, don't get me wrong. Right, but ideally he would have liked to have been uh, a, a little bit farther out. Mm -hmm. Probably see, see, he's looking at the angle here. Probably more like here. 
you know, that, 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 cue, that cue ball is going to end up down there about where he was just right. stroking the cue there. He he wanted to be like there. Yes, he wanted to be almost straight in, basically. Yeah, he's going to slow roll this in there, just like that. Use the rail, come off the rail, and now he's got a tough shot on the eight. But you know that's because he didn't get good shape on the nine ball. So this is where he's at. I shouldn't have too much problem with the side. This is not an easy, not the easiest shot. In the no, world, though. I always find these ones nerve wracking. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the problem right yeah. there. You, they tend to overdo it. Now the heat's on Sam to get out. Yep. When somebody misses an eight ball, you got to take advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, you you can, you have to make them pay. Because like, this is a, this is a, I think this is a tone setter for the rest of this set here. If if you. He's going to play the combo? Oh, oh, I think he's playing it's, a seven. I don't know. I think he's playing the combo. Oh. Mm. Played the seven ball and, and got lucky. lucky. But Trent will kick at this eight ball and he'll call it in the side pocket. I almost guarantee it. And we've seen his kick game as bottom dangerous. side, bottom The bottom side pocket, I think, is his only option here. Although he's looking down here at the corner pocket, so I'm not sure what he's thinking. He might be thinking kick at it and play safe or try to get the cue ball back to the bottom rail here. See what he does. He's going to play it in the side. I think that's what he's got to do here. I didn't see him call a pocket, so I'm not sure what he's doing. He might be able to see the edge of the eight. I'm not sure. He's still looking at it. If he can see the left-hand edge of the eight ball, he'll he'll play the cue ball back to the bottom rail and just try to he's try looking, to leave him distance. He's looking try to at that tough. side, though. Well, let's see what he's doing. I didn't still haven't seen him call a pocket, though, so I'm not sure. He did kick it, and it went in. And it went in off the four ball. What a lucky shot that was, because I guarantee you he was not using the four ball, but this is this is just call your pocket. And yep. it went in the pocket he called it in, and that's so a little here, lucky. Yeah. Merry so Christmas. Christmas now, came early. So now I have to ask. Mm -hmm. I know I know how I'm feeling. So that's how, two kick shots and two makes. It's hundred percent right kick but shots. How, but how does that how does that feel? How does that make Sam feel? Let's take a look at that real quick while he's racking that up. Uh, you know, usually, like when I when I'm playing somebody, anyways, it doesn't bother me because the, you know, Trent Trent apologized for it. He didn't. That's not what he was trying to do. Uh, you know, and Sam's played in a pool in his life. He knows he knows a hundred percent that, you know, that was luck, and that's just how it goes. That's pool sometimes. Sam doesn't seem to be too rattled. He's he's fine. Right. He's over there drinking a soda of some sort. And this is where Chen's really good at eight ball. Hans, he always you. makes a break. Yep. And he usually makes his first shot, which usually gives him a chance at the out, which sounds like a no shit Sherlock type of a thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's I'm sorry for the language if there's any that, kids out there. That's commentary 101. Yeah. Hans, thank you. We we do try very much. Um, we appreciate the compliment. Thank you, sir. Hans says we do a pretty good job. Well, thanks, Hans. Where's Hans from? I'm not, you know. Tom, we'll I, send, him a, send him a Christmas card or something. We, we will send you, yes, one of our our prime Radio Shack Christmas cards. Yeah. <laughs> we get you a 2% discount on something no more than $10 because that's the kind of money we got it rolling that, around that, in this place. That's, yep, that's how we roll here at TNT. I think what you're going to say, yeah, he was trying to, yep, he knocked a two ball. That's exactly what he was trying to do. Mm-hmm. So now, yeah, he's he's screwed. <laughs> I was looking for a very technical answer, and I got one. Well, here here's a shot. His shot's the nine, maybe into the fifteen, the carom off the fifteen, mm -hmm. unless the nine goes. If he can cut it off that fourteen, but I don't think he can. I would play it into the fifteen and play the carom shot if you're going to try to get out. And I think that's what he's lining up here. Let's see. No, he ain't he lining up for that carom, but I don't. He doesn't see the carom shot. I don't think. He might see it now. My butt's going to take off for just a second, so I'm going to fly solo here for just a minute. And I can't see the uh, the comment section just because of where I'm sitting, so we'll take just a quick break from that. And, okay. Well, he does have a bit of an open table. The two ball's a little rough over here on the top side of the table. Over here by the spot, it's got to get good shape on that. I'm not sure where, you know, a little little thought process here is going to have to. It's 
going to have to happen here in order to get out. But does it? Sam definitely has an out. And I haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen Sam play a whole lot of eight ball. Most of the tournaments I've ever seen him play in are nine ball, ten ball. So I'm I'm learning about his eight ball game just as much as you are because I haven't seen a lot of it. Yeah, he. we were talking about that when we talked to him before the match, too. He says, I asked him what his game of choice was. And he says, a lot of people will say I'm an eight ball player. He says, but he goes, I don't know about that. I think I might be a nine ball player. Well, and the thing about it is just that's the youth in it because, the, you know, the rotation games are fast or usually quick, you know, over with right. quickly. And kids these days, they just don't have the patience. <laughs> like, for example, me, although I don't play one pocket, I I would love to learn that game because it's a game of strategy. It's like playing chess, so to mm -hmm. speak. And eight ball is a little bit more like that. Eight ball takes a little more thought process to get through. It's, some would say it's easier. Some would say it's harder. Uh, eight ball is definitely, in my opinion, once again, this is my opinion. Don't send me hate mail, people from Australia. Because uh, <clears throat> I've gotten hate mail from Australia. Lots of it, for some reason. Uh, <laughs> he played that really nice. That guy wrote me a three-page letter and told me how dumb I was. <laughs> it was exciting. I mean, it was... How does it was, he know you so well? I, <laughs> I know. I, no, no, I was like, shit, you, you, this guy's known me all my life. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I mean... Nice. A uh, little more strategy, a little, but, the, but the eight ball is a little bit tougher on a bar box than it is on a on a nine-footer, in my opinion. A lot, a lot more congested. And the nine ball is a little easier on the bar box than it is on the nine-footer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you agree with me, you agree with me. If you don't, more power to you. Right. You're, you're more than welcome. Hans is from Nebraska. Hey! Dessler. I hope I'm saying that right. Dessler, Nebraska. That's Last awesome. time, that's, that's a great shot uh, by Sam. Ooh. And he's a little funny on the six, but he can play... The, no, he can play the eight ball on the opposite side pocket here. So and this he is going to sound kind of weird to say, but it seems like Sam, he's, his pace has stepped up, but it seems like in that increase in pace has almost sharpened his focus a little bit. Oh, he got behind. He cooked himself. No. No, okay, no he got a bad. bump. Whew. He got lucky there, folks. You saw him tap that side pocket. But anyways, last time I was in Nebraska, oh, I got to tell you a little story about Nebraska. <laughs> And you know what? There's you know what's in Nebraska? A whole lot of goddamn nothing. Uh, but well, just but, remember, Hans likes us right now. Oh yeah, sorry, Hans. There's not a whole lot going on in Nebraska, buddy. And I'm I'm sure the pool scene's pretty good though. Sam gets on the board. Nice shot. Yeah, one one. But anyways, uh, yeah, my trip to Nebraska was many years ago. It was 1997, and I went to Omaha, Nebraska, and armor wrestled. In the Nebraska State Tournament, I think it was in. I want to believe. I want to say it was Omaha. I could be wrong on the location, but I went out there and arm wrestled some guy by the name of God. What was that guy's name? He was one tough customer too, but I pulled the victory out. I won the Omaha. Uh, I mean Omaha. Uh, I won the Nebraska State Championships out there that year. Nineteen. It's nineteen ninety-seven. I don't know if you can find any information on that. <laughs> On the internet or not, press because you know that was uh, the the internet was still a baby in 1997. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I used to travel. I used to travel the the United States, going to big arm wrestling oh. tournaments, breaking a scratch right there. Now Trenton, here's something that they negotiated a little earlier. Uh, Sam wasn't real keen on it, I don't think, but uh, they also agreed that the nine ball didn't count anywhere, so he got that. Mm -hmm. and Trenton got uh, ball in hand anywhere off the break if you scratched. So let's see what Trenton does here. Trent, he looks like he might have stepped out. Timmy Bly in the house. Yeah, we got to get Timmy Bly on the stream, get him a matchup. You, yeah. know, you know who I'd like to see Timmy well, Bly hey, play? Weren't you just talking about, didn't we say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Timmy, since you're listening, buddy, we hooked you up a team match. No, he's literally right there. Oh, he's in the, he's in the garage. <laughs> He's literally. Oh. Hey, we'll talk to you in a little bit. I, I said Timmy Bly in the house. He thought you were on the stream watching. <laughs> he, he's actually. At he's the, literally right behind. He's at the pigeon coop. Sorry, folks. <laughs> but anyways, uh, for those of you out there listening, uh, when these when uh, Sam and his dad showed up here, uh, we had a little conversation, and Jason and my teammates don't know this yet, but uh, we're going to take on them. We're going to take on them young studs. It's going to be me, Jason Welker. Mike Goodman, and I don't know who our fourth is going to be. Uh, probably, 
be me, Jason. Oh, and Trent. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Well, cause, yeah, say, Trent was I mean, like, hey, why don't right? we play him? Uh, so <laughs> so uh, Sam, Sam agreed that we're going to play. It's uh, Sam. Uh, Justin Nichols, uh, Timmy, Timmy Bly, and I don't know who their fourth is. Cool. So they got they got six guys on the team. So yeah, I'm not can. sure. So we're gonna set that up. That's gonna be another TNT fight night where my team is going to take on Sam's team, and we are going to hand it to him. Hey Bryant, how you doing? Thanks, buddy. Don't forget if you guys are enjoying the free live streaming pool, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. Turn on your live notifications so you don't miss a thing. And Stop by the Facebook page. Leave us a review. Let us let other people know how much you like our streaming services. And just to let know everybody know what they just seen there, the table was open. So in this particular game that they're playing, you can hit a stripe into the solid until you establish a ball. So now he's established solids, so he can no longer hit a stripe into a solid. He must make contact with his ball first before making contact with anything else. And it is just call your pocket. So he did use that stripe to start it out as a, as a combo. Very well explained, Howard. See, every once in a while, it looks like I know what I'm doing. Right. It's the reason why we keep you around. Yeah, I'm eye candy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what I tell everybody. I'm the eye candy. So what you're going to see here is he's going to play three in a corner. He's going to come out and try to get shape on the seven ball on the side. I think the last ball that you'll see him shoot is the six ball, and he'll use the six ball as his shape ball to get to the eight. Because the eight ball doesn't go down that I can see it might pass the nine ball there. I don't know, but he's going to use that six ball right there yeah, to get shape ball. to play either the eight in the side pocket up where he's standing or in a, the bottom corner pocket over there where he's standing now. Yep. So you got the seven ball here, the or one top, ball. Top pocket. Yes, there, yeah. cue ball to mm -hmm. the top pocket. Top pocket right here. Right there. Yep. That's where the eight ball is going to go, I think. I believe that's what you're going to see. It'll either go there or in the side pocket, one of the two, so you depending see on how he gets shape here. Just a little short stroke, hold shape for the six. There you go. Nice play. So he's one to, he's one to end up this cue ball right about. Mm, yeah, he'll hit, no, he'll hit it off the bottom rail and try right, to. Right, but yeah, he's gonna right. want to end yep, up yep, right about there. Yep, yep. That's about where he got. I mean, I would have preferred it to be out a little further. Right. Because the closer he got it to the rail, the harder it is. So let's see right. if he plays it. I'd play it in the corner. And he does. He calls it up in the top corner. It's like you know what's going on. Yeah. It's creepy sometimes. Well, I played this game a couple times. A couple times. Did he make it? He did, and he scratched. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that is a loss, boys and girls. All right. Shout out to our friend CBM Construction. Bill builds it best. Give him a call, 815-716-6727. Check him out on Facebook. Offering all your construction needs, new builds, remodeling, heating and cooling services, and installation. Bill's licensed, bonded, and insured, and is ready to take care of things you need. Give him a call. He'll shoot you nice and straight. Good guy. Great crew. Check out his Facebook page. Check out some of the really cool stuff that he's done. Hollywood's favorite, the Cadio. Um Catio was a was was one neat piece of equipment. I'm telling you, folks, if it, you need a catio built for your cat, <laughs> I'm telling you, Bill is you, the guy. I mean, I mean, if you just got money laying around, you don't know what to do with. You can either build a catio or you can drop it off over to me here at the Pigeon Coop. And if you need the directions, I'll I'll let you know. Or you could use the link in the description of our video and support the stream. Help yes, us. you could do that. You we we got a little tip jar set up that you can uh, go to our stream and. Uh, Throw a little coinage in there for us once in a while to help us travel and, you know, bring on team events and do some other things, that was you a, know. That was a big break with a whole lot of nothing and just – that's, that, that's called uh, – uh, what's a nice way to crap rack in yourself. <laughs> yeah, he, and you even heard him. I don't, well, I don't know if you guys heard him, but he uh, he wasn't real happy with what he left himself. No, sure. no, absolutely not. I mean, that's terrible. And it's it's – and I'll say that because Trent was the one that hit it. Yeah. Sam looks I like can get away with calling him terrible once in a while. That is just, I mean, that is a cluster right there. I mean. Well, what you do here. Look at this. If, if, you're, looking, if you're looking for your out, I mean, you're, you're playing to get to bust, bust that mess out of yeah. it. Yeah. And you want to do it as soon as possible. My Uncle Jimmy always used to tell, tell me, 
uh, key to the eight ball is, is get your breakout shot and you want to take it as soon as possible. And if it, if you can do it with your first shot, that's where you do it. So where are you going? What's your shot here? Ah, boy, I'm telling you, you know, he's got the, if he's, he's got the angle on the two, I would cut the two and bust that yeah, crap the, out of there. This two ball here. And you're thinking he can come get this mm -hmm. angle and come up here. And well, you might clip, out. you might clip the one and knock the one into it, but you can, you can also, he, you can do what he's doing here. Play it on the next shot. Nope, he's gonna go ahead. He's gonna come up here. He's got the three. The problem is, is the more the balls, you, the the more balls you knock off the table, the less chance you got to knock that mess out of there with a shot. Right. Now, see, I would leave that three ball there. I mean, he kind of has to now. Yeah, he doesn't have a choice now. Now, now he's now he's in safety territory. He's visibly upset with himself mm -hmm. now. You can see. The problem is, is now that 15 ball is sitting out there by that cluster, and I guarantee you, if he leaves Trent a, a way to get to that 15 ball and knock that out of there, you'll see him explode that like dynamite. Mm -hmm. And he'll let him fly. Sam looks like he's. But he can carry him. He can carry him off the one, play the two. But the problem is, is you know where your shape is, and then you got it, and you don't have no breakout shot now. We well, almost for a second looked like he was looking like he's trying to maybe spin around, you know, play play around that two ball. Or play around the thirteen to the two. Ah, he's going to elect for the safety. Not, not, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. But nice. you're going to see a safety come right back at you here in yeah. just a second. And it's probably not going to be anywhere near as pretty as this. Well, he's also going to use. He's going to break it out a little bit when he does it too. Just like so, put it back on the stack. Mm. That's like a one pocket shot right there, boys and girls. If you ever seen the game of one pocket, you'll see a lot of that happen. Was, Which I'd love to commentate a, a one pocket match. Maybe we can get Will Thompson or somebody over there in Iowa to set up a one pocket match, and I can go commentate that. I'd love to. You go ahead with that. I I don't. I I got. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I I'm been wondering, and I I need to watch it and try to figure it out because I have no concept for that. It's. Sam's a. Shooting out of this cluster here. He's looking like he's going to try to kick at the three ball. Oof. Skins are right on pass and scratches, so Trent's going to come back to the table with ball in hand. Ham's getting a little frustrated. He just needs to take a breath and stay in it. He's definitely not out of this by any chance. By, yeah, by any chance. Hi, Dorian. How you doing? Thanks for hanging out with us. Trent's going to take this ball in hand and see what he can do with this cluster a little bit. Looks like he's going to play the... Looking like he's going to play the 15. Remember, TNT fights live from the Pigeon Coop. We're watching Sam Henderson and Trent Burwell. They're in their second set. Fires that 15 and then try to break things up and actually tied tied up more in the process. We're watching Sam and Trent battle it out there in their second set. They're playing eight ball, race to 10. Uh, Trent won the nine ball set a few minutes ago, 10 to eight. You could use that nine ball and that, that moves things around a little bit. Things are starting to open up a little bit for him now. See him wander on the table, trying to decide where he's going to go next here. He's looking at shape for the 11. Like maybe he might play the 13 first. Yeah, he is going to play the 13. Puts a big old draw on her. Stays just shy of the six ball, so he gives himself some options. He could play the 10 ball all the way up, which it looks like that's what he's going to do. Runs that up there nicely. He's looking down the barrel of that 11 ball. Uh-oh. He's taking a look-see. Had a little issue putting my headphones in that. <laughs> that was you looked at that like it was 
like the first time you've seen a baby or something. <laughs> you know, and what do I do with this? I remember the first time I, I, I seen a baby. My when my daughter Jessa was born, it was quite the experience. <laughs> wait, 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 but what do I do with all this? It was, it was like watching a horror film. So he's 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 looking at that eleven, trying to decide. He just got to make sure the, the key is is the twos there, kind of you know block in the pocket a little bit. Where is he? He just draw it straight back. Draw back to the just like that twelve. Mm. Yeah, he was trying to go down and get the fourteen ball first. He wanted to use the the fourteen or the twelve, whatever that is, as a shape ball. But now he's got a little work to do. I bragged about his eight ball game and he's <laughs> falling apart over here. But that's why you play the game. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Oh no, there's nothing wrong with that. That worked out perfect. It looked a little scary for a second. Well, I can honestly say I'm not sure that that's exactly what he was trying to do, but it worked out. I, yeah, he. Probably, I'm thinking. He probably I think he was trying to draw it on the other side of the ball. The other side with you. Yeah, I, I, I do too. But we're gonna go with the fact that he, uh, he went to do that. I think you're over here. Yeah, it happens. Yep. I can't say that I've never gotten lucky. I mean, it's been a long time since I've gotten lucky, but mm. it happens. Well, he's going to play it past the six. He's trying to tie this up. And he puts her away. Our amazing sponsors help keep these live uh, free streams coming at you. A and A Flooring, Sterling, Illinois. Give Al a call for all your flooring needs. Eight one five six three two zero six seven five. Check out his uh, website. And I just realized all the times we said check out his website, I forgot to tell you that his website is aaflores.biz. Um, you check out aaflores.biz and use the little the the app right there on the site. You can see the little red arrow showing you what it looks like on the site. You go there and you can check out all of your flooring options right from the comfort of your home sitting around in your boxers, drinking your beer, or doing whatever it is that you do without making a mess, spending a dime, having anybody getting in your way. Check out all your flooring options, carpet, hardwood, laminates, all that stuff. Give Al a call, 815-632-0675, A&A Flooring, aaflores.biz. Sam puts a break to it, and I didn't hear anything fall, and I didn't see anything fall. He spread them out pretty nicely. Yeah, and that's the problem with the, you know, with your eight ball uh, break there. You know, if you got if you got somebody like Trenton that plays really good eight ball, and you break empty, you're, you usually spells trouble. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of cluster. You got a cluster up here by the top left hand pocket. You know, with the uh, twelve, the nine, the thirteen up in there. Uh, looks pretty rough, yeah, up yeah. in that ballpark. You, you got a big, 10, nasty clutch. That's it, that's the key to getting out. Yeah. How are you going to deal with that mess right there? The five, 13, the six. Key ball's up here, parked up by the four. And we've got the 15, the 10, the two. All right, here's the seven ball. We've got the 11, 14, and eight, obviously, and the three. Looks like Trent's just going to. He's looking at just pushing the four and sending the cue ball somewhere for a second, but he's. Look how he's changing his mind a little bit. Let's see what he's going to do. It looks like he's just pushing off this floor a little bit. Oh, no, he got past that. He was trying to level him to the side. Yeah, and he was trying to set himself up to deal with that mess down there. He was going to try to get down to the nine ball and then kick into that five and knock that mess out of there and so he had a chance to get out. But, it, you know, it's just... And he just it created happens. more of a mess down here now. He's got the three tied up in the ten. And the table's still open, so Sam's got a lot of options. Looks like he's going to play the 11. Probably take it all the way up here in the top corner. And he does, so Sam's going to be shooting the stripes now. Yeah, the key is is still what you're gonna do. You know, gotta get gotta get that cluster dealt with. Now you got two clusters to deal with, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's it's not pretty. Down here on the bottom moves. side of the table, you get the 15 and the 10 down here, but the 10 ball doesn't have a pocket unless you clear the 9 and the, the 12 and whatever that is over there. You know, you I mean, you could you could essentially leave it for a bank shot in the future, but I like getting them out of there. I like having a good clean shot at it. I don't like to bank the ball unless I absolutely have to. He's going to play the combo here with the 9 in the corner. He's going to slow roll it. Oh, oh, no, he's just playing to block the, po block the pocket. Not a mm -hmm. bad shot. Well, you were you did say he was playing a little aggressively in the nine ball set. Maybe hey, he might have learned something from. He might have been listening to my commentary. I don't know. I don't. Nate brought him down. His dad brought him down for the match, and he's hanging out here. And they might have had a little conversation in the break. Good possibility. Nate runs a nice uh, junior program over in the Quad Cities. And and for those of you out there listening, I mean, here at the Pigeon Coop, I mean, I know that we're we're trying to get a youth. You know, something, something for the kids to play. I mean, if you got kids and you, you got respectable kids that can listen to rules and whatnot. Uh, I mean, I'd be more than happy to open the doors here. We got two pool, pool tables here. Uh, I would be happy to do a little bit of a youth program here, right, right from the pigeon coop. Might be kind of cool, and right now it might be our only option. Yeah, having, there's just not a lot of options for us right now. I'm having some issues with the one option we have in Dixon. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, I got two two pool tables here, and I, I, I'm more than happy to give kids lessons, you know, and bring them up in the game. And like I said, as long as, as long as the kids can come here, they can behave, concentrate on the game of pool. I'll be more than happy to show them what I know, which isn't a whole lot, by the way. Right. But that's why we got YouTube and training. You know, right. You know, yeah, Hollywood yeah. will show them how to not do things. Yeah, I can show you how to <laughs> not bank a ball. <laughs> and they can go from there. So Sam's looking at. He's got. He's. You can tell, when you look at the table, you can understand the look he just had on his face when he was standing there because there's not heat. He might, he can probably get to 10, but it's like, what do you do after that? Well, Trent's got him kind of bent over a barrel, so to speak mm -hmm. here. Oh, for he's sure. He's going to try to touch that 13 there a little bit, I think. Just try to, try to keep it messed up. I mean, he's... The, Solid end stripes are still. And don't get me wrong; the stripes are in the advantage here, but not by much. Right. This is a. This is one of those games where it's, it's gonna. It's uh, who's gonna unmess things first. Yep. I'm just going down there. Nice job. Yeah. The problem is, is that five ball goes. I mean, Sam might not realize that, but that that five, you could he could carom it off the ten ball into the corner pocket, which, mm -hmm. which is what he's looking at right now. I guarantee you that. I think he's looking at the two in the two or one or two in the side, and he, and he is. But I guarantee you, he looked at that shot because he might he might save it. Because like yeah, they, that was a nice break off of the three. You take that all the way up now. Now if he if he feels that he can carry him that five off that ten into the corner over there, what it's what you're going to see here, he's going to play the three down in the corner. I think that's the twelve actually, or twelve ball. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's no, all right. I only know because I turned around and looked. Let's see if he can put a good stroke on this. Don't jab at it, but a nice, easy, smooth stroke on it, just oh, like nice that. Shot. Yep. Oh, he's going to play the one up in the corner and try to knock it out of there. Even better yet, probably for him, because it still leaves him options to get out. Yeah, to me, it looks like the side. No, he's got to play this in the corner pocket if he's trying to get out. It, see, you can see how he's lining that up. Yeah, but I think, I think he's looking at. Well, he must think that the five goes off that twelve. I, I, say, I think he's looking at the one all the way up and trying to put the cue ball like here. Yeah. No, he's playing the one ball on the side. Yeah, that's what I meant. He's playing the one inside trying to leave the cue ball up for the five. Yep. But he didn't. I don't think. I think he, so like you said, it'll still carry him off this 12 ball real yeah, he nice. He hit the five into the rail, right. and it'll play off the 12 and then into the corner. About here, yeah. So this is a do or die shot right here, in my opinion. Yep. That's what you want to do. He's calling it. He just called it. That's what makes Trent really good at this game, but let's see if he makes it. Oh, mm. he did it. He did it. But I what he did do is he blocked the pocket, I think. No, I, th I think that 12 still goes. Does it? Okay. I think so. I Got the ball almost went in without even touching it. Yeah. I am blind. Yeah, I think that 12 I wonder why I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I can't You're see. You're just horrible. Yeah, it, it it completely went. I yeah. think that opened it up for Sam now. Now Sam's just gotta just gotta bear down and concentrate here. He's got He's a very serious look on his face, that's for sure. 
But I think he lit up. I don't think we could see it, but I think he lit up and that five ball didn't go because it opened the table he, up. He hopped he, out of that chair like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, he saw his opportunity to get the lead back in this set. Two rails back for shape on the 10 ball. Uh, I would have liked to have been a little you know, Yeah, you don't like that. And now he's got to go two rails again. He's got to do the same exact shot, only to get it probably go the opposite direction. He's got to keep it on the bottom side of the table here, just like so. Good shot. Now that one he overstroked, but still makeable. Yeah, still, still okay. easy. Still fairly easy out with somebody at his skill level. He should be able to handle this pretty easily. He's also. I was talking to him earlier when they got here. He's, I mean, he's used to shooting balls into a four and quarter inch pocket. These things are like buckets to him. <laughs> you know, be a little careful here. He's going to play it inside. You can't just. Got to be careful not to turn the cue ball loose here. He seems to have pretty good control of his speed. That's for sure. Yeah, he went ahead and just drew it away from there and made sure that there was no way he was going to scratch. Sam takes the lead, 3-2. to two. You know, Check out all TNT's social media. We're over on Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, on Facebook as you're watching us over there. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button over on YouTube. Like and follow on uh, Facebook. And make sure you hit your live notifications. Where you click the bell on YouTube. And I'm not exactly sure how the... There's an option somewhere when you watch a video to turn on your live uh, notifications on Facebook. And you do that, you don't miss anything that TNT does. Remember, every Friday night, 730, we bring you off the rail where we share as much pool news and information as we possibly can. And if you're a venue or an operator or a director and you'd like to have us share your information, get, send it to us. Give us a call. Send, send it to us through the Facebook page. Give us a call, 833-TNT-POOL. And we will tell everybody all about you. Yeah, definitely. If you want to become a sponsor of our some of our events, whether it be our grudge matches or you want to become a monthly sponsor, you know, it's it's fairly inexpensive. We reach a lot of people. Uh, if you got a business or you know whatever, so whatever you whatever you want to advertise, I mean, this is the place to do it. I mean, this you can ask uh, CBM's Construction. We've helped them out quite a bit. They've helped us out, and we we had to, we they scratched our back, and we scratched his, yep. so to speak. Well, I think you probably actually might have scratched his back. <laughs> <laughs> I typically don't scratch other men's backs. <laughs> typically, you notice he 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually not. It's usually not in my repertoire. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with scratching a man's back. Right? No, just absolutely not. I just. It's, I usually don't partake that, in, that's that, a whole in other, those activities. That's a whole other video series. That's a, that's a completely different stream. Get your remote. Your TV's gonna shut off. Oh, you gotta do like just push a volume or something. There we go. There you go. Um, sorry about that. Small technical in house difficulties. Uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Uh, Steve, I am not 100 percent on that. We 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 don't uh we don't dive into that part. We just try to bring you bring you the action. I will say this. There is one. There is a bet. There's definitely some money on the line here, but uh, we don't never discuss the money here on TNT. Uh, we just we figure it's not. If if they if the players if the players want it known, we'll make it known. But if they don't say anything that they they want it to be advertised along with the match, we don't we don't talk about the cash. It's just it's kind of irrelevant to us. We're just here to stream. Seems. But I do know. I do know if whoever ends up winning, I mean, you know, go out for a nice dinner. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I was going to say it's going to come back. to He's going to say something about food. Uh, yeah, well, I like food. There's going to be some food involved. But if we, uh, My we two talking, vices in the world, right. the food and women. <laughs> we were talking about we were talking about sponsors. Uh, we, we are. We're reaching a, 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 every day. We're gr reaching more and more people. And obviously, we're reaching a lot of pool players. So we, we got would, Hans from Nebraska watching. Yeah, it. Hans from Nebraska. But we're reaching a lot of pool players. So if you're a, a pool supplier accessory vendor, uh, this would be a great opportunity. We have some great options for for advertising. We we will build a an advertising package that works for you. Um, our prices are incredibly affordable, and we and you can, like you said you can like uh, Hollywood said you can ask any of our sponsors. We uh. We go that extra mile for our sponsors. And I see I, Sam's pace. It's just, it seems like when he picked it up, it, it just really put him in there. 
Oh, he's definitely stroking the cue nice. He's not making a lot of mistakes here. Nice and shot. He's taking a lead four to two, putting Trent uh got Trent on the ropes here. It's like you know, did you hear something? Did what? you know that Mike Tyson is coming out of retirement? Yes, I saw that. He's gonna... gonna fight Roy Jones Jr., I believe. <laughs> Who is 51. Well, yeah, Tyson's but, 54. Right. We're going to take a look at that eight ball shot Sam just made to put himself up four to two. Just set up to it. Oh, he hit that perfect hit right on the screws. Yeah. Got himself great shape for this eight ball to come around. Makes it four to two. You see this. Uh, hopefully I hit the button just in time. You'll get to see the whole shot. Oh, I did. Look at that. A great shot. Very nice. So here comes Sam now, breaking the seventh rack of this set. Let's go over top and watch. Sam's a second ball breaker there. Spread him out. Didn't get anything just, down, though. And still come up empty. The Valley is uh, being a little stingy with the break today for some reason. Usually, we don't have any problems making a ball on these buckets. Well, I think it almost seems like Sam, his past, that break and the one before, they he, it seemed like he changed speeds a little bit. Like he's trying to find that 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 second ball break. It seems like it's really speed dependent. You know, what I mean, you have to hit that sweet. You can't hit it too hard. You can't. You well, know. The, the key, you know, the key with is finding that is finding that speed where the where you're making a nice ball but getting a still getting a good spread on the rack, and sometimes not the easiest thing to do. Right. Solids are definitely the ball he wants to take here. If he's convinced that he can make the three, he'll definitely shoot it. Because then he's got an out. But I just don't know if it goes past the one ball. So here's the cue ball right here. We've got the two, the five, the six, the three, the one, and the two. And then here's the seven and the eight ball. And then you've got the nine, the 13, the 10. Or no, this is the 12. I'm sorry. He's looking like he's going after the 10 ball. He is. It he does. He's trying to get, yeah, he was trying to get to the back side of the nine ball there, but. And see, he. The problem is you don't have an out here yet. He got to somehow he's got to get down here to the twelve ball and get behind the nine ball. And find a and find a pocket for it. But right now there's there's no pocket. Yeah. He's, he's gonna. Do you think he's gonna have to play twelve and try to get back here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna have to play. He's gonna have to figure. He's looking at it now. He's just trying to figure out how he can get there. See, that's see, he's trying to get behind a nine ball, there he, and there he is. Problem is, is I just don't know. Hey, you know it might go in the side pocket. It might not. I think it's gonna have to. I don't think he's. I think the. I don't think he gets the corner past the six. And the and yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, once again, you could play a carom shot, hit, the, hit, right. the, hit a rail carom shot, but you know, mm -hmm. he's got about a two percent chance of making that. Probably hit it a hundred times and make it once, maybe mm -hmm. twice. If the nine ball goes into the side pocket, he's going to have to float it in there and then keep enough control on the cue ball that he still has shape on this 15 or whatever's out here by the center of the, center of the table. Oh, yeah, that's the 15 right there. Yeah, he ain't going to be able to hold shape of the 13, I don't think. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, no, he thought it went. Oh, yeah, he tried to cheat the pocket, but he's okay. Though, he, though. It almost did go, though. Yeah, it kind of blocks the pocket up a little bit, yeah. muddies it up down at that end. I actually had a lot more room to get there than I thought it did, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it was the right – I mean, he made the right shot. He, he went down there, put it behind a nine. He just – he wanted shape for the side pocket, though. He just got too far behind it if you if that was possible, but he did. See Sam taking a look here. That's still not an easy out because he's got he's got that five six to contend with you know down right where he's at right there and just not going to be the easiest thing and I don't know if you guys you guys really probably can't notice it on the stream but that cue that Sam has that McDermott cue is oh just absolutely beautiful <laughs> it is. stick yeah it's got that carbon fiber shaft on it I hit with it a few weeks back when I was over in Clinton he let me grab a hold of it and. Hit that cue a few times, and I'm going to tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that, you, that thing hits like a million dollars. Yeah, so he tried to pump the five there, and unfortunately for him, it didn't work out. He bumped the three, 
with his arm or hand or something. I didn't. <laughs> uh, Trent went ahead and made him move it back, which which is the rules. I mean, in some cases that would be a, an automatic foul. Yeah. But in, well, in, in this situation, that is not the case. Yeah. It's well, technically it is a foul. Yes. Yes. Technically it is a foul, but the, what the rules are playing by here at the coop, that is not a foul. It's just right. move it. Your, cho- your your opponent has a choice to move it back where he thinks it Mo- was. Right. Most most local leagues and things like that make an exception to that rule where it allows you or you tells you you have to inform your opponent that you moved it and give them the option to return it. It's getting weird over here. I don't know what's going on. I just tried I just heard noises and I'm I just I tried a sip of strawberry strawberry Rita something no. that I can and that was absolutely Awful. <laughs> I, the noise is like, what a man. shot. Wow. And that the problem was, is now he's got to yeah. make another good shot. <laughs> you, you could see him there. He was, he, it was a good shot, but he was not happy about that shot. Uh, he was trying to hold the cue ball, so he had a shot at the 15 that's out here in the middle of the table. I think it's the 15 ball. Yes, I can't the tell. 15. Yeah, yeah, it's the 15 right in the center. And now there. he's got to make another good shot, and then got to hope for some luck here. I mean, the cue ball is going to follow down where the 9 and 11 is. It's going to head that direction, but it's just a matter of, don't want it to hit. You don't. He's, you think he's trying to try to? Well, here, let me do, give you this. Give me this. Here, yep, there you go. Nope. You got to slide your slide your mouse over. Here, hold on a second. Hold on. Don't move nothing. All right, now I'll do it. Nice. Oh. It doesn't matter. I'm I'm done messing with that <laughs> thing. You just once you get that thing on the screen, then you just keep this on the screen like that. We'll get her figured out. Yeah, he elected to go up to try to play safe, but I think he left him a shot at the five ball. I'm not yeah. sure here. Oh, he's looking at the one. I, don't, I, I think Sam's could, looking for a save. See, I don't know if he could see the one ball. I, no. I mean, I don't, I don't think he, I'd see, want, he can't see it to make it anyways. No, I think he's looking to, to kick and try to get the cue ball over here. It could be. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he elects to do. I see. He clipped the five. He was. Oh, he. I, what he yeah. Was, I tell you what he was trying to do. He was trying to clip the five, and get the cue ball down behind the one okay. ball. Is what he was trying to do, yeah, which was a smart shot. Just didn't work out for him. That's all. But he did leave him long. So you'll see Trenton play the nine ball in the top left hand corner there. Yes, Anthony. That is that. Yeah, it's the option to move it back or leave it. That's yeah. But if you, to be perfectly honest, if you look technically, it is a. It is a foul to move an object ball in a manner other than shooting, in any other manner, which includes uh, any player equipment, including your hair, your hands, your shirt, your anything, is technically. But most most players don't ever go that far. The only time it'll actually ever be called is if you're playing a refereed match, where a referee is actually watching your table alone. Uh, you'll, you will never see called in a and a, like an air, an area ref situation or in in games like this. Yeah, I could tell you a little story. We were at Illinois State, or not, I don't think I don't know if it was the Illinois State tournament. I can't remember where it was. It's been a few years ago now, and I was watching one of the ladies' matches, and one of the girls had really long hair, and she, you know, she wasn't tying it in a ponytail, and we kept telling her, you know, because she kept leaning over the table and kept touching her hair, kept touching the balls. And well, one thing led to another. This 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 lady makes it to her, you know, to the fifth, sixth match or whatever she was playing, and she's shooting at she's shooting at the eight ball. She was kind of tree topped over it, but she had a fairly easy shot on it, and it was hill hill. She, you know, she leans over to go shoot the ball, and her hair falls into the you know the clump of balls that were there on the table, and the referee. I mean, they had the referee over there looking at something. I think her opponent actually might have said something. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but to make a long story short, they called a foul on her, and she ended up losing the match because of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. Anthony, that's what you were saying. It basically, in a in an unrefereed game, that's you're you're going to see mostly the oh hey I bumped it. You want to move? Oh that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, so yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's how it'll go. And usually, you know, and like you said, usually it's not something that 
most players will fuss over, but some people, you know, some players will. I mean, the rules are the rules, and right. if if it if it is a foul, they want it called. Right. And and that and that's why you why you take that time to agree to what you're doing, what rules you're playing, and how you're going to enforce. And yeah, absolutely. And he's left Sam pretty interesting spot here. Sam can elect to take the two, try to bank it, try to get the cue ball to follow the two ball to get some sort of shape on the one. Because if he draws it, I don't think he can get the cue ball back up table in any way, shape, or form. I think he'd have to follow the two if he's going to call the bank and leave the cue ball over on the top rail up there. Let's see if that's what he tries to do here. He might, try to, he might try to blast it. He did. Ooh, I see in that last shot, he was trying to trying to get shape on that two, and he just couldn't. Right. So now he's left Trent open for a shot here. And play the nine ball in the bottom left-hand corner. Play the 11 in the top right-hand corner. 15 in the side. And then what I think, depending on the shape he gets here, yeah, I think he's there. To see him play the eight ball in the same pocket he's about to play this 11 ball in. Let's see if, unless he draws it and does something crazy. He did not. Every once in a while, Sam or Trenton will surprise me and draw the hell out of cue ball and do right. something. Do something <laughs> I'm not a expecting. A lot of guys to do, do that too. You, I think they get in that moment where it is. All right, gonna tighten the match back up a little bit. Where, Trent moves it to three to four. Sam still in the lead, up one. Anthony, Anthony Eller, where are you from, Anthony? Anthony Eller says, find him a six twenty four or under, and he'll make the trip to play. <laughs> Oh, we, I, I can find, I can, Anthony, I can find you somebody. This is what I do. And this is, he put this match together pretty good. It's been it's a pretty tight match, I think. It's been playing, it's been playing out exactly like we were expecting it and hoping it would go. Don't forget to check TNT out on all of our social media outlets, Twitter, Facebook, of course, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, see all kinds of cool pictures of all the players that take part in our stuff. I'm, I'm definitely under a 624. <laughs> I'm probably under a 524. You see, Trent actually, we, I was doing my research. Trent does not have a turn. Uh, he does not Fargo. have an established Fargo, right? No. Sam does. Sam has a 550. Five, yeah, 550 or 545. I can't remember. Right now. now, how many how many Fargo events he's actually played in, I'm not sure. Well, I will tell you. Let me. Let me do my producer job here. Yeah, would you, producer? Could you tell me how many, how many events he's played in? What's his uh, robustness, so to speak? His robustness, I can do. Oh, I forgot I put him on my favorites, didn't I? Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, how dare I? Once again, I remind everybody out there: if you are looking to, you know. Put some sponsorship money up. Uh, we're we're always looking for some more Ooh. sponsors for the show. It's fairly inexpensive. It is inexpensive. If anything, we're too cheap on our advertising. But uh, yeah. we're not here to make a million dollars. We're we're here to uh, just try to promote the game of pool and be able to bring you matches just like this one right here from the from the legendary Pigeon Coop, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Anthony's from Altoona, Iowa. There's some good. Uh, there's a lot of good tournaments going out over that way. 624 Hans is a Fargo rate system. If you look, if you search Fargo rate or go to FargoRateMatch.com, you can find information. It's an international rating system that ran, rates everyone, uh, every 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 player from amateur to professional. Anthony is a 600 with a 1900 robustness, he says. He's from Altoona, uh, Iowa. Or Altona or Altoona. You know, I don't know what... Uh... You know, I don't know what I don't. I'm not sure what Jason Welker's handicap or uh, Fargo I, rate I is. I'll tell you that Sam is a 522 with 209 games. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you right now his uh, Fargo rate. He doesn't play. In, he plays in a lot of stuff that doesn't get reported. Yeah, his yeah his Fargo rate I guarantee is higher than that. Yeah, I know that my Fargo rate is five. Sam looks like Sam might know Anthony. I could. I think my I think my Fargo rates around a five eighty, and Sam plays every bit of my speed. Larry, Sam says you're only a four forty five. Oh. Jason Welker is a six sixty six. 
And I can honestly tell you that's a little high for him. I yeah. Mean, well, he only has 249 games he's, in. He's, so. only, he's got 249 games in, and, and he's only played that right here in the Sterling Rock Falls Dixon area. And right. That will balloon your Fargo rate up, I promise you. Because in all, like I said, in all reality, mine's like a, f- mine's probably what around five eighty. What is mine nowadays? Well, Sam's saying that you're a four forty five, but that doesn't seem right. To no, me. I'm a five five seventy one. Huh? He's a five seventy one. Who? You? Yeah. Okay, five seventy one. I knew I was up in there somewhere. Five seventy one with a eight seventy nine. I played, and I played a lot of games. But once again, I've also played that. Just you know, my my Fargo. I mean, I have played a couple. Uh, I played one tournament up at the Karam Room, so that probably you know beat me up a little bit. Yeah. Well, Anthony says he's looking for somebody with a six twenty four and at least a five hundred robustness. Well, we'll do some looking around, see what we can find, <laughs> you, Anthony. Han, Han says that they, except in the cornfields, they go by bushels. They go by bushels, <laughs> do they? <laughs> <laughs> I like Hans. <laughs> Han is good people. Sam Jump shot there. to the side pocket, almost made it. Yeah, rattled in around a little bit. And... Well, now you're gonna see the safe, safe play come out. If if Trent, Trent, if he can make a ball and try to get out, he will. But I promise you, if there's any anything real risky here, you'll see safety mm. after safety after safety. At, if, if if I was Sam, I'd probably keep that jump stick out. You're probably gonna need it. Right. Well, uh, Tr- Trent did say he was gonna do what he could to put Sam on the spot, and he's definitely doing a pretty good job of that so far. I think. Well, if he wants to get out here, he's going to have to cut that 12 ball in the side pocket. It's 12 ball, 14, whatever it is. Where are we at? You got the. F- he's looking at the 14 right now. Okay, the 14. All right. The, yeah, the 14 green. What am I thinking? That must be the 14 or 12 ball, I mean. Rob, yeah. Trent won the 9 ball, 10 to 8. Sam, the only Sam Maggio popping up at Fargo says that you are a. You don't have a. You don't have a starter rating or anything. You only have 94 games in with a preliminary rating of 542. Who, me? Sam. Maggio. Oh, okay. Well, he bumped, he bumped that. I mean, I don't think it's going to bother him here, but 15 ball still goes. Mm-hmm. Tell Sam he's supposed to be camping. He can hear you. Sam? <laughs> yes. Sam Maggio. He's on the chat. That's what I'm saying. Tell him he's supposed to be camping. Why am I telling him? He he can hear you. Oh, Sam, you're supposed to be camping. <laughs> it's it's Hollywood's first day. <laughs> it's my it's my first rodeo. <laughs> oh, me and Sam beat him around last night. Broke even. I did. Yeah. I was wondering if he even made it out or not. I didn't see. So I thought he was going. I didn't realize he was taking the other ball for the 11 first. Well, what he could do here, and he's not thinking about it, he could play a jam up safety right here, but he's like, he's gonna elect not to do it. Which Uh-oh, that no. was just. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, if we were worried about Sam got acting up. <laughs> <laughs> I threw some flyers up here. Let's take a look real quick. So obviously, uh, Sam got that one. You see some flyers fly by there for some of the stuff that we got coming up here. Not necessarily all of our stuff, but some tournaments coming up this this weekend. And that's the eight-ball tournament going on tomorrow at Legends. Mm-hmm. If you've never been to Legends, uh, you want to play an eight-ball tournament, it's great to get out there. Also, the uh, P-Town Showdown down Peoria. Racks on the rocks. Uh, nine-ball tournament handicap. Handicaps go from all the way to 311. Scotch doubles. That's an Algonquin. Uh, Twisted uh, Rose and Algonquin. Algonquin. I've never been there. I'm going to have to... Uh, pack up the fort one day and head out there and check that place out from what i and i haven't been there but from just the activity i see from what and i now i feel bad because i think I, he's saying i might be saying it's either ray or roy and i feel horrible i'm pretty sure it's roy or ray i don't know i can't remember i'm so freaking old. you're pretty sure it's roy it's I'm, and then it's, or, or ray i mean make it's ray mind. or roy what are you pretty sure about it starts with an r and ends with a y oh there you go let's go with that for now if his if his name turns out to be bob I'm going to be pretty upset with you. I, I'm looking it up right now. Hold on. Well, <laughs> Ray this, or Roy, I'm really sorry. I would be taking stripes. It's Roy. I was right. It okay. was Roy. I'm going to be taking stripes here, and this table is wide open. It was a great break, and Sam keeps his head on straight here. He's going to build a pretty big lead. Yeah. Uh, see, and just when I thought... Sam says, yeah, he is. Um, 
I, just when I thought maybe Trent might have had Sam a little flustered, they just flipped like a switch. You yeah, know. normally you don't see Trent showing too much emotion, but uh, it does happen on occasion. That was a harsh. That was a harsh shot. Hey, though. the kid's taking it to him, man. He's getting under his skin. I I like to see it. Yeah. Like I said, this is turning out to be every bit of the match you promised us. Yeah. I got to give you props. I try to put. I try to put decent ones together when I, when I'm when I'm left in charge of that. We're gonna have, <laughs> we're gonna start calling you. We're gonna change your name from Hollywood to to Larry Don King, <laughs> the matchmaker. <laughs> So Sam, Sam's looking pretty focused now. Problem is, is I can never set myself up with a match. Right. I lose every one I, I set keep, myself you up keep with. Keep set, setting yourself up. You talk so much crap, set up a match and get your butt kicked. Yeah, I know. So I, they, I talk a lot of baloney. I talk a lot. So they're racing the 10. They're playing eight ball right now. They played nine ball set just a little while ago. Trent managed to pull that one off 10 to eight. It was a great match. Saw some really good shots. Sam and... Like I said, Sam's looking to open up the gap here. He's he's he was like I I I seen what you got and I raise. Yep. Hans says you you got the pigeon coop and he's gonna he's creating the grain bin. The grain bin. You go, Hans. You send us pictures and links and we'll share them out. Yeah, absolutely. And if we can find our way to Nebraska, we'll come stream something. I I kind of remember where Omaha is, <laughs> sort of. I mean, granted, it was twenty years ago or twenty two, twenty three years ago when I was out there. Back there Oof. doing a little arm wrestling, a break and run out by Sam, taking the lead six to three, Oof. ladies and gentlemen. Got to do some more shout outs to our incredible sponsors because we don't say enough about them. They do amazing things for us, keeping these streams live and free for you guys. AA Flooring in Sterling, Illinois. Give Al a call, 815 632 0675. Al will get you set up with all your flooring needs. You can check out the website, aafloors.biz. And he can, you can use a little app on the page to check out all the options right there from the comfort of your own home. Check it out, aafloors.biz. Trenton broke that with a little frustration, I Yeah, think. I was going to say. that sounded seemed like more... there was a little aggression involved in that break. A little bit. So he, he did drop something. And we've got, I believe this is the 12 ball. Cue balls are here. We got the 10, 13, 11, 14, 9 ball. And then here's the 8. And we got the 5, the 2, the 6, the 3, the 7, the 4, and the 1. So it looks like he made a stripe. Yes. He made the. Yeah, there's only six stripes on the, on the table. Did he make the 15? Yeah, you made the 15. So where are you going? Cue balls are here. I I like stripes if you got a shot at one, but it don't look like it. He's, I mean. Looks like he's looking at the seven ball. Yeah, he's going to make the seven. going to uh -oh. cinch it, as we say. No, he's fine. Yeah. He'll play the one up in the corner and get to the two, and then he's going to have to figure out the three six. I mean, that, the yeah, three ball well, is tied the, up in there. It's bad. The two, you mean the four or the two? This is three the ball right here, tied up between the two stripes. Right. Well, you see, he's going to make the one ball and try to get to the two. Yeah, That's the two. Oh, I'm sorry. This, the two yeah, balls up there. I mean, yeah, he's going to so he's going to play the four, I think. Okay. Well, he can roll out a little nah, bit. Yeah, he got it. He, that ball got away from him. Yeah. You know, it's not what he was trying to do, but he can play the six. He can still play the six. He can still play the four if he wants to. It looks like he's going to go out to the five. So yeah. We've switched to opposite mode now. Now that's the oh, wow. The beautiful thing about playing uh, eight ball is you got options. Yeah, a lot of options. He may play the carom off the nine and try to get aggressive, or just lock lock the cue ball up between behind, right on either the fourteen or the twelve, whatever that is. Yeah, I got the 14 and the 11 right here. Or 14 and 11, but... Oh, he got oh. that ball. <laughs> and he might have made some room for the 8. No, nope, I don't believe so, but either way, it was fun to watch. It didn't really help him any, but it was fun to watch. Wow, that was a pretty incredible shot. Uh, he's got a shot on the 3 ball, it looks like. I can't tell us if he can get by the 13 there or not. I don't but. think... And every time we say you don't think so, you usually can. Well, once See, again, we got he, a second. Let's, he could hit it into the 10 and carom it down into this let's pocket. Let's look at that four ball real quick here. What in the world? I mean, that's cutting. He cuts that, or the, I'm sorry, the two ball. 
Cuts that's too called well. that's called cutting the hair off a gnat's ass with a dull butter knife. Look at that, just craziness. So he's he's, he's going after the three ball. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it goes. He's shooting at it like it goes, and it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, no. and worked out nicely. Yeah, I'm feel good shape on the four. He's got probably the six might even go, and he can still get back. Well, to the he's four. gonna have to play. The He's going to have to play the six in that side pocket and somehow get behind the eight ball over there because I don't think the eight ball clears the nine. Now, it might, but from our standpoint, you can't tell. He's going to either back this up or try to shove it out past the 10, 13. Buck. See, he's looking right there. That's where he wants to be. He wants to be right there. Mm -hmm. Buck, uh, Trent won the first one, 10 to 8. He oh. didn't get there. Now he's got to try to kick it in. And the problem yep. is, is even if he kicks it in, he yeah. still cannot. See, so the shape on the eight ball is a problem. So do you want to, you want, and you can't, like, kicking at it makes playing safety really hard here. Well, the thing about it is if you can hit it on the, if you can, you know, if he kicks it, hits it on the back right hand side, not that side, but the opposite side that he's got his cue pointed in. Right. He could send the cue ball up to the top rail and leave it just set up there and try to make it tough on 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 the rhino, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And but he's not thinking of it. He's thinking make. Yeah. I thought, he was, he, <laughs> I thought you were going to see him slamming on I, the table. I, I thought something not very good was going about to happen. Well, yes. Now, if Sam was smart and he wanted to make sure he wanted to secure it out. What he could do here is just play a safe, take the cue ball down there, play a safe behind the eight ball, get the, you know, make the nine ball, but leave the cue ball right on the eight. But it, that's not what he's going to do. That's probably what I would do because, you know, I'm kind of a pansy like that. Well, now, do you, how much do you think the, the choices he's making right now? Because you see he's looking at the owl. Sure he is. But how much, how much do you think the lead is influencing? What he's about to do. Well, the, do you he's, think he's, he's got a three game lead? He can say, well, throw caution to the wind a little bit here and try to get out. And mm -hmm. which I don't blame him. I mean, you can still do that, but I'm just not sure I would take that, uh, that route. But let's see what he does. Let's see, even like that shot there. I mean, that's a bit risky. He could just stop it right behind. You could call safety here and stop it right there. Let's see if. But that's not what he's going to do. See, I'm not sure I like that, but we'll see what happens. Well, no, he because the problem is you got to get to the nine ball. Right. I think he could. I well, think he, he could get I'm out. I'm not saying that he can't. I'm right. just saying he's making it a little harder on himself than he had to. I mean, he can but make the eleven here and back it all the way to the rail. But he still has the option, though, if he yep. gets to the nine, that he could still play that safe. Yes, he can. But he had ball in hand. He could have played a nut safe. Right. He could have made it to where Trent couldn't hit the ball no matter what. Right now, it, now it's more. I'll, out of his control than it would have been with the ball uh, in hand. He's forced himself into an out now, almost. He's getting there, let's put it that way. Because he still's not to the nine ball. And that would have been the first ball I would have cleared out. Oh. He had a plan, it looks like. No, yeah, he does. But he's got a funny angle, and he's leaving it, gonna, you know, leave him a longer shot than I would like to see, but... He had to get it over there to the rail, and I don't. I think he got it there. Yeah, I think he, he's got the nine easy. Yeah, he's 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 bearing down on it, so it, it's a little easy. It's a little more, a little more loosened up than I had anticipated. Good shot. Yeah, very nice, very nice save. Well, I mean, this is not the finishing shot he wanted to leave himself. I mean, got to be a little careful not to scratch here. Cue ball's liable to come right back at him and go in the side pocket, but he's got some inside English he's putting on it. Looks like. And good shot. Puts that away pretty nicely. Seven to three. The rhino is putting the hammer to the bagger. Yeah. The the air is deflating out of that bag. Yeah. Don't forget we're coming to you live right here from the legendary pigeon coop. But once again, boys and girls, TNT tournaments will take this show on the road. If you, yes, you, want to challenge somebody, just let us know. We'll pack up the equipment and, you know, for a small donation fee or whatever we got going on, you know, for the, whether it be the bar that you want to play at, wants to do a little sponsorship so we can talk about them, or 
or the players want to throw in a few bucks to have us come stream their match, uh, you know, hey, take care of us and we'll take care of you. It's all about promoting this sport, boys and girls, because if we don't promote it, you won't hear about it, that's for sure. This is this is our outlet, I think. You know, a lot of people talk and want to want to see pool back on TV, but I think, I, and 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 in general, I think that I think this is the way TV is going to go anyhow. But yeah, I agree one hundred percent. And you know, we had the uh, great Allison Fisher on the show. Uh, I just finally calmed down from that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I've watched it a few times. And uh, you know, we had her on the show, and we asked, you know. We've asked Mark Wilson. We've asked Dallas uh, West. We've, you know, we've asked a lot of different players what they think it would take, and everybody's kind of got their own little different opinion. Alice, I liked Allison's idea though. Maybe some more like to get television back on, or get pull back on television, I should say. Uh, I, she, her idea was, you know, maybe more team events and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. you know, I got to thinking about that. You know, people like to support their teams, whether it's football baseball whatever hockey whatever the case might be and that and that might be the outlet where you have more of Moscone type, type cup uh team play and keep you know have more people interested in it and maybe that's what gets this great game back on television well, Sam uh, I just I, doesn't look good here for him oh yeah I don't quite go I don't seven ball can be back cut in the corner but it's it's not an easy shot no the eight ball still has an issue yeah. I think the team thing is definitely, and that, that's part of my motivation with the doubles league that we're doing, trying to build those. Look at that. Yeah, problem was is the cue ball was being turned loose, and this is what happens when you turn the cue ball loose. You hook yourself. Yep. And you see it kind of throws his arms up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but that was the motivation between the, the doubles league and the, this change I made in trying to build these these uh, build the city cup thing to do based on that idea from uh, Eric Noretto his uh, G1 showdown where he pits uh, his leagues against each other in a Moscone Cup style tournament. And it was great. I, I enjoyed it. We went up, TNT actually last year went out and streamed it. Um, oof. Yep, and my good buddy uh, Danny Blackburn, who keeps ignoring me online because <laughs> I keep calling him out. And he, he doesn't answer me because I want to beat his brains in because I owe him one. <laughs> uh, yeah, he played really good in that, and all the boys down there played really oh, well. Yeah. There's some good players down in that area. Uh, I've been down to uh, what's it called down there? Route 34, Pub and Grub of some sort. Or what, what's oh, it called? Oh, that's the other. That's the other direction. What am I thinking? Of? Route 38. Route 30. Route 34 is Pub and Grub and Sandwich. You went there, yeah. I did. You're, yeah. Yeah, you went there for a turn. I know you went there. for I thought a that was down by where they were doing. Yeah, uh, did that. Sandwich is. I think it's the other way. That could be heck. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, that Route Thirty Four Pub and Grub's nice too. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely. They got all diamond. They got all diamond tables down there, and I went down there and played in a tournament. That's probably been. It's been a while ago now. Yeah. They got but, a bunch uh, of good Saturday and Sunday. They do eight ball and ten ball. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Trenton trying to get himself back into this game, but he in a tough spot. That's he, for sure. Yeah. I told everybody this was his best game, and Sam's just putting it on him, like like mustard on a bologna sandwich. Man, now you're making me hungry. I um, know. I'm starving. <laughs> I just ate four tacos, and I'm starving. <laughs> My, Mr. Noble in the house. Um. Well, hopefully it's looking good there, Anthony, on the phone. We. We we aim for a we we aim for mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what can you expect for free? <laughs> and if you had to pay for it, you wouldn't be getting any better. Right. This is all we got. <laughs> Very nice shot, with Trent. There, paired down on that, stayed down, got good shape on the nine ball. Play the nine in the corner, fourteen in the corner that he just played the other ball in, and eight ball in the opposite corner. Very nice, stroked it nice, yeah. looks good. Played that real well. Now he's going to try to tighten up the score a little bit here. Looks like he's going to do it. I'm just just got to stay still on these shots here and make it. There you go. Trent, four. Sam Henderson, seven. 
CBM Construction helps us bring these streams to you free. Give Bill a call, 815-716-6727. Bill builds it best with all your offering on all your construction needs, new builds, remodeling, heating and cooling services and installations. Bill is licensed, bonded, insured, and ready to do what you need done. Give him a call. Find out how he can help you with fair and affordable prices. Check him out on Facebook. You can see some of the work he's done. It's incredible. You will not be disappointed. Give Bill a call. CBM can start it. Here comes Trent now. In the 12th rack of the set. Six ball almost fell, yeah. but he comes up dry. And once again, open, you know, just a, this is where the break will kill you sometimes. You know, yeah. he's, he's, he's hitting them like a monster. But the problem is, is nothing, nothing's, nothing's going in. Sam taking a good look at this. He's trying to you know, maybe slow the pace down here just a little bit, make sure, you know, keep Trent over there in his chair, try to turn him into a statue, try to get him cold. All right. Cal, no, this is the second set they are. Ten ball is scheduled to be played. Is that Cal Stage? Yeah. Yeah, Cal Stage, he, uh, him and uh, Mike Rippey split the Pigeon Coop tournament that we had here on Monday night, so that was nice to see. It was nice to have Cal out playing. I always give him a lot of BS on the on the, uh, on the the stream, but uh, he showed up to play Monday night, and him and, like I said, him and Rippey took, uh, split, split the first place money. Mr. Roach, how you doing, Danny? Can't wait, can't wait to see Danny play in person sometime. I've seen seen him on a couple uh, stream matches, I think, and uh, plays really good. I know that uh, he had a big mega match set up at one time, didn't work out, but uh, like to like to see him in action sometime. So Danny, if you ever get something going on, let us know, man. We'd love to walk, come watch you play. Oh, absolutely, Sam's in a well. It's a wide open table, and it's certainly you know opportunity to get out here. Spread the lead uh, eight to four. It's looking pretty pretty good for him here. Yeah, he's staying down. Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. It's fine. Yeah, play the three and the eight in the same pocket, or depending on what his angle is, yeah, he's going to get on that side of the eight ball. That's what I thought. I mean, I suppose he could slow roll it forward a little bit, but I I like I like to draw the ball over here, just like that off yeah. the rail, just perfect. I get that. Dan, Perfect. Daniel Johnson says he'll come down and play Trent. Trent says, told him that's good. So Sam's up 8 to 4 now. Check out TNT social media Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Don't forget if you're watching us on Facebook, hit like and follow and make sure you turn on your live notifications so you don't miss a thing. If you're watching us over on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Click on the bell to turn on your live notifications so you don't miss anything. And don't forget you can. YouTube, you can check out a lot of stuff we've done previously. Uh, a lot of fight night matches up in a playlist there. Uh, some of our previous tournaments that we've uh, done before everything went all wonky in, in Illinois. Um, and, of course, since we Is that a word? Wonky? Yeah. It is now. I just made it. It's like, that's like, put. is that kind of like putting some funk on the ball? No, I think wonky, I mean, the way I'm using it, wonky is more like out of whack. Oh. You know. Oh, nice break from Sam. Gets a ball. Once so. again, the table spread. I mean, yeah. this is a run out rack here. Sam has put himself in the position to go on the hill here with and leaving Trenton in his seat. <laughs> Danny Roach says nobody wants to watch him. He can only beat his cousin, Scott Garland. <laughs> <laughs> well, Danny, I know you're a great well, player. Then you tell him. Yeah. You guys play. Yeah, you we'll guys come play. Look, on, look on stream it. You know, just <laughs> throw us a few bucks and, a burger and we'll and bet us on a, you. And give us a burger. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you got to cook good food for us to show up somewhere because I'm kind of a right. I'm all about the food, but you know the thing about it is, is I'm not an expensive date. You know, right. burger and fries, I'm good. Right. Yeah. Top three ways to get TNT to your event: fire up the grill. Yeah. Fire <laughs> up the grill, and then uh, fire up the grill. Yeah, and then, and then yeah. we'll probably show up. We don't even have to play pool. We'll just. We'll well, just... Yeah. Top three ways: fire up the grill, fire up the grill, don't leave a check. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So Sam puts away. I didn't see what he shot. Well, he, I think he, he actually elected to go with the stripes, which I was kind of surprised about. But yeah, I thought not, the, 
Yeah, yeah this, now is not, this is not good. This is not good. No. Nope. Does he well, have a shot at the 15 ball? Is the question. I really he, thought he was playing the solids. I think that's what I would have gone for. I think my first ball would have been the six, and mm-hmm. I would have played out of there. But, uh, you know, Sam's proven that he knows what he's looking at or what he's trying to do. And a lot of people don't remember this kid's only 13 years old. Yeah. And, yeah, he... He's got his thinking way above uh, his his age group here. You know, he's well, got and, his mind on right here. And, and and one thing that we haven't touched on is when you uh when we put this challenge out in the coop, there were not a lot of people jumping at the chance to play this. At kid. the chance to play this, there was you you know you threw it out there. Hey, well, I was going to play him, but I I I, I, I prefer to, to stay here. It's cheaper. You know, I'd rather <laughs> right. commentate. I I lose a lot less money <laughs> okay. that way. You know, Sam's definitely capable of beating me, but I, I heard Dan Johnson uh, barking over there. If he wants to come play somebody, you tell him uh, I'll play him. We, we, we've, we've talked about it before. It's just we've never gotten together to play. I, I'd like to play Dan, though. I'll put a beating on him or or get or get annihilated, one of the two. Right. I guarantee you one, one, or, one or two things will happen. I'll either win or I'll lose. <laughs> That's that's pretty good that, prediction. That, is, that is spot on commentator that, right that, there. That goes with the no shit Sherlock thing again. Right, that, that is spot on commentating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the language. <laughs> we're all adults here. Yeah. Oh, I at think, least I well, think so. We tell people up we until are. we get banned. So there goes Trent takes that two ball. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I like that selection there, but uh, he was looking at the four one combination and uh, I just. I would have preferred See, to clip the one out of there first, but it's com- just me. Combinations, to me, they always kind of put me on a little on the edge because it's you, not you. You kind of you, a lot of people are so focused on making the ball you're trying to make in the combination, and they forget about putting the ball you're using in the combination somewhere. Well, he got a little lucky there because yeah. he, what should I? I think what he was trying to do is hit the cue ball down and have the eight ball save him from disaster, but. Uh, I mean, he's still got a shot. Like I said, he's playing eight ball, so he's got three other options to, to look at here, a couple other options anyways. Got to put a good stroke on this. Oh, and he did. Mm-hmm. So you can see some of that that uh, bagger draw here, I'm thinking. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna see a big draw out of him right here. He's going to try to draw it, put it right on the rail over on the far side route. He might even draw this all the way back to the bottom rail and off the rail, but with the angle that he's got, I think he, I think, he, I think he can just draw it right over to the side rail. Let's see what he does here. He's really good at this. Oh no! Oh, he got it in between. Oh, yeah, no, he he's did. fine. He's fine. I thought maybe he was play the gonna six, roll one more, play the but... six and the eight in the same pocket. Nice, very nice shot. Trent's gonna take this game, make it eight to five. And he's saying, so there's a chance. Yep. Yeah, like. Uh, so they're scheduled to play 10 ball next. We're doing races to 10 here. Trent won the first set, nine ball, 10 to eight. And uh, it's hard saying who's going to come out with this one now. They're They're battling back and forth. Well, the thing about it is Sam needs to win this set if he wants to win the overall. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, that way they're going in and they're they're going in both winning a set of each in a different discipline. Now, like I said, if you would have asked me earlier at the beginning of the match when you asked for my prediction, I thought that uh, Sam would take the nine ball and, and that Trent would take the eight ball. And it has, as of right now, it's going completely the opposite. But, right. uh, so once again, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't always hit it the nail on the head, so to speak. <laughs> An unnamed commenter has said, I've noticed if we put Larry on the couch, he doesn't need a fidget spinner. I, I do not. <laughs> My hands have been still the whole time I've been sitting here. <laughs> yes, boys and girls, I'm sitting on the couch. Yep, he's all lounged out. I'm, I'm lounged out. I'm kind of laying on the side here, just watching the, watching the match on the big screen television right here at the legendary Pigeon Coop. I still think it's funny when people ask me where the pigeon coop name come from, and uh, you know, people call it call them fishes or whatever the hell 
you know, whatever they want to call uh, bad pool players. <laughs> but uh, that's where the pigeon thing came from. We're sitting around drinking some beers one night. and It used to be called Hollywood's Pub and Pool Hall, but I always thought that was a little selfish to name it after myself. So we came up with the pigeon coop not long after that and renamed her, and here we are. Because we're a bunch of pigeons around here. <laughs> That's why Daniel Johnson wants to play. He knows we're pigeons. <laughs> we'll just and we'll keep coming. We'll keep and we'll keep coming back for more. Sam's gonna put a draw on this. To try to get shape on the fifteen to the side pocket. He gets there. The key is here. Can he hold? Can he hold for the ten ball? That's gonna be the question. He left the ball on the rail, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, so if he rolls too far forward, oh, there you oh. go. That was a good shot. He had a plan. Yeah, he had a plan, and this looks like this is going to go nine to five. He's going to dolly parting him right here. <laughs> For those uh, you, oh wait a minute, I didn't see the nine ball down there. He's got to back up and get to the nine ball. I didn't see the nine ball yeah, down just, at the end of the table. He was just looking at that. Yeah, he's going to have to put a draw on this. Hey, st he st should still get out. He did have a. F yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. Nope. He's all right. He's fine. Yeah. He clipped he, the he clipped the nine and played the eight ball in the same pocket. He was probably wanting to be a little more back though. I we'll think. probably see him. It, he may go. He may go two rails here to get shape on this. He put a little little draw on it here. A little left hand draw. Go two rails. I think. Just like that. Yep. Very nice. Look at that kid go. Nice. Trenton gives it to him, did he? No. no. Okay. He didn't give it to him. Well, it's still, yeah, that puts her away, though. And Sam Henderson says, listen, old man, I am here to play some pool. Show you guys some flyers again. They're going to fly by real quick. See how We'll see how much Hollywood can keep up with them real quick while I change the scores around here. Yeah, August, uh, this is the benefit they're having for me at the Black Rose down in Princeton. Uh, this advertisement here tomorrow, eight ball tournament. Uh, I'll be there by noon. Doors open at 10. They're going to have a player's auction tomorrow, the P-Town Throwdown, which is I'm going to be participating in. Me and Jason Welker are going to head down there. We'll be down there by 11 o'clock. Uh, for every 32 players, they're going to add more $500. And the Scotch Doubles in Algonquin, Iowa tomorrow, 400 added to that tournament. So make sure you show up. If Depending on where you're at, what part of the Midwest you're in, you gotta you got a yeah. place to choose. Yeah, there are definitely options if you're looking for some pool to play this weekend. And I, and I, and I have to, you know, take a minute to, you know, Thank Chris Chorus down there and all the guys that are help putting the, putting the tournament together. And Kaylee's down there working her butt off. Donnie Daly, Steve Oder, all them boys down there. Brandon Mall. Uh, don't forget you know, about Dustin. Dustin Duche, who's yeah. actually started putting the whole thing together for me. One of my best buds of all time. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer, colon cancer, just not long ago, a few months back, and. Uh, Things have gotten a little difficult around here at the Pitch and Coop financially wise and trying to do the best I can. And some people always ask me, you know, how long are you going to keep commentating? How long are you going to keep playing pool? And I'm, I keep telling them until I'm dead. So, you know. Oh, he's under contract. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, I, I, I told everybody, you know, that uh, I went into the doctor when I originally got diagnosed and he said I had six months to live. I said, I don't have any money. So he gave me another six months. So uh, hopefully See, I'm going to stick around for a while. Since there you they, go. Since you got it all figured me. out. Yeah. What's the cure to cancer? Being broke. Oh, that's right. <laughs> just, just tell him you can't pay the bill. <laughs> Keep you around for a while. So, but, you know, in all seriousness, no, and no, all joking aside, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody's, everybody's help. I'm going to, I, I try to do the best I can to help promote this sport, and I have found out that uh, pool players are very giving. Uh, they're trying to help me out as much as they can, even in the tough times that we're in these days. They've they've helped me out a lot, and I I can't say enough. I I appreciate it. I can't. I just you know sometimes I'm speechless. Like I got guys like John Bresley who's going to donate a bunch of cues for us to sell off and help pay some of the bills around here. So that's that's nice. I. I, I almost I was holding back tears when I seen that on Facebook when he offered that up. I was just I didn't know what to say to him. Yeah. So everybody that's showing up, everybody that's donated, everybody that's pitched in to help out, I I, I just want to I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because mm. that's all I can do right now is thank you and try to promote this game the best I can and try to somehow some way get a miracle and 
live till I'm 80. But if I don't, then, you know, I'll stick around as long as I can, and I'm going to do, I'm going to play pool and commentate pool as long as I can. They're going to have to pull me out of this world <laughs> kicking and screaming. And that is no lie. All right. Well, we've got Trent here. Yeah, I don't get him. <laughs> Lord knows I like the bitch. <laughs> but uh, try, trying to, trying to, you know, grind one out here. He's got to, got to close this up. He's in. Do it. Nice wow, what shot. A shot. What a shot. Now what he needs to do is he needs to take, play another side pocket shot here and play shape and get out. I'd take that side pocket shot there, but that's just me. Right. I don't know if the eight ball clears the six, but it looks like it does. Yeah, I think it does. Very nice. Oh, he overstroked it, so he didn't want to get behind that 13, but uh, he was a little inside the English. Kill it off the side rail and still get shaped for the 15, so he's fine. Just see a little inside left, kill that cue ball, get it down there, get in line with 15. There he goes. Actually, that worked out perfect. He actually needed a little bit of an angle, and he got it. That's not the angle he wanted, but that's the angle that he's got. And it'll still work. Oh, no, he's going to get it behind the five. Oh, no. Nope, I think he's okay. I think, yeah, I think he can get it still. He's not happy. No, he's not happy, but I think he can still... I told you he likes to draw the ball, and unfortunately, every once in a while, it will get him in trouble like that. He'll he'll kind of overdraw it a little bit. And he's got a kind of little Massé hop here. Let's see what he can do. He's, he's getting up on it. Well, he did hit it, so that was half the battle. But, that, was, uh, that was a plus. Uh, he's giving Sam an out. Sam could, Sam could win this 10-5. Sam's probably thinking to himself, we should have just played eight ball from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that they did mix up the, the disciplines and gave, you know, made it. Well, in my opinion, when you're, when you're playing a grudge match against somebody, you want to gamble. This is how you should do it. Mm-hmm. Even if you want to do long races, okay, fine, do long races, do one eight ball, one nine ball, one ten ball, because that's the games that everybody plays on a bar box. Play all disciplines, and then you can see who the best overall player really is. Right. Something I've been seeing over our, I mentioned. And you always get a winner because you play the three sets and you're done. Dan and Sam are <laughs> jawing each other in the comments. Dan Daniel Johnson just said, Sam, aren't you an advanced player? <laughs> and he said he'd play him. Nah, Dan Daniel Johnson and Sam would be a good matchup. I, I'd like to see that match. Daniel's saying TNT set it up. No, I, I'm sure Sam will do it. We can no. we can do it right here from the coop. We can go to, hell, we can go down to Sharkies and, 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 and do it or do it over at Legends, wherever. <laughs> Sam says no, he's an open. Nice. Very nice shot. Very there. nice. Sam's about to He wants this. He he well, he wants it bad. He wants to avenge that nine ball loss. Yeah. Go back and you know, because we were talking outside earlier and I told him, I said I, I told Sam, I said, Well, I said you're gonna have your hands full in eight ball because Trenton plays real good eight ball and Sam just kind of smirked. <laughs> and now I know why. But uh it, it hasn't been Trenton's best uh performance in eight ball for sure. But once again, that's why you play the game. A little he, farther than you he wanted. Didn't, he didn't like that. He don't no. like this angle. But he can he can roll the cue ball down off the bottom rail and back up and get shape. Right. Or he can draw it over, whichever he feels comfortable with. He chooses to draw oh, it. Slow and down, man. Yeah, he's, all right. he's okay. Yep, he's okay. I don't think he had a doubt. <laughs> Sam's gonna bury this one. Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. Yep, that's game set match there. What a performance by Sam. The Rhino Henderson so wins this set 10 5. They're going to take another quick break. We're going to we're going to revisit this one real quick. We're going to meet our players, take a look at the tail of the tape, as you like to call it. Yeah. For those of you who might just join us, we're live at the Pigeon Coop for TNT Fight Nights. We got Sam, the Rhino Henderson, and Trent, the Bagger Burlow. Sam's 13 from Bettendorf, Iowa. His home pool hall is Sharkies. And he. The seven and eight ball and nine and nine ball in the APA, and he's playing with McDermott H eight fifty one with a Defy shaft. And the old man Trent the Trent the Bagger Burtwell, thirty six years old from Sterling, Illinois, right across the river from the Pigeon Coop. 
His home uh, pool is the Pigeon Coop. He's an open player, shoots with a Nova. He doesn't have a Fargo, right? But if, I, I, I venture to guess if he had one, it'd be in the upper fives. Easily, for sure. Autumn, hey, how you doing? These guys have been squaring off here in the night, playing nine ball, which Trent won 10 to eight. You just saw Sam win the the uh, eight ball, uh, 10 to five. And we got one more set coming up in 10 ball. And the players are taking a little break that they pre to. And I'm going to take a quick couple minute break. You here too. I'll be right back. Thing. Okay. Uh, they're taking a few minute break before they start the 10 ball set. It'll be another race to 10 right here. You're watching live on TNT on our Facebook and our YouTube. Uh, wherever you're at, make sure you stop by and give us a like and a follow, a like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to turn on your life notifications so you don't miss anything. The players will be right back here at the table, so hang tight. We're going to take a moment, and I'm going to have you check out a, a quick little commercial from one of our sponsors that help keep all these streams free for you guys so you can enjoy live streaming pool without having to throw down the money to do it. We appreciate everything you do, and if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, and getting your name out to our pool players and uh, all of our viewers, go ahead and give us a call, 833-TNT-POOL. That's 833-868-86. I'm sorry, I, I was reading the comments there. It is a little stressful, isn't it, Tracy? 833-868-7665. Uh, give us a call, and we'll tell you all about all of our options for sponsorships. They're uh, affordable and very customizable. Check this out. We'll be right back. Build your dreams. Call CBM Construction, 815-716-6727. Offering all your construction needs from remodeling to new builds, as well as heating and cooling services and installation. If it needs done, CBM is ready to serve you with their professional service. Inside and out, Bill builds it best. Licensed, bonded, and insured, CBM Construction has you covered. Check them out on Facebook and give them a call to get your estimate today. CBM Construction. So, here we go. You saw some uh, flyers for those uh, tournaments this weekend. A bunch more you can check out. Uh, TNT is always doing our best to share share stuff out. So, if you got a tournament or something coming up and you'd like us to share it, uh, just stop by the Facebook page and send us some information. Uh, or you can text it to our TNT phone number or message us, anything like that. In any way you can get to it, you can. Uh, if you're a tournament director or a league operator, um, and you'd like to like to hook up and, and uh, talk to and with other tournament directors and operators, hit me up on the TNT page, and I'll get you invited to our league operator and directors uh, forum. We have a group on Facebook. It's private for us to kind of get in there and talk to each other and share information. And uh, we've got a special download over there where we can uh, – where you guys can use a template to create your own ads so you can put some stuff up. So here we go with 10 ball, race to 10. Sam won the flip, and he's going to break. They're playing alternate break. Remember, in 10 ball, the 10 ball pocketed on the break doesn't count. It's always respotted it. Uh, 10 ball, you call all your shots. Uh, you still have the push. Uh, a couple of unique rules. Well, a unique rule about 10 ball is if you call a ball and miss that ball and pocket another ball, basically slop a slop ball a in, ball in yeah. your opponent has the option to turn the table back to you. Uh, so it kind of, you can't play, obviously in a rotation games, you can't play, you can't play pocket ball safeties. And another thing that in some places, not here today, or at least I don't believe so, unless they've got a rule that's going on that I'm not aware of, but uh, uh, sometimes you play 10 ball, you call shot, call safe. So if you call a safety, for example, or you uh, if you call a safety and I can't remember how the rule goes now. I have to look it back up. Give me a minute. I got to think it. I got to think it out in my head. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes I go brain dead, but sometimes it's call safe, call shot. 
and I think Sam's pushing out just to, and he does. <laughs> and Trent, Trent says, "Go ahead and get that short stick, Sam." Get the short stick. And out. I think I think Sam was kind of looking forward to that. And he's called the one ball up there. He's gonna gonna go short stick and. Yeah, I think. I think until I see my opponent. Oh, oh. Until, until I see my opponent make. Jump shot after jump shot. I, I'll make him shoot it every time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, now, let's see if Trenton can get his head back on straight here because, I mean, he did get his rear end handed to him in the last set. Sam put it on him like uh, like yeah. a dump truck. He showed uh, he showed some prowess in that first rotation set in the nine ball. Sure did. I mean, it's, this is a slightly different discipline being ten ball. Because there's, you know, I mean, not that, and not that by any means either one of them were slopping anything in in the nine ball. No, no, no. You didn't. Matter of fact, I don't know that we've seen him slop. Well, we did see Trent. Uh, he did right. I think he, he, well, when he rode kicked, it. When he, well, that was actually an eight ball game. He yeah. kicked the kicked the six, hit the eight, and it went in. And but you know, happens. Is he playing the ten here? No, he did not play the ten. Not sure what he was doing actually. Uh, he was get he was playing a safe apparently behind the seven ball. <laughs> we'll we'll say he got a safe. Okay, we got a safe. We we're not gonna say he played it. We're gonna say he got it. Oh, uh, that's that's what it is. So if if he would have sometimes it's call shot call safe. So for example, he called the shot in the corner. He missed it. Okay. So if he now if they were playing calls call safe call shot. Since he didn't make it, he technically could give it back. But that's not the rules they're playing by here. So no. in other words, if you call the shot, you don't make it, and you hook your opponent, you could, the other player would still have the option to give it back. I gotcha. But that's not the rules they're playing here. But I've seen it played that way also, as I guess is what I was getting at. That's what, see? Every once in a while, it just takes me a while I, to get there. I trust you. Right, that's why I let, let it go. Nice shot. Remember we were talking about until the, my opponent proves that he can make a jump shot? Right. <laughs> and and just, make just hammers one in there yep. like it's nothing. Yeah, that was a nice one. <laughs> I <sighs> wish we had the camera over here so you could have just seen that. Well, I've just learned something here. Uh oh That the uh, strawberry margarita in the can is 80% alcohol. <laughs> I'm glad that ended the way it did because it started off a little rough when you said anything in the can. <laughs> well, he's jacked up going into this three ball. Try to get it out of the way, and I don't think that worked for him. So. Uh, he's, he's left. He certainly left Trent a shot here. But yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I wish I could go back to have. I, I'd love to have a beer or a, something, but I, I, I can't drink anymore. My drinking days are over. <laughs> Okay, coming down here to get shape on the two ball. Uh, uh, that'd be the four. Or the four ball, I'm sorry, yeah. Sometimes I get my colors mixed up. <laughs> He's calling the combo, calling the five in the corner. The four ball might follow it. Oh, it did, it did not, not. But he bumped the eight out of the way so we yeah, get the He's going to have to rail first, this, I believe, which is not a tough shot here. Lose a little inside English, kill it. Just a smidge, just like so. Yeah, he needed to hit it harder than that. Now you might yeah. see a safety. Play a little ring around the rosy with the All six right. ball here because if, if Trenton's smart, he, he he either knocks the six ball up table and leaves the cue ball down here or vice versa. It takes the cue ball down the table and leaves the six ball down at this end, whichever. I don't think he's put the cue ball up. Yeah, he went way too hard. Yeah. Way too hard. Left, left Sam an option here. He needed to just thin that six ball, leave it about center table on the rail down there is what he needed to do, but that's not what happened. Sam says, okay, I'll take this shot. Puts yeah. it away. Man, look at that shape. Just just, just right on the money. Mm -hmm. I think Sam might be. He's in stroke, boys and yeah, girls. I, think he, I definitely think he found his spot. <laughs> Looks like Sam's going to get up on there. We're going to go up 1-0. Trent, Trent says, says that's, that's good. good. Let's take a look at that jump shot real quick here. Kind of 
kind of in a little awkward spot. Had to climb up on the table just a little bit. Gets it nice and clean. Didn't get much farther after that, but he put a nice put a nice shot on that. So Sam goes up one nothing. Here comes Trent, second rack of the set the race in the ten the ten ball. Trent won the first set ten to eight. Sam took the eight ball set ten to five. Nice break. We got the one ball. So we got the uh, rubber match, so to speak, going mm -hmm. on here. He got the one ball and the two ball in there on the break. And let's take a look here real quick what we got sitting. So he cue ball is here. He dropped the two on the break and the one. So he's going to be shooting here at the three. His biggest problem is he's got the six ten, you know, mm -hmm. I don't I don't and know if, if he can see the three ball. I do not believe that he can. So but, I think he's gonna elect a push. Yep. So he's got the three is here, the four, the five. The six that obviously tied in the ten. Yeah. Seven, eight, and the nine. And he does push. Let's see what Sam decides to do here. Oh, so if I'm Sam, I, I I play this shot. You going short stick again? Well, I believe he should be. Able, well, I can't tell from my angle, but it. it no, he gave it back. He gave it back to him. Yeah. Trenton's gonna hit it between the eight ball. I think I think you're the right. The rail on the eight ball, and he's going to try to clip the three and knock it out of there, leave the cue ball down table. Oh, and he scratches. The thing about it is, here's here's where here is where he is still okay, because Sam has to figure out how to get to the six ball. The right. Six ball is what's screwed up right there. That little that little mess right there is could wreak havoc. Right, because he's got to he. He might be able to break it well, out he's, here, he's gonna, he's and he's gonna going play, to. Well, he's going to play it to break it out right here. And he's problem. got the four here, so he's going to be working towards the yeah, right it, end of the table. You've got to send this. you got to make sure. You, I, I don't hit this real hard. I hit oh. it just about like that. Oh. Now it died up the other way. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not funny when you're playing, though. No. no. Let's see what Sam can come up with here, though. Yeah, he's hit the five ball square and all. And, and, and the thing about it is, I know some pool players get upset when they can't they can't just run out, but sometimes it's how the games go. He's called a safety, I think. He's going to try to run it down the table, get it behind the ten six as a blocker, and the eight there. He, I don't know. And even if, you know. I don't play this to make it. I just I play this just to beat it out of there. And there you go, just like so. Yeah. Gets it back over on the rail and makes Sam low court. And I mean, Sam could call a bank shot here, but you know what do you do with the six? Is the problem right? And this is where a lot of amateur players oh, look will. At this. Oh. oh. This is where a lot of amateur players will get themselves in trouble because they try to make the hero shot when you don't have a way to get shape. So why? Why make the ball if you can't get shape? Now here, Trenton plays the combo, and he's going to try to run the cube. He's going to take a he's going to take a shot at the six ball right here. He's going to hit the five. Play he's playing a nine ball, but he's going to try to go two rails and knock the six out of there. He's going to put some juice on this one, just like that. Oh, yep. Maybe he got over there, but he well, just now, now he can play this if he's smart. He plays a safety here. I play the safety unless the six goes inside. Or he can follow it and break the six out. I think he can get the six. There he goes. Good shot. Very nice. Now you take that six all the way up and get shaped for the seven. Yep. You know, Trent needs to send a message here that he ain't messing around. So he he needs to make this shot. And he does. Very yes. nice shot. And I can't let Sam get out like he did in the eight ball. You no. Know, like get out ahead and of him. When you eight. got two players that play... When you got two players that play close in speed and you give one guy the three or four game lead, the other guy is never going to catch him. Well, I shouldn't say never, but chances it, are he ain't going to catch it. it. Yeah, the, the odds go down. For That's sure. correct. And if, you know, Sam, what Sam should be doing here now is trying to keep the heat on him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because he's proved that if he, Sam's proved that if he can get out in front and, and 
just loosen up on his stroke a little bit, he can, you know, he can make shots and he can keep Trenton pinned down. But we'll see what happens here in this last match in a 10 ball. I predicted that, uh, I actually predicted that uh, Trenton would win this matchup. So we'll we'll see, we'll see what happens here in the 10 ball. Maybe uh, Ouch. Sam can prove me wrong. Ouch, Jesus. I'm wanging stuff all over the place. Who is? Me. Oh. <laughs> I'm pulling a, I'm pulling Hollywood today and messing with wires like crazy. Hey, I haven't Don't, touched anything. I know. You've been like, such an awesome, good boy sitting on the couch, minding yeah. your business. Uh, I, maybe maybe I should do more shows sitting down. <laughs> you can get a hold of TNT all kinds of different ways. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, or give us a call at TNT Pool, 833-TNT-POOL. Come Sam now to break the third rack of the set and race to 10. And you got the eight ball, just nudged out the one, snuck it in there. So and see, that's the key with with ten ball. I mean, you're only breaking one. You got one more ball into the equation, and the break just never works out the same. Mm -hmm. I, if I'm Sam here, I play it safe. I just try to get the cue ball down behind the two ten or somewhere in that ballpark. Ooh. You know, he was going to he was going to make the one and then play a safe on the two. Is what he was going to do. So let's take a look here at the table, see what we got going on. We got the cue ball up here, obviously. One ball is here, two in the ten, three balls up behind. Oh, oh, nice. So we're now we'll reset here. We got the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, six, and the seven. The eight went in the side, and nine, and the ten's right there. So Sam's going to... Two oh. rail hits the ball very nice. Yeah. Now he leaves trying to shot, though. But the thing about it is, is the two ball's still screwed up, so Trent's got to figure out what what he wants to do. If, if it's me, once again, I just play another safe. But Trent might have some other ideas. He's got a better look at it than I do, so we'll see what he comes up with. That was why I was hearing all that noise. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why I was hearing so much, like background noise in the headsets why is that well because i still had that the other mic wasn't on no oh. sorry behind the scenes talk you guys have no idea what i'm talking about so <laughs> bad. well we did an interview earlier with uh trenton and you forgot to shut the mic off no the mic was still it mic was off nobody was nobody else could hear that oh just i us. see what you're saying that it was still in queue so we could that's why we were hearing that extra background noise like it was so airy in our headsets I thought there was, I thought it was, so, should have told Sam to call, or Stu to call us. Yeah, it would have been nice to see Stu, did he, is Stu commenting up there too? No, I was, I just happened to look down, I saw his name, I said, well, we should have had him just call, we could have got, at least got him on the air, you could have done some delayed commentating with us. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> the trend's back at the table, shooting at the one ball now. They're going to push this one ball around a bit. Yeah, that's how some of these games will go sometimes because <laughs> if you look down there, the three ball is all buggered up yeah, now. So, he just, you know, what do you do? He just tucked it in behind the behind the four. So that definitely is going to change things up a little bit. We're watching uh, Sam Henderson and Trent Burwell live from the pigeon coop here. <laughs> In the third of three sets, Trent won the nine ball set 10 to eight. Sam took the eight ball set 10 to five. And now we are in the middle of a tied up set of 10 ball. Sam tried to come back and break up that three, four. Didn't quite make it. He just called the three ball. Yeah, the, okay. No. And now he can make him shoot again. Yeah. Sam. Here's where that's here's where that rule is gonna come into play. Yep. Trent gives it back to him. This we were talking about this earlier. If you slop a ball in, basically, uh, uh it, your opponent has the option to get back the shot and Trent took advantage. Nice hit. Sam gets in there, gets a nice little one reel hit, catches a three. So this is gonna be a battle. He's he, he's just gonna 
barely tick this ball. Yeah, he hit it too hard, way too hard. Now he's going to give Sam a chance to play another safety right back at him. Mm, get it behind the nine and the six back here, and he yeah, does. does. Forces Sam, or forces like, uh, forces him to kick at it here. He's going to have the one rail kick at it. Like he can actually hit the bottom rail, hit the hit the short rail up towards the three, and that's probably its better option. Give you a little more room for error, just like in there somewhere. Yeah, I probably hit it a little bit before that, but we'll see how it works. Are you calling this just in case, or are you just? Oh yeah, you call it. You definitely call it. Oh, he was close. And, well, that's why you call it because you never know. You know, if you do clip it and get lucky, which you'd have to get a little lucky to make that shot. I mean, the best players in the world would have a hard time making that shot. And Sam and Daniel are working things out. Looks like they want to play a nine ball to 25. Well, I think it'd be a good game. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of Daniel's game, but I've seen enough of it to know that Sam can definitely play with him. I know Daniel don't scare me any. <laughs> I'm scared of the boogeyman, but I'm not scared of Daniel. <laughs> Sam didn't get back quite. Far. I mean, the boogeyman is real, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Well, then that's why I'm scared of him. Oh, Ooh, huh, he's oh right. this is, that, that's not what you wanted to happen. I mean, he can still, he, he's got to. Go rail first, make the five, come back out for the six ball here. I think he actually oh, he, oh, he had a good a clean shot uh -oh. at it. Yeah, he's fine. He uh, didn't want to leave it on the rail, though. You're right. I was going to say, I don't think he wanted to hit it quite that hard, though. Well, the only thing good about this is he's, he is playing on a valley table. He's got a little room to work with here. There's never a straight shot in a valley. All right, so Daniel and Sam have decided on nine ball, race to 25, no nines on a break, usual purse. And they... And Daniel said, Sam asked when. Daniel said he didn't know. Let TNT set the schedule. Sam said to tell you to set it up for the coup. So we'll get back to you guys. Well, they want to play here? That's what it says. Well, let's, we can figure something out. I can let them know. Yep. We'll figure it out. We'll it won't be you. this weekend, I can tell you that. So Sam puts it away and uh, goes up two to one now. Where is my the button I was looking for? I don't know. Well, we got a real slobber knocker going on here at the Pidgey Coop. <laughs> so, let's remind everyone your prediction. Well, my prediction is way off. Well, I know, but although, I... Although, I, I mean, I have it right that it's two and two, or one and one, I mean. Oh, oh boy. That, and that is the problem with his break every once in a while. He yeah. tries to hit it too hard. And flies the cue ball off the table. But uh, I predicted that Trent would win the eight ball <laughs> and Sam would win the nine ball. And that went completely opposite of the way I predicted it. And then I predicted that Trent would win a close one in the ten ball. Well, you got the close one part right now. And it's close so far, but it's only two to one. So Sam might... Uh, Sam might uh, try to put 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 my predictions right to to rest here and just just put the hammer down on Trent. We'll have right. to see what he does. Dan, Sam, long race during the week is rough. Yeah, we we this has to be either on a Friday, Saturday, or a Sunday afternoon is what it would have to be on. We're not gonna we're not gonna travel during the week. I mean, Greg's got. Uh, jobs to do i mean he's got a he's got a real job i on the other hand just sit around and do nothing these days well it, and, and i'm i am working on getting the coop stream back up too so nice shot he fired that in there like he is like, i was gonna say he he just fired it right in there like it was nothing all right he's on a he's oof. he's stroking now yeah. folks <laughs> i'm glad i'm not playing him right now just... I'm glad you're not playing him either. It'd be boring to watch. Oh, I know. What'd well, be done already? 
Oh, yeah, it would have been done an hour and a half ago. Now, uh, therein lies the problem with shooting too quick. Should have took its time there. Sorry about that. You only had to deal with that. Nobody else did. Yeah, darn near blew my eardrums out. Yeah, it's, I really tried, but... Oh, yeah. He took a good shot at it, but it just didn't make it. He, if you would have, you know, when you were watching that, it just was one of them things where he just he just didn't take his time on the sub to get to the yeah. sub ball. He he shot it way too quick. It's a little far ahead of himself. Yeah. 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 I don't think Trent got quite as far out as he would uh, like. Draw it over to the top rail and back. Just got to be careful that you don't put too much draw on this. So you can get, get it into the side pocket. Ooh. Ouch. No, he's left. I mean, this is not the easiest shot in the world for Sam either. So it, just have to see how it all works out. Yeah. Ooh. Sam missed that one. That was a little strange. Yeah. That, them, them were not easy shots there. No. Well, he didn't make it easy on him. So. No, he 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 make this easy. He'll cut that in like like nothing. Like nothing. He yeah, says. like nothing. Piece of cake. Oh, I see. Ties it up. Take a look at some flyers for some upcoming tournaments this weekend. You can check out if you're looking for something to do. Yeah, it's Saturday, August 15th. We're going to be down at the Black Rose for that tournament they're putting together for me. And once again, I, I appreciate everybody. We're going to take that 32 teams on that tomorrow, the eight ball tournament at the Legends. As they said, it's hang your nuts out on this one. No no spots, no nothing. It's going to be a race to five on the loser's winner's side. The P-Down Throwdown nine ball tournament down at Prophetstown, or Prophetstown, Peoria, Illinois. <laughs> Every because time. I know that. Scotch Doubles and El Algonquin. Yep, Algonquin. Yeah, that uh, 400 added to that tournament. So you want to make your way out there. You've got three good tournaments going on tomorrow. You can go pick your poison and see what you want to do. And uh, like I said, check out Twisted Rose. Search, uh, search that out. They actually have... Quite a few tournaments that go on during the week. They do a, a two tournament Tuesday. They have a Thursday night tournament. Um, they they put on some pool down there. They've got a great culture in there. Uh, we'll have to make our way down there sometime yeah, and check are, it out. They just I mean just and I like I've not personally I personally uh I I've, I've never been there, but just from what I've seen, they have the the culture, the pool culture, the environments and incredible. People love playing down there. So they, they do a lot down there, and it sounds like the Twisted Rose really really does a lot to how support many, them. How many tables they got in the place? I do not know. I would I don't I don't yeah, know. We'll have, we'll have to find out what they're playing what, what equipment they got on down there. A little promotion for that that too. But uh yeah, I mean, you know, I like to I like to get out and see different places. I mean, like I was telling the guys earlier, I mean I'm gonna be taking my talents to Peoria tomorrow. Me and Jason Welker are going to go down there and play in that tournament. Uh, Josh puts on a great deal, but like I said, you know, Eric Gardner got the he's got the tournament, the eight ball tournament going on at Legends. You're going to see some really good eight ball there tomorrow because, you know, and with the no handicap tournament, you're you're going to have to bring your A game. Everybody's going to have to bring their A right. game. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to be. You've got the likes of. Uh, oh, yeah, just joined us. We're live in Coop for TNT. Sorry, <laughs> push the wrong button. I no. was I was watching us. <laughs> Let's see if Trent got it there. Did he get it there? No, he did not. I don't believe he did. A yeah. tough cut. Yeah, and it was hard to get the right pace on it. He he might try to cut the four. I would elect to play a safety here, but that's just me. Ooh. And that's when you thank the Lord for <laughs> playing on a valley table right. because on a diamond table that would have never went in. Oh, 
I'm loving the competitive spirit of both these guys. I mean, they both had some moments of frustration, but they 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 didn't let it get to them or really throw their game too badly. Yeah, I, Trent got a little frustrated in the middle of the eight ball set. That was, and I'll be honest with you, that's one of the worst eight ball sets I've ever seen him play. He's going to follow this, go three rails, one, two, and three, and get shape on the eight here. Perfect shot. He wants to be pretty much straight in, but I don't know if he is or not. He's kind of taking a longer look at it. Let's see if he, he should just hit it and stop it right where the eight ball's at. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, this is not good. I don't know if it goes inside pocket or not, or if he's going to try to cut it all the way up. He just set all the way up. Yeah, yeah, but see, here's what he should be doing. I mean, this is just me. And if I'm going to, if I'm going to rag on my friend about anything, I'm going to rag on him. What he should have done is just hit it off the rail, put the cue, put the put the nine ball up at the top rail, put the cue ball down at the other end of the table, and make the kid try to bank it. Right. Why try to make the hero a shot? It just doesn't make any sense. But because that's giving a game to somebody that you don't want to be giving any games to. Right. This trend, or uh, Sam has shown that you. You give it, he, he's going to take it. That's right. If you give me a chance, old man, I'm going to take the game from you. And he puts it away. He bobbled it in there a little bit, yeah. but it went in, nonetheless. Shout out again to our amazing sponsors that help us bring these streams to you without charging you a penny. CBM Construction, Bill Builds It Best. Give him a call, 815-678. Oh, my gosh, I messed it all up. I'm so sorry, Bill. 815-716-6727. Bill builds it best. Give him a call. Check out his Facebook page to see uh, pictures of uh, all of his latest work. He does uh, amazing stuff. It's licensed, bonded, and insured and ready to do, take care of your new and new build and remodeling needs, heating and cooling services, and installation. Give him a call, CBM Construction. Got the seven ball. Uh, there, you finally made one. And I was, you know, it's another thing. I, I guess I got to quit bragging because, you know, I, I, I told you about his big monster ten ball break, and he hasn't shown it yet. Right. Two balls locked up. A little five tough and, to get to. Five and the two. We do have another new sponsor that's going to be coming in here shortly. Uh, I'll give him a little shout out because I'm, I'm – 99.9% .9 sure he's going to be advertising them with us in here the next month. But uh, West End Sounds DJ Service is going to be coming on board with us here pretty soon. So we'll be giving you all the information on them anytime you're going to be booking a private show, a uh, wedding reception, birthday parties, divorce party, <laughs> uh, whatever it may be. I mean, Mark Burkholder at West End Sounds is going to be the guy to get a hold of. We'll get you all his contact information once he gets his full sponsorship in here. He's also going to be the title sponsor of my event, the benefit event that's going to be going down at the Black Rose. And I really appreciate that out of him. Yeah. Our first title sponsor of an event. Yeah. It's, going to, it's kind of nice. That's a good shot there. I think, he, I think, I think he's got him hit. Yeah. I think Sam's going to have to kick at this ball. I think the six got him blocked. Yep. yep, he's looking at a two rail kick shot here. I'll take a second here to kind of glance around here. Yeah, he's going to have to hit ball. He's going to have to hit the rail over here, that back, the bottom mm -hmm. rail, and kick into the two. This is the two the here. the only way he's going to hit it I can, that I can see. All right. And he's actually called it. So there's a three. Oh, well, then he's going to go, go one rail at it then. Yep, five. The six, the seven went on the break, the eight, the nine, and the ten. So, yeah, Sam's going to try to kick one rail and put he's it in. He's going to hit this with extreme inside left angling, and he's going to try to ooh, yep, ooh. Man, didn't get it there. He's going to give ball in hand to Trent. Now, Trent needs to take advantage of it here. He needs to quit giving games away. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely not helping his cause. We can... Uh, capitalize on this. Goes back out towards yeah, this. See, he just he seems to be out of sorts just a little bit. He he usually doesn't do that, but I mean he's okay. I mean, he needed to be a little bit better on the three ball there, but hey, he could still make it work. 
and he's got the six ball down here that he's either got to get behind or he's got to play the camp combo. I'm not sure what his plan is, but I think he's got something figured out for that. He's going to have to get good on the five ball here, get behind the six, play the six back up in that corner that he just played the last ball in. Uh, okay, he's got the angle for it. That's a good angle. Might be a little bit more angle than he wanted, but I think he's still okay. okay he's looking to get the angle, play six ball up there. If he can get to that, he's out. Mm -hmm. Sam and Daniel, we will get back to you on a Friday. We I have to check our our Friday schedule. We have a we have a. Uh, we're in works for a special guest. If we could do a Saturday, it would be a lot better. Saturday or Sunday afternoon yeah. is better. Fridays are this. This was a. This was a major exception to our, our normal thing. Because yeah, normally we do our show on Friday nights here, and you know it's just one of them things Ooh, where. Nice. That's what I told him. That was the key to that getting that out there, but. Uh, Saturday or Sunday, and I know that Sam's got a lot going on usually on the weekends where he goes camping and stuff like that. But the thing about it is we have stuff going on, too, where we can't just drop everything. So it's one of them deals. Uh, we'll make it work somehow, some way. We'll figure it out. It just won't be – it definitely won't be next Friday because we got a lot of – I got a lot going – well, I got the show to do, and we have guests and so on and so forth. Trent gets it to three. Three. Tied up. This is he's, going to be a barn burner, yeah, boys and girls. He's not letting it go. A and A Flooring. Al is going to help you out with all your flooring needs. Give him a call at eight one five six three two zero six seven five, and check out their website aafloors.biz, where you can check out all your different options right from your phone, tablet, right there on the website by using their little app on the site to check out different flooring options without even lifting a finger, tearing anything up, or spending any money. And like Hollywood said, you could do it right there in your boxer shorts. A&A Flooring, Sterling, Illinois, 815-632-0675, aafloors.biz. Check it out for all your flooring needs. Or if you want to go to the store, 2528. East Lincoln Way, you can go right in the store and talk to him, I suppose, if that's what you prefer to do. Yeah, Al's fun to talk to. Now, he's probably going to be out of, you know, you know, I I don't even know if he goes out and works anymore, if he just sits in the office. I'm not sure what Al does, but the last I knew, he was still out there laying floors. Oh, yeah. Brandon, uh, the first set was nine ball, and it's one to, the set score is one to one. <clears throat> but it was, nine ball was ten to eight, Trent. Eight ball was ten to five. Sam, and currently three to three in ten ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sam's gonna kick at the one. He calls it back in the pocket. Not an exceptionally ball hard ball to hit. No, he Difficult can't. to make, but not hard to miss. And he, you know, here here's one of them things where, you know, if they were playing the game call shot, call safe, he might make him shoot this again. That's hard to say. But you should see some type of a safety here. If see how it works out. Oh, right by an eight ball. Nice. What a shot. What a shot by Trenton the Bagger Burtlow. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, that nickname is really catchy. I like it. I like it. And he's not a bagger because he's sandbagging. He's a bagger because he once again is a very key player in the world of bags. If anybody knows anything about playing bags, cornhole, I guess is that they call it. Uh, Trent Burtlow is one of the best players on the planet. <laughs> and that is no lie. That guy, the bags, he, I'll tell you a little story. Trenton came to the drag strip one time to see me a couple years back, and I, I rent the private stand at the World Series of Drag Racing every year. And he came out, and they had we brought bags to the out there way we were just killing time grilling out one one year, and uh, he, I he, apparently you played a twenty one in bags. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what we <laughs> played anyway. So he gave me eighteen points head start, and I lost twenty one to eighteen. <laughs> so if that tells you anything, 
And I mean, I can throw the bags. I mean, yeah. I can put them on the board, you know. But he just threw them in the hole every time. Four bags, four points. Four bags, four points. Four bags, four points. So, yeah, you ever want to do a little gamble and play in some bags, you can call Trent up. I'm sure he'll Come take accommodate you. <laughs> so he's going to play this three in the side. Don't come back too far. And an extremely good dart player, too. I have to put a little pop on this. Let's see. Pop this ball. Pop. See that? Yeah. And he still made it. <laughs> yeah. Still not the greatest shape on the five ball, though. So I don't think the five ball clears the ten. So I don't know what he's going to do here. He might try to back cut it past the seven and nine and try to make it. But I don't know. He's looking at the ten ball now. He's going to he called the ten ball, I believe. Did he? Yep. Well, Mr. Mr. Rory just messaged me. Oh, yeah, he was. Mr. Roy just messaged me back. He says they have eight seven-foot black diamonds. Wow, we gotta we gotta make a trip down and check this place out. Yeah. Over at, and that's over at the Twisted Rose in Algonquin, where you can. They're playing the Scott Stowell's eight ball tomorrow. I have never been to Algonquin in my life. I have actually. Do they got food there? Um. Uh, yeah, actually, they have a quite a pretty good selection. Twi and that's another thing, Twisted Rose. I, if I remember correctly, they they tout uh uh they tout some pretty good gourmet food to go along with all the shooting and stuff that they got going on there. Well, once again, I'm I'm a cheap date uh, partner <laughs> and fries. Uh, if anybody wants to take me to Algonquin and let me shoot some pool and buy me uh, a cheeseburger and fries, I I I'll probably go with you. Nice hit by Sam there. Yeah, it was. I mean, he's left him a shot, but you know, yeah, five, but five balls out of its center. He's still got to still got to work at it. But it, it says a lot for Sam that you can, that, you know, it's going to take a lot more than that to get up, give a get ball in hand out of it. That's true. Nice shot by Trent. He's going to get a little closer to his work than he wanted to, but I think he'd be all right. Uh, he'll just hit it, stop it right there, play the seven down there in the corner, eight in the side. I think you'll see him play the eight side. He's now he's got to make sure that he gets good on the eight. He could play, he could play position for up in the corner, but if if he plays good position, plays that side pocket, he'll be able to draw the ball straight right back to the nine. So the key is the eight ball. Where is he going to get the shape? He's looking at it now. Yep, Randy, I am not sure. Uh, she puts the actual stats in, and I have not gotten a player list to update the player list for the team. Very nice shot. Yes, he left himself nice for the eight, which will bring him over to the nine. Great. He's playing position really well today. Yeah, he. When Trent gets in stroke, he is very, very good with the cue ball, for, you know, a man of his uh, capabilities in this game, anyways. Oh, looks like Trent's, Trent's going to take the lead, four to three. Don't forget, you can get a hold of TNT on all of our social media accounts. Check out TNT on Twitter, and Instagram, Snapchat, and, of course, on Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook, don't forget to hit the like and follow button and turn on your live notifications so you don't miss a thing. If you're watching us over on YouTube, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the bell to turn on your live notifications so you don't miss a thing. Remember, everything TNT does is uh, on YouTube. Um, you can go way back with us on YouTube and check out uh, tournaments and fight nights. And then just here recently in the past few months, we started doing Facebook as well. So you can uh, go back and watch all the episodes of Off the Rail. Um, if you missed it uh, last week, was it last week? Uh, last Monday. Last Monday we had uh, Allison Fisher on the show, yes. and it was just fantastic to have oh. her here. Uh, I mean, she wasn't here. Yeah, she she was She called in. We we talked to her on the phone. Yeah, and I mean, I know, wouldn't have been able to handle it. If she I was mean, here. if she would have been here, <laughs> I think Bud would have fell down, had a heart attack. I, I, I might not have made it. I might not have been okay. But no, you can check out all those past episodes of Off the Rail on our Facebook page and our YouTube page, whichever works best for you. Go to the, and we we we're trying to get everybody to go to the YouTube page because eventually, you know, for advertising purposes and stuff like that. It, that's where we might be able to make a little bit of coinage because, uh, you know, Facebook doesn't do anything as far as it goes for that. I mean, but 
whatever's easiest for everybody. We're not looking to, like I said, we've never got into this looking to make a million dollars by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, our goal is basically just to to keep things free for you guys. You know, we don't want, we don't ever want to have to charge anybody to watch our stuff. No, no, definitely don't want to do that. I think you're going to see Trenton probably give this back to him. I don't know if he can see the one. If he can see it, he'll probably take a shot at it. I think he can, actually. I think he can get full on it. Well, he... No. He just can't make it. Oh, yeah, he can get full on that. Okay, well, you've got a probably better angle at it than I do. I'm still sitting on the couch. All right. He did give it back, though. Yeah, I don't... From what I'm seeing on the screen here, it doesn't look like a... Like the best opportunity in the world. Well, he's not going to do much with it, no. He could definitely hit it. Probably not what he wanted to do with it, but. And if you haven't already, share the Facebook post or the YouTube post, wherever you're watching. Share it out so more and more people get to see some great, cool action. Actually, been getting some messages today. People went back and were re-watching some of our older shows. Some a couple of people went back and watched the Off the Rail with Allison. That was great. She was so much fun to talk to, and she just yeah. she loved she loved to talk about the game, and she 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 went over you know where she came from, how she got over to here, you know, and everything in between, all the way to talking about things that she's really not good at. <laughs> And uh, I still remember the story of her telling us about the inner tube incident. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. She went uh, ass over elbows in the in the inner tube uh, episode out in the river. So she, that was fun. And she can't hula hoop. And she cannot hula hoop. Although she's better at it than you. Yes, I did. Because she did not I did, sprain her ankle. I did. Yeah, I, I blew an ankle out doing hula hoop one night. Now, oh, what a great hit by Sam. Went two rails, wow. hit it right on the screws. Um. I think you might see Trent get a little aggressive here, try to bank this one ball in the opposite corner pocket there. He's usually fairly good at this, so let's, yeah, he's calling it there in the corner. Nice. Puts that away. Got the two ball here. Yeah, and he's, he's actually in a pretty good position here because he's going to play it over in the, the top right-hand side, the top uh, corner pocket there. On the bottom side of the table. And to me, that's the bottom anyways. But, uh, here? No, he's going to play it in the other one. I would play it in the other yeah. one, but let's see what he decides. I think earlier I might have mistakenly said this was the two ball, but this is the four of the that's pocket. Four ball, two balls out here. Oh. Oh, oh he's going to get it, safe it out It did it. work, yeah. But Sam's got a kick shot at it. Sam's proved that he right. can kick and hit anything, so let's yeah, see if he can kick it in this time. Let's see let, if he let, kicks let, one, kick one in. Look at this one ball shot he just made a second ago that he kicked at. He yeah, hit he the would, one. He was shaking his head. Well, I don't know how I'm going to hit it. And then, he, and, he, and then he hit it right on the screws. I mean, he did call it down there in the pocket just in case. But the the key in this was just to make sure that he hit it. That was all. Right there. That was a great shot. Yeah. Yeah. We're back live here. Kicking at the two ball. Ah, big swing of this. Yeah, just misses it. So he's going to give it ball in hand to Trent now. Okay, now what Trenton's got to do here is he's just going to slide this. He's going to slide this cue ball up the rail a little bit, get shaped for the three ball in the side pocket, play the four and the three in the same pocket if possible. Let's see what he does. He's got to get. You got to make sure you get good on the three ball. Do not leave this short because if you leave it short, you're screwed. He elected to come off the rail. He played in the opposite side by it. All right. Let's well, see. He overdrew that ball. Mm -hmm. So here's what you do here. I know, I know a lot of people don't think about this, but that nine ball is there to help stop the, the cue ball. Play the four on the side. Use the nine ball as your stop. Kind of like a brake pedal, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Just don't hit it too hard. Just like that. There you go. Nice Perfect shot. shot. Very nice. Now, you ain't got the best angle on the five ball, but you can slow roll this in. Get shape on the six. I mean, some guys will go two rails on this, but with the nine ball being there, I wouldn't have done that because that's why. But he got, he got there. I would have slow rolled the five ball in the corner, but 
Hey, what do I know? All right. That's why I'm a commentator. I was going to say, that's why we're over here. <laughs> that's right. Oh, no. Oh, and then he hit it like a big bag of poo. Yeah, he did. He, he, I don't even think he hit the cue ball and he knew he wasn't hitting it right. <clears throat> so Sam's going to find his way to the table. Six ball sitting right in the pocket. What Sam's going to do here, he may put a big power draw on it, bring it all the way down the table and back up, or he could bring it straight right to him. Let's see what he does. Yeah. And he hit Ooh. that like a big bag of poo. Yeah. They're both they're both not doing each other themselves any favors. Well, you got to remember, you're on the stream. The pressure's on. This mm -hmm. is the last set. The winner take all here. Right. He's playing a safety. Which, in all reality, there's not a safety in this game. Uh, well, and that's one of the things that I've always talked about with pool players. So many people... So many pool players are always calling safe when in, in, in reality they're playing a defensive yes, shot. Yes, you're, you're just playing defense. I mean, yeah, you're... Because, you know, you, you know me and my technicalities. You know, te I know. Technically, a safety is is uh, pocketing a ball and, and relinquishing your turn at the table. Well, he's left Sam a shot here, but it's, it's the full length of the table. Sam's got to take the shot because he can't give it back. Right. Not in this, not in this cir circumstance. But Sam's proved that he's pretty good at these shots. Let's see what he does here. Oh, why are you gonna keep commentating, curse on this poor kid? I know. <laughs> the question is, does does Trenton have a shot now? If he does, it's a super thin cut, man. And, and the thing about it is, what we could do here is just easily enough play a safe. For crying out loud, guys, you can play a safety. Right. Defense. I mean. Right. I'll let it slide. All right. Just as long as I explain it once in a while and feel better about it, I'll be okay. <laughs> I would probably go to the top route, kick at this ball, but if he's if he can cut it, that's that's what you do here. Oh wow. Let's see if he gets oh and he gets safe. What Ooh. a shot. I think that, he what he was trying to do was play it off the rail and, and kick it in that, mm -hmm. that pocket, but in all reality this was this worked out for him pretty well, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's our pterodactyl just flew by. I don't know what the what in the world that thing was. <laughs> He's gonna try to jump kick at this, I believe. He's gonna use the. Uh, yep. He's going short stick. He's gonna, He's gonna he's gonna jump at this. He's gonna hit it into like about the first diamond at the bottom rail, or at the 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 side rail, the the bottom diamond there. Let's see if to, in order to hit the eight ball. Let's see if he tries to call it somewhere. You can start to see the pressure a little bit on Sam's face here. He knows that. Uh, oh wow, he's gonna come after this ball. Yeah. What is he doing here? I'm <laughs> trying to figure. He's going to try to jump and cut this in. If he makes this, that's... Let's see what he does here, folks. Oh, oh that was so close. It was. Oh. And this is, where, this is where Sam is going to have to dig deep here because Trenton's supposed to get out here. He's supposed to get out. And if he does, Trenton's going to have a 5-3 to three lead here if he gets out. And now the pressure's on. You can see Sam breathing a little heavier over there. He yeah. knows that the pressure's on. He knows he's behind. He's playing a guy that's basically the same animal that he is, even though the other guy's, you know, 20 years older, mm -hmm. 23 years older. And, see, and, I, and I was going to mention that earlier. These guys both have a real similar passion for this game. and. Uh, that you can see and it's it is it's it's kind of cool that they're so far apart in age but they have that same you know just they neither one of them wants to let the other one off and you know it just it's i've said it on numerous times and i'll keep saying it until it's over you, you put together a very good match here this is everything we were expecting and yeah i tried to you know you know, a lot of people try to say I've set my buddies up to to win, you know, and I predicted Trent to win. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that I didn't because I did. 
I just no. But the thing about it is, is Sam has shown that he's capable of whooping Trent's butt. <laughs> right. Because yeah. he just did it in the last set. Right. It's and it's by it hasn't been a you know like like you said. A lot of people think you're trying to set your buddies up, Mm-mm. and if you were trying to set your buddies up, it would have been like you said. It would have just been a. You would have just been a womp, you know. Just well, a, you could you can ask any of my friends. When it comes to this game here, I always like to I like a fair game, and I don't care if you're one of my friends or not. I'm not gonna set you know. I'm not one of them guys looking to to rob somebody. I'm not I'm not in the business of stealing. I'm not in the business of doing any of that. You know, I'm at the stage in my life where. You know, I want to see good. I want to see some right. good action, but I don't want to see one guy robbing another right. guy. Right. Nobody and wants. And I won't somebody. allow it to happen here in my in in in, in my so called pool hall. You know, uh, it, it's one thing to see a guy get a good run and 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 sit a guy down for oh, sure. a rack or two, but it's another thing to just for the other guy to just never even make it to the yeah, table. You, you know, I, I'm never going to set up two guys that, or one of them, that never has a chance to win. I'm just right. Just not. It's not going to happen. Now, Rick Carrillo uh, might differ with that opinion. And, well, there's a perfect example. Rick Carrillo is a buddy of mine, and he, he came over here and played Alex Carrell the other day. And, well, let's just be honest. I mean, you know, Alex put it on him. I mean, yeah. he, he put it on him. He put it on him deep. And, you know, but I warned, I warned Carrillo from the beginning that that Alex was a monster. And he proved that he was. That was a great shot there by... Trent by Trent's up, uh, but uh, Sam's got a kick at it. Mm-hmm. He called it there, but I'm sure Rick will make his return. And you can't win every time. That's the that's the beauty about this game, man. It is the beauty about mm-hmm. this game. Got I mean, a, yeah, you have to play it. He got a good hit, but he left a. I don't know if it clears the eight or not. If it doesn't, you'll see another safety. No, I think it does. I can't really tell, but I think it does. Uh, he's taking a close look at it, so I'm not sure. He might be trying to cut it, back cut it, even. No, no, no. Okay. This, and Cal, I say this with as much love as I can, but it pains me to say that Cal makes a good point. Uh, you have to remember that Trent barely plays pool. Imagine if he played daily like the rest of you guys. Oh, well. He's been playing more lately. He's been playing a lot of pool lately, Cal, trust me. Yeah, but, but I'm like. Well aware. He, <laughs> But Trent has a lot of a lot of natural ability for this game. And he just scratched as we're bragging about him. You gotta stop saying nice things about people mm-hmm. more. <laughs> hey, and the thing about it is I can say I can say the same thing about Cal Stage too. I mean, the guy's got a lot of natural ability, but I just can't keep him playing. That's the problem. Right. Cal could play Cal for somebody that plays very minimal amount of pool that he does plays pretty damn well and could play with the rest of us, but just doesn't, you know, Cal just, you know, he's got other things going on in his life. He's got the band going. He's got, he's got a boy in baseball, which, you know, Look at that. Nice his boy is one hell of a baseball player. Mr. Might, Goodman. might make the pros someday. Mr. Goodman has joined us in the chat. And his uh, boy's birthday was just, uh, uh, tell your boy, uh, Dale yeah. said uh, happy birthday. I think he's 16. 16. Wow, 16 years old. I God, I feel old. Big power draw. Big power draw right here. Bam, hit that perfect. And I mean, when I say perfect, he hit yeah. that perfect. Yeah. But yeah, Cal, Cal Stage can play, 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 oh, yeah. play a really good pool too. But for somebody that barely plays, he plays pretty good. I mean, he, you know, he don't play as good as I do. <laughs> I'll run him over like a dump truck. Matt Trent won the nine ball, ten to eight, and Sam won the eight ball, ten to five. Mm-hmm. Sam gets back on the board, closes the gap, four to one. What was I, can't, I saved a shot in the replay, and I don't remember which one it is. Let's take a look real quick. What the heck shot was this? Oh, I think it was this four ball shot that Trent made. Yeah, he cut it over to the side, used the nine ball for the break, for for to to halt the cue ball to keep shape on the five. And this is this is that's a that's a shot there that a lot of players don't see. And no. then they try to hit it too hard or do something fancy with it when there's really no need. All right, here comes the break. He's gonna smash them, folks. 
Boom. Ooh. That eight ball, or one ball was going. The eight ball got over there. And oof. Blocked the pocket. That was, was left Sam a combo, one nine combo shot. Yeah. Or he could slow roll the one into the side pocket here and keep shape for the two because I believe this is the two ball out by the center. Yeah, by let's the, take a look here. By the spot. Sure looks like well, it. Because I think Sam stepped outside for a moment. Let's take a look and. So what we got here? The cue ball is up here in the corner. We got the one ball here. This is the two. Two, yep. The three sitting in front of the side. We got the four right here. We got the five ball here. The six ball. The seven. He did slow roll that into the corner, the side. There's the eight ball. Nine in the corner. And the ten ball right here. Sam was. He came to that table with a plan. Well, Sam looking to... He's going to have to make a combo, a 5-9 combo shot here. And that's going to be the key to the out. So it's going to be... It's going to depend on the outcome of where that 5-ball lands. Mm -hmm. The other big power draw. That kid can draw. Holy cow. I don't think he got back across on that, though. Uh, I don't know either. Uh, no, they are Brandon. They're racking their own. He's going to play the off the rail and try to. Yeah, what nice. a shot. What a shot. Oh. And like I said, that was the key there is where yeah. the five ball was going to end up. Yeah, because now he's going to be able to. Uh, he can call it. And he's going to bank it in the side would be my guess. Or back. No, no he's going to back cut it. it. He's going to back cut yeah, it. Okay. Just... We'll turn the cue ball loose a little bit. Yeah. He kind of had to, though. I don't yeah, think he could have hit it much and less. Here's, here's where this, this shot's going to get yeah. tough because this ball's on the rail. And you got to be careful here because if you hit this with too much follow, you'll follow the ball right to the pocket. Mm -hmm. My suggestion would be is just to cinch the ball, make sure you make the six. Leave yourself a little tough on the seven, but make sure you leave yourself a shot. He's going to puck it. Oh, holy moly. He bared down on that and was able to get down on it enough to make it. That was a great shot. Wow. I almost said the F word. <laughs> what a shot. Man. I don't what think Sam liked being down. <laughs> what a shot. Wow. He's going to bring it back to even with a vengeance. You see the action on that cue ball just now? <laughs> that was vicious. <laughs> Ouch. You hear them balls hitting the pocket. He's a... He's a well, determined. <laughs> Don't forget, you can get a hold of TNT on all of our social media accounts, as well as giving us a call at 833-TNT-POOL. That's 833-868-7665. We got the score 5-5, five five, is that right? Uh, yelling in everybody's ear. That was Hollywood, just so you guys know. Um, and you can check us out on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. And with everything getting back going, we have started doing some tournaments and stuff. So Snapchat... Well, Instagram for sure has been, we've been putting some pictures up there. My lovely wife took a bunch of great pictures over at the Wise Guys 10-Ball Tournament. And, uh, oh, yeah, if you want a picture of me shooting pool really badly, you, know, you can go to Instagram and check it out. Get some, get some. She got some good pictures of everybody shooting. She got a bunch of pictures of uh, some lady named Amy who was walking around with her hand in her pants. <laughs> I had to mess. I don't know why I was there. I don't think she posted it, but it was just funny. That and some unfortunate pictures of Jesse. <laughs> I didn't see any of that. She, we didn't post any of them, but they were funny. I have them. I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sam here looking to try to get out again. He doesn't have any balls tied up here, so I mean, it's going to be one of them deals where, you know, oh no, he's going to hook himself, and he just did. Yeah, mm. he's going to have to get the short stick out if he wants mm. to get out here. Oh, no, no he's got the three run, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, he got right where he wanted to be. Yeah, yeah, he got perfect there. The key is the five ball. He's just firing balls in right now. Uh, you guys can't, I don't think you guys can hear it. Maybe you can, but he's just putting balls in the back of the pocket with a freaking vengeance. Yeah, he's trying to look, he's, he's trying to look, he's looking at the five-seven combination here, which which is probably about the only shot he's got or because he, or the way he's got to get to the back side of the to the short or the long round here let's see yeah he tried to get down there 
Well, now you can play the carom on the seven instead yeah, of the combination. I play safety here. I just I, I hit this with enough speed to get the five ball down to the bottom round, play it behind the seven eight, and just leave it set there. That's what he's yep. doing. I believe that's what he's doing. He did say do. safe. So. He's at least been warning Trent that he's safety. <laughs> and he plays it really nice. Yeah. Even though, technically speaking, you're not playing safe in that position because it's a defensive shot. Yes. Let's go take a kick shot at it here. Oh, and he doesn't hit it. I don't know if he put spin on that, or it looked like he kind of, yeah, he kind of spun that back the opposite yeah. way. So sometimes that's just how it happens. I think that, I mean, when you're jacked up over that, sometimes you, you kind of hit a little not as square as you want. Sam's going to take the ball in hand here, drive the five across, come back up to the center of the table. Play the six. Get the ball back off the side rail, back towards the center again. Put a little bit of nice little hit on the seven. Roll the cue ball into the side rail, come off, give himself an angle for the eight. Sam's going to jump back out to uh, take the lead there. So it's 6-5, Sam, now. Race to 10. We're in the 10-ball set, third of three sets. Trent won the 9-ball set, 10-8. to eight. Sam won the 8-ball set, 10-5, to five, and now finds himself with a one-game lead in the 10-ball set, 6-5. to five. We're live here at the Pigeon Coop for a TNT fight with Trent Bertlow and Sam Henderson. Trent is breaking up the 12th rack of the set. Nice break. Gets a couple. Get the eight ball. Seven ball. Yeah, okay. The seven and the eight ball went, so. He puts one ball away nicely down in the far corner. Gives himself good shape on the on the two. Ball comes back up to the center table and leaves himself beautiful for the three ball. I'm back. He's back. I had to take potty break. Uh oh, I was holding that for a long time. <laughs> Trent had a beautiful break, dropped a seven and eight. Now he's a uh, making pretty quick work of this. Looking for a break and run out it, here. It does look that way until you said that. Now I'm now he's gonna get it messed up. Now I'm gonna tell him you did it. Well, it is my fault then. It will be. Now the key here is, no. is you see he's really straight on the six ball, so he can either follow it and come back out that way, or he can draw it. Let's see what he elects to do. All right. Straight in for the side pocket. Beautiful. This is just, I mean, oh, this, this is coming right down to the wire. This has been a great match, man. I mean, they're break and run. To tie well, the it nine up. ball was close. The eight ball was lopsided. And now the ten ball is close. So apparently yeah. these guys uh, play really close in rotation. And the kid plays way better eight ball than I thought. <laughs> No, yeah. but uh, when the when the eight, in the eight ball match, I mean, uh, I did talk to Trent. Huh? It's mine. But anyways, uh, you know, you're not sticking up for Trent or anything. But I mean, it's wasn't one of his better eight ball sets I've ever seen no. play. Yeah, no. Really. But the, but but Sam. Made him pay for it too. Oh that's, yeah, and that's what he's supposed to do. Right, exactly, and that's what anybody, and not even, just, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You, you. now the cue ball's oh, gonna no. follow it right back in, Oof. and now here's where Trent needs to take it. Yep. Here's where Trent needs to pounce, get up, take the lead here, and you know, and essentially make him pay for this. So he's gonna play the one in that corner pocket. Yeah. We got the ones right here. Yep, two's back over here. Two, and then the three. 
is right here. See, this is one thing that Trent does that I, okay, well, he's going to move back out. I mean, him and I had this conversation one time, but uh, sometimes he puts too steep of an angle on the on his cut shots to get shape. Mm. But here he goes. Played that one nice. He can either draw it out or follow it, depending on what he, what he feels comfortable with here. Uh, he's going to follow, it looks like. Uh, Oof. I think I, would have, I think I would have followed that and left a little more angle. Yeah, because he's going to he's try come back down here for yeah, the four. Now the problem is, is he's got the nine ball he's got to contend with. Well, let's make sure that doesn't. He's got to make sure that doesn't get in the way. It does not. It's oh. the six. Makes the six on his way through. That's just one less ball he's got. Yeah, that helped. That's called showing off, folks. Yeah. Now you got a pretty good angle to come back up for the five. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Should be another out. And he hit it too hard. He hit it too hard. He might get lucky. He might get lucky. He does not. Ooh. Well, he didn't lock up on it, but still not the bad, not where he wanted to be. No, now he's got a slow roll in the side pocket. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't, if he misses, he if he misses the shot here, he gives the game away. So, more than likely, he gives away the game away, and he makes it. See, you've been doing it wrong the whole time. You're supposed to doubt him. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it and stop it, maybe, right there. There you okay. go. He, stopping, he did. Follow the nine ball up into the side pocket. Natural shape for the ten ball. He shouldn't be He shouldn't be straight enough. He should be in good shape here. Oh, and he dogs it. Oh, no. Dogs it. He's understandably upset. Sam's just got to keep himself collected. Yeah, if, if we were on live television, we'd have to... Uh, there would have been a lot of bleeping. Yeah, beep, beep, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. So not only will you learn some pool, but you'll learn some colorful language. Yes. Sam puts that away. I think Trent told him that was good, so... Well, that's showing a little frustration. He's supposed to make him shoot that shot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll check out some flyers real quick. Yep, on the 15th, that's my big tournament that's going to be going on for the benefit. Once again, thanks to everybody that's been putting it together for me. Dustin Touche, everybody down there. The 8-ball tournament tomorrow at Legends uh, be there by noon. Uh, doors open up at 10 o'clock, and we have the P-Town Throwdown down there in Peoria where I'm going to be taking my talents tomorrow. Me and Jason Welk are going to head down there and try to try to put on clobber time and see if we can win. Oh, Gonquin, the Scotch Doubles, they're uh, $60 per team. It starts at 1 o'clock. At the Twisted Rose, 1130 Main Street. So make sure you, you don't, you, it's kind of like pick your poison. Well, that's right. what you want to do. All right. You, you have options this weekend to play some pool. Here comes. Sam is clearly frustrated. You saw that three ball. I don't know if I, I think I waited too long. That three ball just is, I'm not sure how it's even still up there. It's just hanging there. Now, you can you can kind of refresh my memory, Mr. Referee. Yes. Uh, what if the three ball falls now? Uh, five seconds. That's a five second rule? Five seconds. We're not talking about my sex life, right? No. Okay. We said five seconds. Okay. Now, yeah, that would be like, a long-term relationship to me, and I'm, I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> that, geez, five seconds, jeez. Here, crowd me, woman. <laughs> this is a, uh, a grudge match. Uh, there, it's an action game there, James. So Trent's going to come to the table. Yeah. Trying to cut the one up and just, just misses it. Yeah, but he—that's uh, one of them things where you know he missed—he missed good there, and yep. Sam definitely. You know, I think he's gonna—he might be even calling the three here. He, I'm not well, sure. He, he, no, he called he, safe. Yeah. yeah, he called safe. Okay, and did a beautiful job actually. Yep. I think Trenton's actually got a shot at this. He might even play the ten ball here. See. Let's see how frustrated Trent really is, because if he's really frustrated, I think you'll see him play the 10 ball. Oh, no, no he's, he's just going for the hit. Okay. Yeah. 
Never, he doesn't have a shot at the tent. Oh, oh no. That, no. That's not good. Here's the key. I think Sam's I think, already looking yeah, at it. Yeah, Sam's, Sam's definitely looking at it. Because the six ball's tied up, and I think, you know, why not take a shot at it here? And that's what he's going to do. Yeah, Ooh. that's a smart move by Sam. And that, and you got to think that's got to frustrate somebody who's already slightly frustrated if he does drain this. And he calls the tag. Yeah, that's that's the shot, I believe. I think it's the right shot. I would even probably hit this and back back it up just in case I miss it. Play Maybe get a safe out of it, too. Oh, and he got a safe. Uh, yeah, he can still hit it. it. Yeah, Trenton's got to make sure, get his emotions under control, and make sure that he makes good contact with this one because, he, because if he gives him ball in hand again, he... He missed one ball together. Yeah, but now here's the second chance that he's got to ride this ball. Sam with a chance to go up eight to six right here, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. Yep. Oof. And Trenton really, really. A little frustrated. He's really stubbed his toe in the last few games. He's had an opportunity to win. He, in all reality, it, he should be up, but he's not. So. That's just, once again, that's why you play the game. Mm -hmm. And remember, they're racing a 10, so. It's a third and deciding set. They're all tied up. Trent took the nine ball. Sam took the eight ball. So, it is the. After all this action, I. Sam Fifth. might be the best 540 Fargo rate player I've ever seen in my life. 522. Or five, whatever it is, yeah. Big break. Couple of them. Five ball, six ball. And he's got a shot on the one, so. Uh, Sam up two games. Trent's at the table. Trying to drill the bank and. Can he get it? And left Sam the one. Sam with the opportunity to go on the hill here. The thing about it is, is the two ball's not easy. I'm not sure that it clears the seven ball to get in the corner. And oh no. He just drew it right behind there now. Here's 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 where I wonder. Now he's got it. he's gonna go yeah, he's gonna kick and hit here. Ball in the side pocket. And oh, stay out. Just, nope. Oh, what a lucky roll. And yeah. Uh, the question is, is whether the two ball can be cut in or if he has to play it down in the corner pocket. I'm not sure what what his strategy is going to be here because it, it looks like the two ball is just beyond the side pocket. Yeah, he's going to play it down in the corner. Oh, Benny, this has been a great, great match to watch all the way through. Benny Conway? Yep. Nice to see you, Benny Conway. Yeah, if anybody wants uh, some action, they can probably get a hold of Benny. I'm sure he'll play just about anybody. <laughs> <laughs> guy, guy plays smooth as ice. Uh, I've seen such a good match here. I would, no matter who wins or who loses here, what would be really nice to see is a rematch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I definitely think they're probably both already thinking of it because, you know, they both. They're both going to walk away from this thinking they could have won. Right. And they both, and they, and honestly, looking back at it, it could have gone either way in, in every set so far. You know, the eight ball was a little lopsided, but. It wouldn't be hard to look at that. No. Oof. That would make it nine to six. Sam. Sam going on the hill. Don't forget, you can be part of the show. Contact us on one of our social medias. And uh, outlets, give us a call. Uh, find out how to become a sponsor. Get your name out there. Help, let us help you reach all the players and the great audience that we have. Uh, give us a call. Find out what TNT can do to help you. 
check out pictures from our tournaments and our leagues. All kinds of cool stuff on our Instagram. So here comes Sam now breaking up the 16th rack of the set on the hill. Gets that one ball up in the top corner again. And oof, put every ball he could possibly put between himself and the cue ball and the two ball. Yeah, he may elect to push out here. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but uh, I would probably just push this cue ball up all the way on the on the rail. Let him take a shot at the. the you know, you got a you got a three game lead. You're on the hill. You, you got an opponent that's a little on the frustrated side. I'd shove it up up there and and see if he takes a takes a crazy bank at it or something. He did call a push. Uh, I think he's going to make him shoot that one. <laughs> Trent gives it back to him. <laughs> gives it back to him, tells him, go ahead and get out. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I just didn't think that he could get it to where Trent couldn't get a hit on this now. He's, he's going to play it in the side pocket off the six ball, I think is what's going on here. Well, went off the four ball. Either way, good shot. Yeah, he I called think, it. Yeah, he sure did. Play the four back up in the corner pocket. Need to draw the cue ball in between the nine or use the nine as a, you know, the, he's either going to draw this over and hit the nine ball. He's going to keep shape for the nine or shape for the five. I'm sorry. The other way. Oh, okay. Well, you can do that too. Free topped himself. That's and re reaching over top. Yeah, Those ones I, are hard. Yeah, that's where things can get difficult. And he made it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The problem is, is now what? The question is now what? Does he? Can he cut it? Is the question. Oh, he. Oh, he was able to play the corner pocket. Nice Great shot. Trent says, I'm not dead yet, boys. Well, he's definitely, I mean, he, he's frustrated as he is. He's definitely not giving up. Oh, see, oh, and that's why you, you're supposed to hit that with draw. You're yeah. supposed to draw that back out and let it come to the other side of the eight ball. But, you know, he can still cut it. Right. But now he's got to turn the cue ball loose a little bit, and that's what you don't like to do. Very nice. And Perfect shape on the nine shape. ball. Wow. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Like you said, he does have pretty good control of that. He, he does. He just keep him from losing his cool there. On seven nine. Or give another shout out to our amazing sponsors because without them, we would have to charge you guys to watch our incredible matches that we got going on. CBM Construction. Bill Lilly builds it best. Give him a call. 815-716-6727. For all your construction needs, new rem builds, remodeling, heating and cooling services and installations, builds licensed, bonded, insured, and ready to take on anything that you need done around the house. Give them a call for fair and honest pricing. Bill Lilly, CBM Construction. That's the 17th rack of the set. Trent's up here. Another big break. Trenton's just got to take advantage of this and get it 8 9, put a little heat on the young kid here. He's got the perfect break. That's how he normally breaks his 10 ball breaks, and it's crazy sometimes. That's a monster. Oh, yeah. Now he wanted to be out a little bit further on this two ball, but he's still good. Get to the three ball, play it in the other top corner there. Oh, he leaves it short. Leaves it short. Matt is asking if Matt asked if you are for sure playing Sunday. Matt Snyder drills the bank. Playing Sunday on what? I don't know. He just said, Hollywood, are we for sure playing Sunday? I don't know anything about that. So somebody's going to have to explain to me what that means. 
What's going on Sunday, Matt? I'm not sure, buddy. <laughs> we appreciate you hanging out with us, Rob. This match is getting real interesting. It is getting very interesting. This is gonna this could quite possibly go hill hill for the whole enchilada. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Trent with a break and run out and whoop. Sam's break. Man. This could get hill hill. Yep. A and A flooring sterling, Illinois. Eight one five six three two zero six seven five. Give Al a call for all your carpet needs and check out aafloors.biz and use their on-site tool to check out all your flooring options in your home without even leaving your house. You can sit right on your couch with a nice tasty beverage in hand and check out uh, carpet and hardwood and laminate flooring and all kinds of stuff. a and flooring, 815-622-0675. Sam breaks up the 18th rack of the set. Didn't get anything. Left a couple things in pockets. Cue balls. Back here towards the center of the table, and the one ball is jammed up. Behind, excuse me. Jammed up behind the nine ball. He'll, I'll tell him when he, he stepped off for a minute, Matt. I'll tell him, see if he says when he comes back. Ow. So, uh, that, yeah, that one ball is really. <laughs> Matt says, oh, here, he just found his way back. Here he is. Matt says that. He thought you and Trent were playing him and Sean Franson. He said he's talked to Trent probably three times in the past couple of days. Well, then that might be what we're doing, but uh, I'm going to Peoria, so it all depends on how many players they have and whether I'm free on Sunday because I'm not quite sure I know anything about it. But who knows? Are we looking for a hit here? Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. He's got... Uh, we're calling it a rep here. Uh, Bud's going to take over his slow-mo cam, and they're playing for the hit here, and we're just going to have to see if we got a good hit. I mean, it should be pretty obvious, but I'm not 100% for sure. Bud's going to go over there and dial this bad hit. Okay, well, Sam's got an opportunity to win the game right here, win the set match, and take down the victory. And then it's going to be party time in Iowa, folks, if he gets out from here. <laughs> I missed that. I heard he'd party buy, time. He can buy another TV. Yeah. He can buy me a TV. And I told him if he wins, I can... Oh, no, he locked himself up behind it. Oh, no. Are you quit cursing these people? Well, that's, you know, that's the thing. Sometimes people just... They 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 get uh, lackadaisical because yeah. they take for granted that they got shape and they don't have it. He's going to try to get around it. Yeah, he's going to have to. Hopefully he doesn't rip my brand new felt. Nah, I think he's all right. That 860 Simonis isn't cheap. Oh, my gosh. He didn't. That was no way. It's a great shot, but uh, three balls going to. He's going to have to try to get safe. Yeah. He can he can tuck it in behind the nine ball here, and that's what, exactly he, what he has done. We're gonna take a look at that shot real quick. That was insane. All well, right here, uh, yeah, you're gonna see it. I mean, he bears down on this and just hits it on the screws. He can, uh, if he ends up winning this match, I mean, he can he can uh, better send uh, McDermott a thank you note for that nice uh, shaft that he's got on the end of that cue because that's that thing went to work for him there. Look at that shot. We just missed a Trent just took a shot down here down the table. He kicked it 
And well, he, he gave up ball in hand. He's he got ball in hand now, Sam. He moved. He did move the ten ball down to the bottom of the table. Well, nope, Sam's just got to keep his nerves together and get out here. I mean, it's this is uh, shouldn't be any issues with him really. I mean, there's nothing tied up, and he's got good shape on the floor. I mean, this is this should be this should be game set match right here. Well, thank you, Nathan. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I was getting there, James. I hit I hit the button. We got to see that one. <laughs> I got it's still there. I might even play it one more time. It was a good shot. That was the shot of the match, right it there. It was. If he, if he wins this, if that he, could have been a game winner. If he gets out, that's that's going to be the one that changed it. I've seen two really good shots: a kick shot by him, and then that, that mass a shot by Sam was outstanding. Sam's just got to keep his head on straight here, and which I believe that he will. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting out from here. Now uh, he might have to. He can draw this over to the eight ball, I believe. He's got a little bit of a weird angle in it, but he should be okay. There he goes. Yeah. Nice shot. Left an angle, so he played the play the good side of the nine ball, and this could be the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. Sam taking the win. Just got to make sure that you don't do anything silly here. Don't get funny on the ten. Don't do anything goofy. Just do what you know and get out. Oh, no, he left it short. And he left it short. Now he's got to make, he's either got to bank it or gonna cut he's going to cut it. He feels pretty confident. Yeah, he's going to reach, but it's a long shot. Make sure you make it. And he does. Very Ooh. nice shot. Game, set, match. Wow. Sam Henderson is your winner. 10-8 over Trent Burtlow. Let's go back and look at that Mass A. This, this set it up because this Mass A making this two This ball. is the shot right here. Put I mean, it. Put him if he in. doesn't make this shot, Trent gets it hill hill here. Yeah, and because yeah, because this some all set this this shot set up the set up the next one, which brought on that ball in hand. The shot of the match, right here, folks, yeah. right here. This is the deciding factor. I I do honestly believe. What a shot! <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Well, we're gonna yeah wrap this up. Unless you want to talk to Sam after the match. No, I think we're good. We're gonna pack things up. We've been live here at the Pigeon Coop for TNT fights between Sam Henderson and Trent Burtlow. Uh, and what a match it was. Yes, Sam took overall two to one. He won the, uh, he won, Trent won the nine ball, 10 to eight. 10 to eight. And, and then Sam won the eight ball, 10 to five. Yep. And then took the 10 ball just now, 10 to eight. Uh, an amazing match. We appreciate all you guys hanging out with us, checking it out. Don't forget, if you want to be part of a TNT fights, get a hold of us, give us a call. Um, TNT is all about promoting the people and the places that uh, support this sport, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to put more of it on for you guys to watch. Again, we really appreciate everyone hanging out, and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if, hit like and follow on the Facebook page, like and subscribe on the YouTube page, and you can check out all of our past matches on our YouTube channel, all of our past fight night matches. There's, we've, I think we're getting up there now. We've got close to. 25 or 30 fight night matches alone not to mention our tournaments and things like that so there's always some great pool to go back and watch don't forget it um again i've been bud that's been hollywood and really really appreciate you guys hanging out with us and uh we'll see you next time yeah i was uh be headed to peoria tomorrow take my down yeah. there me and jason going down there so wish us luck and uh, don't forget to legends tomorrow uh be the doors open at uh, 10 a.m so if you want to play some eight ball get over to clinton and uh Play some nuts out uh, yeah. eight ball, no spot, no nothing, and and uh, see where you see where you really stand. So, yep. see you guys later, and yep. uh, we'll see you next Friday on Off the Rail. Yep, tune in next Friday, seven thirty, Off the Rail, right here, same place on the Facebook channel, YouTube channel, all that stuff. We'll see you guys later. Have a great one. Thanks, guys.